a competitive powerlifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyle. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes you see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. Good morning everyone and welcome to Desert Barbell. Uh, today we have the Desert Barbell Power Meet number 10. Um, and with me today I uh, have Mr. Sticky Nicky. How are you? I'm good. How's How are everything? You, yeah. Excited for today? Yeah, excited for today. First yeah. time as a commentator. Yeah. It's <laughs> going to be a, a great day. Uh, I think we have up just over 70 lifters uh, lifting in today's meet. And we're going to start with the females, the lighter one, uh, from category 52 up to 63 on the, uh, on the first group. And then we have the uh, remaining ladies in the second group. And after that, a short break. And then we'll have uh, the lighter guys uh, starting then after that. And tomorrow is uh, the remaining of the, of the guys lifting. So this is the 10th meet, and how many have you been part of? Two. Two, two yeah. I've been mean two meets, yeah, I remember yeah. that. And you've seen, uh, most, you've seen a few of them also. Yeah, I've seen a few yeah. most of them all of them. It's a pretty uh, fascinating uh, development of the power meet. Uh, me and Marco that started the meet with a bunch of people at uh, Warehouse Gym, uh, the first one a couple of years ago. So the first, second, third and fourth uh, we hosted at another gym, at Warehouse Gym. And then from the fifth one we uh, we ventured out to one of the hotels here in Dubai, and from the sixth one we've had it at the club. So this is the fourth, or actually the fifth one that we have at the club, because we had uh, one Desert Barber Classic also uh, here. Um, so we have two power meets every year, and then on the, the end of the year we have a Grand Prix event when we invite the best of the best from these power meets, and then we invite, invite a few wild cards. So we're going to do that this year again in December. So the 12 best uh, from these meets, the first and the second, and then we're going to invite some wild cards. So, uh, what are, are you excited, excited for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's excited. actually going to be uh, nice, honestly. We have a few uh, new lifters. We're just looking at the scoreboard here uh, on display, and we have a few new lifters, very interested lifters uh, in this first group. We have uh, a lot of uh, familiar names, at least familiar to us. I'm guessing familiar to the to you guys watching at home also, uh, if you followed our power meets before. And the first group will be uh, Natasha Mo, of course, from Desert Barbell. We have Naid, a girl from Gymnation. Shada uh, from uh, Desert Barbell. Uh, Angelica, she hasn't put down a club, so I don't really she's know. She's a where Desert she Barbell member. Is she? Yeah, she's been working out with us since oh. like two months ago. Oh, there you go. It's Angelica with a K. Yeah, she <laughs> works out in the evening. Yes, yeah, so she works in the evening, that's why you're yeah. a morning person. So let's also put uh, the club Desert Barbell by her name. Des is one of my clients. We have Mariam uh, from Rising Gym. She's a very, very interesting lifter, you'll see. Uh, closer. All right, closer, closer. All these masks and stuff coming in the way of the microphone, of course. Yeah, I just mentioned Mariam coming from a Rising Gym in Fujeda. That's going to be a very interesting girl to see. Um, I know she's uh, coached by Stanislav, which is, of course, one of the best lifters we have uh, participating in our meets. Smitha Thomas, uh, also a familiar face to all of us. Uh, we also have Yang, one of our clients from DB. Bex McCaffrey, uh, of course, there's a barbell. Rashida, familiarized face also. She's coming in from Abu Dhabi, and that's the first flight. So I think out of these names, I'm very interested to see what uh, Mariam can do, um, coming in from Fujera. I'm also interested to see uh, how the top of the category is going to develop here. I know Shada is in a good run for the 52, together with Smitha, of course. Um, 
And then Bex and Rashida will uh, fight it out in the 63 category. So we actually have only... Well, we have one, two, two girls in the 52, and we have two girls in the 57, and the remaining is... Yeah, in 63. Uh, 63, yeah. Perfect. We're just having the final preparations done on the platform. Uh, so only in a few minutes. We're supposed to start at 8, but there are small delays, um, usually. But we'll transition into uh, starting with the squad in a few minutes. So I think we can go uh, to uh, go to that camera and just play some uh, some music or something. Yep. Hi, I'm Dan, one of the coaches at Desert Bible. Oh, this is really fun. It's really, really fun. You hear, you hear yourself very well. Yeah. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free. coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive powerlifter and I've been coaching full-time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger and I also coach people as old as 55, 60 who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us.
<laughs> All right. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. This is uh, Natasha Mo, 82 and a half for a first quarter. The oldest of the Mo sisters. Yeah. Yes. yes, there you go. Easy. Let's see. That was easy lift. That was like an RP7. RP6. <laughs> yeah. Six. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Make it a six. Very good start. Uh, so as you guys know, Who's it's next? three three attempts uh, per lift, and you have three referees. You have to have at least two of them on your side, so you can have uh, two of them thinking it's a good lift, one thinking it's a bad lift, and uh, you will still have the lift. We'll go through any mistakes if anyone gets any uh, any red lights. We'll be fine. This is Naid then. Naid, she's a new member in the bar meet. Let's see. That was, uh, let's see, the referee's decision. It was a good lift also. Yes. And as you see, uh, you guys at home, that uh, Naim is uh, lifting uh, covered, which you are allowed to do. Um, if you, for cultural or religious reason, have to do that. Here comes uh, Shada. Shada. And I just want to point out the uh, color coordination here. This is one of my lifters, so I'm very happy to see this. Let's see what she can do with 87 and a half. Oh, that was so easy. Our uh, no, RP6. That, that was easy. Um, Shada weighing in in the 52 category, 51.8 today. That was three white lights. Next time then we have uh, Angelica, Angelica with a K. Angelica with a K. The yeah, bar is loaded. Oh, that was so easy. Our no RP6. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah. Let's see. Easy. 87 and a half kilos. So for the squat, you have literally two commands. The head referee will say squat and then will say rack when you're finished. So very important for uh, some of the beginners here to do their first meet to really have patience in waiting uh, uh, when the referee says rack. So if you walk before he says rack, even if it's a Easy. nice looking lift, that will be a faulty lift. So next one up is uh, Desiree, Des Routman, uh, 90 kilos. All the girls have uh, three lifts and they will go in a, what we call a round system. So they will do the first attempt and then they will do the second attempt, and third attempt. And then we'll change groups. Let's see Des, 90 kilos. Let's see what the referee says about that. He's usually just on the border for depth. Let's see what they say. So they say, uh, waiting for the referees. Unfortunately, 2-1. That was uh, a close call. Um, you see on the rerun here that her hip press needs to be just a little bit lower than Let's the top see of the, the knee. what the referee says about that. Uh, so she'll... Usually. She will redo that uh, in the next and make that. Let's see it. So this is interesting then. This is Mariam uh, that I told you come from Fujera. Coached by the small giant Stanislav. So I'm assuming we'll see clinical and good looking lifting here from Mariam. 95 kilos. And That's a tough call. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it's actually... Too white, I think. Uh, two reds, I'm Oh, two reds. That was a pretty harsh decision, yeah. but uh, let's good see good on the rerun here. here. Mm -hmm. The hip press needs to be below Mario. the top part of the knee. Well, I wouldn't be the one to say. I think the. Uh, it the was too the white, honestly. Yeah. I can see a no, too no, white no, over no. here. So, the thing is, I think uh, both these last two girls, Des and Mariam, is. Uh, they're not benefiting of the other girls squatting very, very, very deep. So you have the first lifters just literally going uh, ass to the grass, and then you have two lifters not doing that. So the referees will be calibrated a little bit uh, 
on the lower side, but it is what it is. So now it's Smitha time. They have to uh, redo it. Yeah, Smitha time coming up, 95 kilos. This is her fourth permit with us? I th yeah, at least. At least. Let's see. Yeah, maybe it's fourth. For today, coached by our coach Dan. Oh, easy. Let's see. Let's see. In line with the last three girls in depth, and she got it two, two ones. Ones. So that's for you, folks. Uh, she got two one. The other girls got uh, two one red. So these girls, the last three ones, obviously uh, just uh, on the margins. So that's that's how the sport is. You can either get two one red, two one white. Let's see. Now we have Yang. Shuname Jang, also coached by Dan. 115 kgs for Yang. Gets the command. Oof, that was deep. Yes, that looked like a very good lift. Yep, and that's uh, three white lights. No problems whatsoever. Uh, Beck's coming up, 122.5. Uh, so let's see how she handles this. Uh, Bex is also one of those lifters that uh, doesn't give any way, uh, anything away for free, if I put it that way. So she's usually just below parallel. So let's see what the referees say. 122.5. Good. Yep. And from here that looked very good. Deep. Very deep. Let's see. That looked good. And the referee is three agree. white. Uh, very good. Three white. So we got it. Three white lights. Yeah, that was a very great looking squat from Bex. I like how you can see now the two white lights in the yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, actually right. a new update for this yeah, level. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys can see in the lower uh, right corner of the screen uh, or your TV, whatever device you're looking at, you can see the the lights from the referees. Now we have Rashida, an experienced lifter that been part of uh, a couple of the par meets and also done the UE Nationals at least on two occasions. Uh, yeah, two occasions because there's only been two occasions. <laughs> the first uh, UE Championship was done here, and the last one was done in uh, Rosa Hema. Yes, 132 and a half. See how she handles this. Yeah. Let's see, it was also she didn't give anything away for free, that's for sure. Yes. Let's see. But two white two one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, as long as you have two on your side, it's fine. By the way, while they're changing weights here, you can see that we have a bunch of sponsors for this power meet. We're happy to we have that, so we have Matrix, Base, My Physio, Matter, the EBBF of course, Qualia, Motion, RX. So we're very happy to uh, getting some traction on the sponsorship side. So if any of you would like to be part of the Power Meet, look good in the public's eye, uh, don't hesitate to uh, contact us, we'll sort something out. All right, the bar is loaded for uh, Des now, so let's see if she can redo this 90. She'll get it, she'll get it. I think so too. We've been practicing. You have to manifest the positive yeah, energy for her. We've uh, started with her a little bit more narrow technique, so let's see how she Come handles on. this now. Yep, uh, she got Des it. should be in, well, let's see. Can be a 2-1 or 1-2 call uh, here again. Yes. Oh, 2-1 uh, red. Now we're in a little bit of a with nervous. A uh, bit more narrow technique. So let's see how let's she see the rerun here. Now. Yep, uh, she got it's it. not clear it's either way, so that's yeah. why it's a one-two decision. This is one of the reasons I, I always have the highest respect for referees because I don't want to do that call. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I'll make uh, someone else do it. The bar is loaded now for uh, Angel Angelica with a K. Also 90 kilos. Wait. 
she's doing small jumps for her attempts. The fir first yeah, move, yeah, she's gonna play it safe. Very small. Let's she wants to get that 9 by 9. Yeah. Oh, yeah easy. Yeah, you'll see often in the, in the special the bench for the girls, it will be a small jumps because the smallest the small uh, increment you can do attempt. is 2.5 kilos. First yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So for the bench, yeah. as a female benching, maybe nine. like 50, 55, 60 yeah. somewhere, oh, you'll be very prone to doing 2.5 kg jumps. Now we have uh, Natasha, Mo. Natasha Mo, 90. This is the way she's done many times before. So I'm hoping it's going to look all right. Easy, that was deep. There wasn't any problem with the depth anyway. Yeah. So let's see what she does. The plan is for her to go 95, so we get a pretty smooth done ride. Many times before. Just collecting as much oh, kilos geez, as possible for the total. Naid then, uh, 95. See how this will move. That's a 10 kg jump. Yeah. You, you know this girl? Or? No, I haven't seen her. This is the first time I saw her. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like Let's see. Let's see. 95. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, that was Ooh, she was fast on the rack yeah. command. Let's see. Three whites. She got three whites. Yeah, three whites. Yeah. Yep. I spoke to her just briefly before, and she was very, very nervous. Uh, but she seems to handle that well. And just so one of the referees just reminded her to not be too fast on the racking oh, of the bar because it's a very unnecessary mistake. But she got away this time, and she looks very happy passing us here. All right, we got uh, Mariam on 95. She's wrapping her wrist right yeah, now. Yeah, she's wrapping the wrist with the wrist wraps. And uh, yeah, she unfortunately got her first attempt, declined 2-1 uh, for depth. Uh, she was just on the borderline. She had one referee with her and the other two against her. So let's see. Second attempt. Coming at a rising gym, rising gym in Fujera. Let's see. Very narrow stance. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Three white. Three white lights. Yeah, that's good. Good to have her on board. Coming for the remaining of the gym, gym in Fujera. competition. Very narrow stance. Shada doing the same weight, 95. Oh. She's also done this uh, quite a few times before. Let's see. Yep, that was easy. Yeah, that was easy. Three whites. Three, uh, let's see. We're not going to go before, but Three uh, of course. I'm trying to predict it myself yeah. in this thing. Good. So we have, uh, she will hopefully go uh, 100 kilos then. Yep, that was easy. Bars loaded for Smith, uh, 100 She's kilos. For 100. Yeah. Let's see, that was also, she didn't give anything away. Looked pretty good, but let's see what the referee says. It was 2-1, no lift. It no could, have, could have gone either way, this. Tough call. Mm. Yeah, it's a, I want to say it was the right call from this no, angle and looking at the rerun. It wasn't, wasn't, of course, super high, but it wasn't clear down either. So, Just finding that uh, perfect sweet spot. All right, we got uh, Yang here. She's a very solid technique. I see her squat almost uh, pretty much every week. 
Easy. Yeah, that's good. Now let's see the call. Yeah, and one, one thing at least, uh, whatever weight she will put on the bar for a third attempt, she will she will give it a fight. Because she's very, very, very uh, powerful in her mindset, that's for sure. We're gonna round off uh, this uh, round with Bex then and Rashida. We have Bex first at 130. She did a fantastic uh, first attempt. I've seen her squat many times. That was probably one of the best looking squats she's ever done. So I know she has her family at home also looking. From Ireland. Let's see if we're back here now. 130. That was good. Yep. I think that uh, they will do. Let's see. Yeah, three, three white. white lights. Perfect. Uh, the only uh, problem will be here, or problem, this is challenge oh, where cool. she goes from here. Because I know that she has the eyes on the on the uh, deadlift so record good. for the power meet. Yep. Uh, yeah, well maybe not now in the 63. Because the record is uh, a lot higher there. Yeah, uh -huh. she, uh, she wanted the record in the 57, but she weighed over just a she little bit. She 400 so, yeah. grams. Yeah, so let's see what she, uh, she does now then. We Rashida, have, come uh, on. Rashida, 135. Uh, the first lift was super heavy, so I'm uh, completely agreeing on a two and a half uh, increase. Let's see if she, she makes it. She started very high. That's going to be a tough call. Uh, let's see. It's going to probably yeah. be a 1 2 2 1. Oof. Oh, it's a three white lights. Three white lights. Roger's volunteering today and then tomorrow he's competing and then Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, we have the volunteers here, a lot of them. Uh, uh, you have a guy on the left and a guy on the right, look like brothers. They're not, but they <laughs> <laughs> look very similar today. Um, Raju on the right, they will compete tomorrow. Raju versus Big Tasty tomorrow. Yeah. We'll see who's going to be the king in the fourth place. Uh, tomorrow, uh, literally every group have uh, a lot of matchups, but that's one of them. Yes, we have all the volunteers on the podium you see there uh, are members of the community. The bar is loaded, Des, 90. Let's see now. At this moment, I probably want to take off my uh, headset and scream, but I can't really do that. Send her positive vibes. Yeah, I will send her vibes here Positive, now. be positive. She will get it. Let's go down there. She will get it. Let's see. All down, all down, all down. Beautiful. Come on. Yes. All right. That must be it. That has to be it. That has to be it, yeah? Yes. Let's clap for her. A little bit of a relieving applause here from me. She will get it. Let's go down there. She will yeah, get why? It. Yeah, because I train her every week. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Good. Beautiful, come on. Yeah. We did some technical changes for this. Right. And been looking good um, pretty much all the sessions, but uh, it's about getting it together on the platform almost. But she's through now, so it's fine. We have all lifters with us to the next round, or to the benches. Now sorry. Natasha Moore. Tash 95. Um, I think this will be a, a good lift, but she will have a little bit of struggle here. This is just on the border what we're planning to do. Let's see, let's see. That well, was good. That was wrong. Very good. She proved me wrong, which is super great, and I'm happy for her. But Had a little bit of a rough run-up training-wise to this competition, so we didn't this really know how much she has in the tank, but the let's last see, week of tapering and two oh, days of rest made such a good change. And she's happy with that 95 kgs. That was exactly what we hoped for. Naid, 100 kilos. Let's see them. Oh, she was very fast on the racking on the bar. Oh, she, yeah. So this was interesting. I don't know if you saw the lights. I don't know if it was displayed, by the way. The head referee gave red, and the two side referees uh, gave white. And I think the head referee felt that he was uh, uh, felt that uh, she was just a little bit before the, the commentary. Yeah. Hundred kgs now. Let's see. Oh, 
All right, I think now she's calibrated her depth, and uh, that should be a that should be a but good she lift. Will have Let's see a what the referee says. This is just on the border of what we're trying to do. But I assume we'll see what right lies. We'll just see a rerun of the uh, oh, oh, lift there. What's the three white lights for uh, previous this yeah, for Mariam? Smitha, a hundred. And she missed the last one on depth, which was, I think, was the correct call. It was a harsh one, was, uh, but it was correct. So let's give her all the best for, uh, for this one. Then. Looking roughly the same, so let's see. The referees will do here now. Three oh white lights, God. great. So this was just a tiny bit lower then, and then she had three referees on her side. And that was Angelica with a K. Oh, she does. Uh, I mean, yeah, looking at the rear, and I can't really complain. If I was a referee, which I'll never will be, I would give it a white light. Shader than a hundred, and this was. Uh, I know that she's always nervous doing 100 kgs, even though we've done it a few times. So done it on our last heavy training session last week. And I think she was surprised that it was easy. But there's always a mental barrier for these three-digit numbers for a small girl. Let's see. She should have it deep enough. There you go. Very good. 100 kgs, and she's very happy with that. She's strutting by here. Very happy. So 100 uh, for Angelica with a K also. I think that it's, uh, it's clear to see that she is a beginner in this because she has a lot more in the tank there. Yeah, she Just her. growing her confidence and doing, uh, she's doing this it now. Safe. Yeah. She's not like me in my first power meet. Bombing out on bench. No one is like you, Nick. No one's like me. Exactly. <laughs> and that was a positive remark. Yeah. Nick, Nick is a, in, a unique individual. Bex, 132.5. This will be right on the brim, but we also know that Bex is a hell of a fighter, so she is very used to doing slow squats. See, 132. This will not move fast by any means. I would be amazed, but it will move. No, it, was it wasn't. It was uh, than you thought. faster than the previous one. Let's see what the referee says. Oof. Two one Two red. Right. See the rerun. The referees means. can see, of no, course. See now the last competitor no, from no, this. Yeah, group. that is. Uh, just, no, old 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 old. just parallel. But one thirty four back says she moves on, and now we have. Uh, Yang then on 135. I think this will go. And she will fight. And she will scream a bit. But I give her pretty good chances of making it. Yes. 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 Three yes, white. Three white lights. And this is very good. She's very happy with that 135. We'll finish them with Rashida, speaking of heavy squats. And this will be also yes. Yes. a fight. It was a fight for her with a 132 to start with, and it was an even more fight on 35, and now it's 37. And as I said, pretty unusual doing this small of a jumps on the squats. One hundred and thirty-seven and a half. Oh, 
Nope. That was not going for today. The first fail from today. Yeah, that was the first uh, strength fail yeah. uh, of the of the day on the first group on the last lift. No stop in between. We're going into second round or second group. Oh. Sorry, yeah. Tracy, Victoria, yeah. Yelena, Alia, Yaman, Natasha, Natalie, uh, Olga, Laura, Yolanda, Marit, and Astrid. And we also have uh, Morgan, of course, uh, at the end there. There are a few uh, really interesting lifters in this group also. Starting with the 69, we have the battle between Marit, which is a highly experienced weightlifter with a brand new lifter, Yolanda. We have uh, the 76 kg class with Morgan that uh, will dominate. Uh, all a matter of what kind of weight she's going to do. Look out for Morgan, very, very good squatter. And then we have Astrid, the... Uh, unit we have in the minus 84 category today waiting in at uh, only 80.7 she is a fantastically strong girl with a deadlift uh, pb of 200 kgs so she's hoping to be up there somewhere all right we have uh, first lifter on the platform will be tracy with 85 kgs let's see now Eighty-five kgs for Tracy. Just waiting for the. If there's some problem with the uh, referee equipment. Just waiting to sort that out. Yeah. So in this uh, group, anyway, as I mentioned, it's gonna be some uh, pretty. Pretty chunky squats. I know Morgan is opening up at 150. Uh, Marit is opening up at 135, same as Yolanda in the 69 category. Um, and what else? We got Astrid open up at 140. It's going to be some uh, pretty nice squats. I can hear from back here. We're sitting. Uh, bit away from the platform I can't really uh, hear what's going on Marco is uh, doing something I think he's taping her finger something happened with her finger Eighty-five. I see the head referee is uh, lifting his arm anyway, so we should um, Let's see. The bar is loaded now. Let's there see eighty-five kilos for uh, Tracy. She's doing also her. Uh, I think it's her fourth power meet. Here we go. Very nice opener from Tracy. And I'm hoping and thinking that the referees won't have too many complaints on that. Three white lights. Now we have Victoria, which is a brand new lifter. She's been training at the club for the last couple of weeks. She's starting with 90 kilos. Let's see what the referee... That was a borderline on the depth, but let's see. Let's hope she slips through. She's not wearing any sleeves. No. 2-1, yeah. good. That was good. I know she has spoke to her... Quite a lot this week and also before the, the start of the tournament here and she was very nervous. So good to have her pass, Victoria. 90 and she's going 95 her next lift. 
Now we have uh, Jelena Vesic, which is also, a, for me, a, a new lifter. I think she uh, also came from Abu Dhabi with uh, Rashida. Signal given. It looks look pretty all right from here. Let's see what the referee says. Say three, three white lights. Let's see where she goes for the next one. She kind of took the same approach as her coach to go very uh, heavy on her on her starting weight. But let's see where she goes from there. Uh, we have Alia then on 92. 92. And you can see also on your screens, of course, uh, we have the uh, Aleiko racks with the levers to changing height. It's an inv individual height for all lifters. And of course, since Jelena was uh, a lot taller than Alia, it has to be adjusted down. So that's where the spotters and loaders come in. They adjust. The Aleiko rack properly and put the right weight on the bar. Alia then, 92 and a half. That looked very good from here. Let's see what the referee says. Three white lights. And she uh, walks away happy from that lift. Very good. Good, Alia. Yaman. Also, by she's the way, new. yeah, she, she's, she's new. One. She's uh, also very, very nervous and anxious for today. She trained at the club a few times here leading up during uh, the week. So let's see now. The bar is loaded for uh, 95 kgs. Let's hope she makes it smoothly. Here we go. Yeah, she's and nervous. Fiddling around a bit with her feet, getting her stance right. Yeah, that was looking all right from here. Let's see. Yeah, very good. Three white lights. Yeah, it was a. a I think that was yeah, very much due to right. being nervous. She was trying to find her right feet position. Yeah, Very good, a nice deep squat. Saw her squat a few days ago. She had a session with one of our coaches. And uh, that actually looked uh, even better than that. And she's through to the next squat. Always nice to have all the lifters uh, passing. We have Tash, uh, Natasha Manning then, which is also one of the uh, members here at the club. So, uh, trains here a few times a week. Well, we seem to have a little bit of break here. The head referee informing uh, Marco, my business partner and co-owner of Desert Barbell, about something. If you're interested in lifting, want to start your strength journey, don't be uh, afraid of uh, shooting us a DM on Instagram or an email uh, through our contact on our website. Come in and enjoy lifting. We have a lot of different tiers you can start with, being a member or doing coaching or doing PT. Natasha then, 100 kgs. Here we go, down, and up. That was good, three white lights. Now we have Natalia Mao. Now we have 
Natalia. Russia, Natalia Mo. Yeah. There you go. She's from Ukraine, right? She's from Ukraine, exactly. No. <laughs> Yeah, if, if Ukraine is uh, down by the beach no. here in Dubai, she's from there. No, no, no. She's a middle more sister. Yeah. Yeah, true. We have uh, three of these sisters uh, training at the club. One unfortunately left us for going to the UK, I'm hoping. Slash demanding that she's in front of a TV screen or a uh, laptop screen now. When her big sister takes uh, on the podium. There you go, Natalia. Her hair is matching the singlet. Yes, it does. It will go down. And up, yeah. Good. So she took the center stage with her magenta shades. And did it well. Good, Good lift. Now we have uh, Olga, Olga Krashenko, 110, she's also a very well-known member of our community and a member at the gym, 110. She is from Ukraine, she's, from Ukraine. Yeah, she's not from the beach, she's from Ukraine. As you can see on her little headband there, uh, she has the Ukrainian yeah, flag, yellow and blue. Flag. Davai, Davai. Here we go, Olga, 110. And that's that was very smooth, very easy. Doing She's uh, very smooth. And that was three white lights. Now we have Laura. Now we have Davai, Davai. Laura, yeah. Coming in on one of You have to say like Spanish accent. Laura. 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 Uh. Alright, let's see then. Laura. Laura. I think also how I bet she has her family and closest one looking here. Let's go. Good. Let's see. Um, three white lights. Was the best squat face of the day, I think. If you look at the rerun here, I love myself a good squat face. There you go. And Laura is normal. She's solid. And then we have squat oh, face right there. There you go, squat face. That was the best squat face of the day. I love it. All right, so this is an interesting lifter. This is a Yolanda. New, lif new lifter, Yolanda. Um, that I just uh, took under my wings only last week, actually. Oh, really? Yes. She uh, a very talented lifter. The bar is loaded here now. We went through the commands, and uh, let's see if she, re she remembers them all. <laughs> She's never done anything uh, remotely close to this. Let's see, one. But you're looking at a 135 opener, and I can tell you that it's not going to move. She's doing high bar. Yeah, she's... Uh, very naturally strong. Look at that. Oh, this is like an RP5, yeah. even like an RP4. No, I'm telling you guys, uh, this will be uh, something if we can get her into the community. Yeah, she's uh, just playing this uh, tournament as kind of like just a feeler strong. for her to just get a hang Look of things. Oh, this is like an RP. And hopefully she'll find it. Uh, find it entertaining to do because she for sure got some talent. 135. 135 also for Marit, uh, from Norway, very experienced uh, weightlifter on the highest uh, Nordic caliber. Also been to Europeans and I think actually she qualified for the world championship also in weightlifting. So she is very strong and solid. This is 135. That was and in front of your screen, if you're accustomed to weight training, you can see that she, of course, comes from the Olympic school high bar, yes. narrow stance, and a lot of push from the bottom. So she will, with literally any weight, you see the rerun coming up to 
there. And then it's all a matter of if she can push through that middle barrier, middle portion of the lift. Now we have Astrid coming up. Now we have this Astrid, yeah. to watch. This is one of our, uh, our favourites entering the stage. This is her second power meet, not third. Second, yeah. This is the second power meet. She's only done power lifting for uh, Six months. the previous power meet, a handful of months, and now she's a little bit more experienced. She is immensely basic strong. Let's see. Everybody's here watching her. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, good. Let's see, that was... Uh, she didn't give anything away in the squad. I think it was a good one, but let's see. The referee's 2-1. Oh. That is the... I think a 2-1 call is too expected, but Basic either 2-1 white or 2-1 red. Let's see. This one was 2-1 red, which was her. There we go. hard to say from this angle. I would have given it a white, but uh, we sit in a perfect angle to so see her right hip. Now we the have more left hip we didn't see at all, so uh, might have been that. So 2-1. Here we have uh, the most recognized of our squatters anyway. Morgan Gladden, very powerful girl, um, starting at, at 150. There you go, Morgan. Everybody's ready. She's a valued member of our community and always a happy face. And squat wise, all lifting wise, very, very strong. This is 150, she will handle easy. Let's see what the referee called this because she's also one of those that doesn't give anything away for free. She got it, did she? Yeah, she got the lift, yeah. No, she got the half Didn't face. show on our screen though, but I think it... I think uh, it was a two wide, uh, yeah. Squat wise, all lifting wise, yeah. very, very, very strong. One economical style. I was, yeah, it was really yeah. low you know, looking from this angle. Very high bar, economical style, vertical, back. And now immensely we have leg round. strong. She's leg strong. Leg strong, yes. A uh, lot of chunk in the trunk and... Uh, Big, powerful legs. Here we have Tracy then, and she did a very nice first lift on 85. She's going 92 and a half now. Hope uh, family sitting at home and cheering her on here now. Let's go. That's nice. That was really good. That was a fight. I hope she gets it. It was just four line. Come on. Well, uh, oh, three white, three white lights. So easy. Very, very, very good. Hope. Let's uh, see. Family sitting at home and cheering on here now. Let's go. Uh, I'm just singling, nice. signaling. That was really good. Signaling at 2.5. Yeah. Taking care of the document uh, yeah. and your clients at the same time. I'm going to do 97. Go for it then. Yeah. All right. Now we have hands Victoria. Coaching here. Tracy, want to give 97 and a half a run, and I'm all for it. Victoria then. Let's see if she can do 95. That was going to be a tough call. Uh, that will be a 2-1-1-2 two, one, one, two or whatever kind of way. Let's see. 2-1 two, uh, two, one, red. Unfortunately, I think it was the right call. And Victoria. this is exactly why I don't want to be a referee. Uh, go, knees go forward a little bit. Hips go somewhere, can't see really where. That was be a tough and that could be anyone's game. But that was, uh, I wouldn't complain it being a, a, a decline lift, no. Just need a little bit more technical training in the squat. Alia then, 97 and a half. 92 in her first lift, 97 and a half now in the second. I gave her pretty good chances to get this. She's been on. Yep. Solid. Very solid. She's been looking good in her training because she's also training here every session. And uh, especially squats been looking confident so far in training. So That's pretty good chance. I reckon she go practice. for uh, 100 or 102 and a half in her next it's attempt. Yeah. Yaman. Solid. Can break that 100 yep. barrier now. This is not the right lifter, is it? This is Yelena. Well, let's see. This will be... Uh, 
This will be a right forward line, I think. Oh, she fights it through. Very good. What I like about this new Let's new meet is the new new faces now. Yeah, yeah. Two one. That was faces. a good lift. Good lift. Let's see the next lift to them. This will be a right board line, I think. Which I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they uh, fights it through. Very sent the wrong lifter out. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think they're getting it now. They sent the wrong lifter out. So now it's Yaman uh, on a hundred. So we need to find Yaman. Let's see. Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion. Just need to uh, put uh, put the right numbers in. Uh, is Yaman who's going to lift now? I think it was the announcer just given the wrong name looking at the uh, looking at the um, score sheet. Just sorting that out technically. Alright, so looking forward here we have uh, what do we got? We got uh, Morgan advancing to 160. We got uh, Astrid making a run for 150 uh, despite missing the 140. And then we have uh, Yolanda at 145. So now it's Yaman. 100. Her 95 looked uh, really good. So let's hope she can uh, narrow down. Yeah, doesn't have as much uh, technical things with the feet. And then yeah. she goes down. And she paused at the bottom. Yeah, there was almost wow. a, a pause there. It's very good. Now we have Natasha Manning. Now we have Tash Manning, yes. 107.5. Narrow down, yeah. It doesn't have as much uh, technical things with the feet. Yeah, it's good down. to see these uh, new faces and like uh, yeah. Yaman coming in and doing well. And uh, as you guys in front of the screen also see, by the way, it's uh, all ages and all heights and sizes on these uh, girls. So uh, powerlifting is really for everyone. Tash, 107.5. And here we go. Very good. Three white lights. Next one is uh, Natalia. Natalia. Natalia Manning in her magenta. Tash 107. Natalia Manning, and Natalia Mo. <laughs> and here we go. From uh, Desert Barbell, yeah. Let's see, 107 and a half. Desert Barbell's reception yeah. is right now. Yeah, and she, uh, uh, she will get this one, I'm pretty sure. And then they probably go just above 110. But I give her very good chances of getting this 107. Nice second attempt, and uh, she's happy with that. She'll go for 115. I guess. Ooh. 115. I would, I would guess since this is a. Uh, oh, 112. Yeah, I, uh, I was saying since yeah. this is uh, Coach Coach Chris uh, yeah. doing the doing the numbers, I wouldn't expect any massive increasements. So I think they will take what's there for the day, which is 112. Olga 120 and I do hope that Olga will make a run for an actual heavy squat today I see her train literally every session and I think there's so much power in her 
just have to get it out. Let's see, 120. I would say that is uh, good. That lift is in the bank. 120. Get it out. Let's see. Can we hope for a 130? So we actually can see Olga struggle a little bit. Let's see what they put in. Keep their eyes on the screen. Say, hey, by the way, you can follow uh, all the lifting on liftingcast.com. If I didn't say that, I don't think I did. So on liftingcast.com you can see all the, the weights being put in. And here is Laura, or Laura, 122 and a half. Ooh, that was, she didn't give anything away, that would be a close call. Three red lights, and I kind of tend to agree looking at it from this uh, angle. Let's here see on the rerun Laura, if I change Laura. my mind. 122 Which and the referees doesn't have any. She yeah, was on the edge of it. Yeah, ah, she was very on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I was on the edge. <laughs> but I'm happy to report that uh, Olga will go for a 130. So she will finally get a little bit of resistance on the bar. <laughs> Marit is going 142 Two. and a half. And uh, it will go fast down. It will go fast up halfway and then we'll see if she can uh, make that last transition uh, just in the middle of the score i uh, think she will at least on this weight pump there you go yes i think she got uh, let's see if she dare go 47 or she's got three whites that's the best thing let's, let's see let's see let's see just in the so 142 and a half and as you Zero. see, high bar, vertical Inside back. Boom oh, down in the middle and right there in the middle will be a little bit of a struggle. Well, let's see how it goes. Coach Darren uh, will control the numbers here. She puts in uh, 45, which I think is a safe bet. Now Yolanda is. So she will do uh, that. So Yolanda at 145. Your one way client is here. Yes, let's see. <laughs> 145. She did more than this on the session that we screened a little bit. So I'm thinking this will go pretty fine. Oh. Yep. She'll go 150? Yeah. She will go 150, I'm yep. hoping, yeah. And as we know, that this is her first yeah, meet, so everything she do on the platform will be, uh, be a PB in terms of uh, weights. And she's uh, happy with that. And she puts in 150, which now I think asked will be uh, what she can go out for today. So 150 Three for Astrid. Uh, Astrid now. There you go. And remember from the first round, she did 140 pretty comfortable, but just got 2-1 uh, red lighted. Let's she's see if she just Easy. hit down in the hole. She is for sure strong enough for this. I've seen her She'll done get it. it. Yeah, I think so too. There we go. Whoop, there we go. Yes. yes. And she just, uh, for the sake of it, paused it in the bottom. So. Uh, yeah, two whites. Yeah. yeah, of course. I don't think I don't know if it was for, to proving a point, but uh, I think she was a little bit. Boom! Found herself in, a, in the hole, and then finally yes. some expression on her face. And I think she's a little bit pissed off, which I think is great. And this, uh, she's gonna go for 160 after yeah, this. Yeah, well, and I, I'm good. pretty sure she's gonna get it up. Uh, it's all a matter of if she get it to depth and up. She will ju be just borderline. Morgan, one Morgan 160. There you go, the high position. Let's go. I know, for, I know for a fact that she's match matching her nails today with oh her yeah. singlets. Which I think is... Uh, Everything's matching except for her yeah, shoes. Except for the shoes. like. Let's go. Easy, that was that was easy. That was Let's easy. see what the uh, it was look 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 looking pretty much like the same as the first lift, and that's uh, three white lights. Yes. Now we go back to the round. Yeah. That's gonna be quite. Let's cool. see. It's gonna be some pushing of the weights here now. Now we have Victoria. Yeah. Easy, that was, that was Yeah, Morgan has uh, that very 
favorable squat uh, proportions on herself. So she can squat with a very vertical back, uh, seemingly a little bit less range of motion, but still dipping her hip below the Victoria. hip Victoria. It's Tracy supposed to be. Now we have, uh, no, it's Victoria, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, but uh, good to see that Tracy is uh, She really is halfway through it. Now, let's see Victoria now, 97 and a half. And she just missed her second one on depth. So let's see, hope she just adjusts and get this one just down a little bit more. Let's go. Well, she uh, posted. I wouldn't she want posted. to call that. I, uh, <laughs> she I literally just, uh, posted for I one second. Say. Oof, yeah. two reds. The referees didn't know either, so 2 1, red, Oops, unfortunately. Just so like it's anyone's game. That's. Uh, a little bit more. But if you look at the rerun here. Ah, on the right tip that well, we see from here, while well, it was high. But when you don't have the possibility to see a rerun, you, you no, know. No. Here Tracy. comes Tracy. Come on. And she really wanted to go for this 97 and a half. So expect a fight and expect. Uh, a little bit of a scream here now. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Come on, yep. yes. Yeah, there you go. Let's see, because she did a mini pause and she did down again. Come on, come on. Yes. Two white, there you go. Two white lines. I'm very happy for that. Come on. Fist bump. And uh, high go. five. Good. Yeah, yeah, we wobbly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was fine. 97 and a half. And uh, very nice lift. Now it's Alia's turn. Alia, 102.5. I think this is a good uh, weight for Alia. The 97 moved well, and there was literally no reason just pushing it uh, to 100. So 102 and a half, I think, is uh, the proper call. For Xiao. I'm on two and a half. Let's go. Yes. Yep. And there you go. Yeah, I think that was uh, that was a very solid lift. And oh, I think solid she has and a three bit more in the There tank. you go. Nothing. One hundred and two point five. One hundred and two and a half. Let's go. Yes. Yep. And there, there you go. go. I think that. Was Yelena. So She's now going for 105. Yeah, 105. Yelena and Yaman. Now let's see how's that go. She almost right. let the bar go. Yep. That was a good so, catch. Uh, that will actually be a warning from the referees. It should be at least. So you can take note here uh, on the rerun that you should never let go of the bar. Yeah. You need to help your spotters and loaders. Ooh, 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 By no. the way, if anyone of you been on sure. the internet the uh, last 24 hours, you might see Larry Wheels <laughs> letting else the bar go. Throwing the bar which is uh, nothing to take uh, lightly. You should always help the spotters and loaders on the sides and stick with the bar because they are there to help you and they will help you. Uh -huh. And with the help of two guys on the side and one on the back, you will uh, not be missing any weight. So you can just help them, uh, let them help you up in the rack. And then we have Yaman. Yaman, yes. Ready to go in there. Yep, that was solid. Should we get it? Yaman. Yaman. From J Jamaica. Yaman. Yaman. <laughs> Yaman. No, no, she, she doesn't look like she's from Jamaica, for sure. For sure. But uh, My first power meet, uh, someone dropped the bar, remember? Yes. Yaman. Yes. Yeah, 74? Yeah, that was yeah. actually quite... I know Coach Dan yeah, remembers also. His bicep does. Yes. <laughs> His bicep does. Natasha Manning, 112 and a half. Let's see. I'll give her pretty good chances to get this. There you go. Yes. Natasha's getting it. Uh, Very good. 
Let's see, I think the referees will agree. Up three whites. Three whites. It was a very, uh, now we have Natalia Moore. Now we have Natalia I'll from the beach. Good chance Moore. To get this. She's getting ready, chucking her hands and everything. Oh. She'll get it. I give her a very good chances of getting this, yeah. She will get it. 112. She got it. I think we'll see some fighting and uh, maybe some uh, huffing and puffing. But uh, I think she will get it. Just checking that everything is in line. Yep. And no. Uh, uh, so I think that uh, her bar went down. Yeah. Yep. So the bar went down and up. Yeah. So I think that even if the uh, let's see, let's, let's see, see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what the call was, because a lot of things happening there. I think mm. the let's see in the rerun. You see? You I can think see in the that bottom. the bar actually went up, down, and I think yeah. Uh, you see, Rami exactly was here. Yeah. 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 touching the bar a little bit, making our oh. balance. So I think that was a faulty lift. Good job, uh, Natalie. Yeah. Good job. Good job anyway. So I think that was the correct call. Uh, we have Laura. Laura. Laura Nuti. Laura Nuti. Nuti. That's how you say in Nuti, Spanish, yeah. like a people. Uh, Jello. Jello. All right. Let's see how Laura makes it. 122. She missed the second one on depth. This is her. She will get. She will get this on one. That. She will get this one. You have to like be positive for the lifters. In detail, she will get them. Let's see. Let's see, Laura. Here we go down. That will be a close one again. Very close call. Let's we'll see, see if they, she gets a two white flags. Yeah. Yes, hey, yeah, she one, did. Yep. Like, Tell you, you have to send yep, her like, yep, positive yep. energy and then she will get them. I think the, uh, it's always talk about refing on, on powerlifting competition. I think it's been very oh. fair now. There's very a lot of very close that calls. 2-1-1-2 two, one, one, two, can go either way. But I think for... Uh, Not Olga's time. This uh, lift's been, uh, been well. Olga, 130. So finally, 130. finally, finally, we'll see some Ukrainian struggle here, I think. <laughs> She's a, she is a fighter. Stas is hyping her up in the back. Yeah, let's see. Davai, Davai is the only thing I know, but... Davai, Davai. Let's go. I think she'll get it up. It will be a struggle, though. Come on. There, we have a there you go. She's fighting for it. She's fighting. Ah, She's ah, shit. she let it. That was. Uh, it was the right call. Maybe she could have uh, grinded yeah, a little yeah, more if she uh, has like a more time, but no, no, I, I am very much in favor of this. Even though we have the screen is covered now. Just look, look, look. She's fighting for she it. Could She's have fighting. Fighting. Yeah, but it She's was the right call. Yeah. Yeah. It was the right call. Hundred percent. Now we have merit. And I think uh, she's going 145, which I also think is the right call for today. And by the way, uh, we haven't said that, but uh, both Moritz and uh, and Yolanda has been chipping, uh, or she's they've been uh, literally destroying the record in this uh, weight category for all their squats. So as of now, Yolanda has the uh, the uh, squat record uh, since she. Did it before Marit. First of Marit. And now Marit do the same thing again. And Marit got the record yeah, if she got the white tights. No, no. She, so Yolanda already done it. 145. Oh, 145. Second, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought it was 142. And that was uh, and now let's see Yolanda. And I think it was exactly the right call also. Mm. Yes. 145. Because she's going to move fast as you see from the bottom Marit like a rocket. The but then they're again. in the middle position just transitioning in, in, into the final part of the lift. So now we have uh, Yolanda then Yolanda, on 150. Go. Going for the record. Going for the record. And I don't think, she, I, to be fair, I don't think she has uh, 
the slightest idea about that, to be honest. But this is the final different. This will be the first time she will be tested. There Let's you go. See. Come on. Yeah. Push it up. Come on. Uh, yes. And she got the record. Yeah, she got the record. She 150. I remember now, this is a complete beginner. She's been lifting powerlifting or the powerlift for a couple of months. Since when she started. I haven't seen her last week. Last week. Yeah. Push it up. Come on. Oh, that was good. Yes. Now we have Astrid. Astrid doing 160. 160, yeah. 160, yeah. Wait. Uh, no, they already marked it green. <laughs> Must go back. That was uh, so fast, I guess. <laughs> you know. Like a flash. <laughs> 160 is the call. Yeah, 160. Yeah, 160 is the is the weight for uh, Ma for uh, sorry for Astrid. Yes. Yes. I just need to stretch your legs. No, I need to stretch. There you go, Astrid. 160. If any of you girls out there want to try 160, please go ahead. There you go, Astrid. It's going to be heavy on your back. What are you spotting again? One 155. One fi yeah, so this is your PB, yeah? This is my PB, yeah. Let's see. Astrid, let's give it a run for it now. Come on. Let's go, Astrid. Come on. Be a little bit grumpy now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. And she yes. got it. Let's see. Two. And I think she... Three whites or two whites. Yes. Three whites, there you go. That's quite interesting. Good. Run for it now. Come on. Let's go, Astrid. I think uh, we need run. Astrid a little bit. Come on, come on. Run a bit, then she lives faster. Yeah, she yes. got it. Now she's happy. She's no, now she's anymore. happy, but she needs to be a little bit uh, sour on the platform. Yeah, you have to take all the anger out when you're in the platform. Exactly. So that no. we saw there. So now we have uh, 65, 165. For Morgan. For Morgan. Um, what the heaviest squat of a girl in DB? She's done more, I think, in the heavier category. Yeah. Can take a look. Let's take a look, and now Morgan. This is uh, this is a power meet record for the uh, for this weight category minus uh, seventy six. Yeah, that was yeah, deep enough deep anyway. Enough. Three by three on squats. Now Let's we're gonna see. jump to the bench after this. And that was, I think, that was uh, literally the the uh, the nicest squat I've ever seen Morgan do on a heavyweight. Because yeah. she literally she was down in the yeah, basement and up. It was very nice. nice. Now we're done right. with the squats. We're yes. jumping with the bench. It's actually gonna be quite fun. I enjoy watching the bench a lot. Yes, this will be a nice little five-minute break, and we'll be uh, back with the benches then. So stay tuned.
Hi, my name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm one of the coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free. I'm Chris, one of the coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive power lifter and I've been coaching full time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger. And I also coach people as old as 55, 60 who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us. Hi, I'm Chris.
All right, so we're back on track with the bench press after a little bit of break. First lifter is Angelica with a K, and the weight is uh, 32 and a half. And uh, as you hear, there are three commands for the bench press. is start, press, and rack. And the lifter have to adhere to all of them. If not, uh, there will be a faulty lift. Have other stuff that needs to be correct, of course. Uh, glutes on the bench, uh, not uh, lifting your heels, full extension of your elbows. And now I have a new sidekick, Rami, hello. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning, yeah, we have Sticky Nicky is now doing some spotting and loading, so we're rotating a little bit with a commentary. So uh, now I have Rami at my side, so we can see. Yeah. This is definitely one of the most f failed lifts, I would say, but mainly because of the commands. Yes, yeah, it's uh, on the, especially for a beginner, it's that darn rack command that can give a little bit of a problem. So we see this lifter now, uh, Nahid. So she'll get the start command, the press command, and the rack command. Thankfully, this head referee is uh, pretty fast with the rack command, which uh, can actually mask uh, if you actually forget it, but you isn't fast enough in any way, so that's pretty good, I think, with these lifters. Um, looking at the, uh, the scoreboard here now, we have uh, obviously the 52, 57 and 63 category. So most of the girls will be in the range of like 45, 55, up to like 65 for their openers. Here comes Shada with a 45. She's a 52 kg lifter. I know that uh, Shada's goal is, uh, has been for a long time now do 50. And we've done it on you know, on training now a couple of times before this Five. meet. Uh, we'll just get it now on the competition day also. Smitha Thomas, 50 uh, kilos. Shader. You're coming from a uh, 100 kilo squat. So uh, Smitha and Shada is actually back to back almost let's see 50 kgs oh there we is go the problem yeah it's 50 kgs on the bar smith is uh, well, on the platform. The timer is still going. Yeah, true. There now it's reset. Yeah. 50 kgs. Let's go. I know previous power meets, she've had a little bit of issues uh, missing her first bench. Uh, but I think they've uh, trained really hard now the last couple of weeks to dial in the the singles for bench, and this looks a lot smooth. better than last meet I saw her do. Um, so that was three white lights, and I think there'll be a small little increasement from that. Trained really hard now the last couple of weeks to dial in the... So let's see. Just carrying that confidence through yeah. your this lifts, really. Good. I think the previous competitions, at least the last two, I saw Smitha had quite a high opener. So she ended up missing the first and the second yeah. attempt and making on the third. Yeah. That's on 50 then. That's coming out of the squat with a... Uh, let's see. Very fast down. That was uh, uh, hopefully a good lift. If <coughs> what is the verdict? That's coming out of the squat. Oh, is it a good lift? With, uh, There's something, uh, I think they have a little bit of issue with, uh, with the refereeing system. Yeah. Seems like it is a good lift though, it's green, marked yeah. green on the board. So. Um, 55 for Mariam. 55 for Mariam. 
And I can see all the way from here that the bar isn't level. So they need to uh, put it up no, it's on the left side. As we come from the squad, of course, the uh, all the lifters has their uh, individual uh, setting on the on the uh, on the bench, the height of the rack. Uh, should be uh, Mariam, yep, yep, fifty-five. And she comes also with a 100 kg squat from that round. Really easy. She's got quite a strong bunch. Yes. Let's see. First competition. Uh, if you think she looks uh, disoriented on the platform going from there, it's her uh, first meet, so a lot of... Uh, Things to consider. Now we have uh, Tash Moore, one of two sisters more competing this weekend. And as I said in the squat, I do hope the third sister is sitting in front of her computer screen in the UK now supporting. So 55. Uh, she's a pretty good bencher, so we're hoping to get up to 60 today. And judging by that, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's hope uh, that she continues looking that strong. So it's uh, three white lights. Uh, she's a pretty good bencher, so we're hoping to get up to 60, 60 kilos. <laughs> Let's go. 60 kilo for Yang, and she came from a fantastic squat series, 115, mm -hmm. 25, and 35, and the last one was a push, but uh, she made it. Let's see how that uh, will go. Three white lights. I was just a little bit hesitant because on the rerun. You can see that it's almost shining a little bit about, uh, under her yeah. glutes, which is one of the things that the referees uh, mainly look at from the side. So uh, the that's one, one of the rules. You really have to have your yeah. buttocks um, in uh, contact with the bench. The look at that and the look at your feet being planted flat yeah, on exactly. the floor at the same time. Yeah. But it is glutes lifting. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good lift. We have Rashida then, 65. And she opened up very heavy on the squats. And I will think she opened up pretty heavy in the bench also. Can't remember her best. Can I? Uh, no, I cannot. But it's up around here somewhere. Or 70. Let's see. Yeah. And hopefully a good lift. A little bit of a sticking point yeah, midway, but in the middle, a two-one. I think, uh, I think uh, the red light will be for oh her shit. lifting her butt a little bit. Oh, I think so. Bex then sixty-five, and Bex coming out of a one twenty-two and a half, a one thirty squat, and then she was denied her thirty-two and a half. Which was a super fight. Her bench is coming along well. I wouldn't say it's been a problem, but she has, she's been a little bit frustrating that her bench hasn't moved well. But the last couple of months, it really has. Nicely done. So that looked uh, looked good. Let's see what the referees say. Three white lights, yeah. It's been a problem, but she. Has, I think that of all of the lifts, bench is the one that gives. Well, but Most last people have a love-hate relationship yes. with. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, and if you have someone trailing in one of the lifts, it usually is the, you can be a phenomenal squatter and a massive deadlifter, and then you have a little bit of a problem in the bench. Mm -hmm. 
But to be that all-round super good lifter, you need to have a good bench also. Very easy. Yeah, good. I will, however, even... I, I am a bench fanatic and really like bench, but... To be completely fair, it's out of the three lifts, it's the <laughs> least exciting to watch. It is. <laughs> and, but I'm not telling you to turn off your TV screens or anything, but uh, as far as uh, really excitement, it, right it is really... <laughs> Uh, not as visual as a squat and a deadlift because then you have the face expression yeah. and you can follow along the struggle. The bench is a little bit too... Maybe it's because of the range of motion. It's yeah. just pretty short. And you don't, you don't really see the, the, the lifter in the eyes either. All right, we have Shader then on 47. And I, I think this will move well and give her set her up for a nice chance on 50. Oh, good. That's Let's good. hope that she kept her butt in the bench, and she did. Three white lights. I think this will now she has. Well she will go for the 50, yeah. and just nice hoping she has the, in her mind to really attack it yeah. and keep the tension in the bottom now. Oh, good. But <laughs> she's going for it the next time. She just have to keep the tension in the bottom now and press everything she got. That's on 52 and a half. You'll see a lot of the girls doing uh, two and a half kg jumps. Some will do five, but most will be two and a half, especially around these weights. Well, from this side, it looked good. And from the sides also, that's three white lights. Uh, good discipline from the lifters so far. Yeah, yeah, good this is uh, all... Uh, all green lights. Nahid then. That's a bar loaded now. Fifty five. You can see that she's having her rack set fairly low. That's one of the things you, she might consider yeah. to change for the next meet, so she doesn't have to do a half a bench press to get uh, the bar up. It's a lot on your, uh, on your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a good uh, rule of thumb is to uh, rack set have the J-hooks where the bar is placed yeah. as close to your natural height as possible. I mean, at least having a liftoff will help a little bit. Yeah. But uh, it's the first meet, so there are things to learn. And hopefully her, uh, her coach, which is an experienced one, it's uh, one of the Omani lifters. Here is Smitha then on 55. Fight, fight. Oof. She came up. This is a tricky one. Let's see what the referees say now. And good lift 2-1. Because the rule is, uh, is that the bar can stop and go down lifters. half the width of the bar. And didn't do it there, didn't do it there, didn't do it there, didn't do it there. Oh. It should be a good lift, which it, it was, 2-1. If she didn't do any other mistakes, it was a complete correct call. Mm. And Smith, that was away with 55. Judges. However, I will f there will be a struggle with 57. Yeah, <laughs> Let's see. That's true. 57 and a half then for Tash. Good. Very that was very good. Very smooth. But you run into a, a little bit of a difficulty here with, uh, with uh, lifters of this uh, caliber around 55, 57, 60. 57 because some of the lifts can be perfectly fine or on the edge. And then the next increment is good. up to a two and a half higher, which all of a sudden is uh, a lot heavier. So let's see in the last round after this uh, how many of them are just going to dead stop. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just because there's no number in between. So two and a half is the smallest increase that can be done. Well, the only time that you can go in between is if you're beating a record. Exactly. Yes, true. We uh, didn't talk too much about that. But uh, here in the power meet for this year, um, you can also break records uh, by chipping them with a half a kilo. 
they will earn you uh, exactly. a yes. little bit of uh, we, money. Uh, didn't talk too much I'm about just that. a little bit curious, by but, the way. Uh, here on the par meet for this year. Uh, uh, why Dan didn't choose to chip that record? It because could be training as well. Yeah, Maybe they true, were just training true. with those five kilo increments. Let's see. <coughs> because as it stands now, uh, Smitha would actually have possibility to doing something in between 55 and 57 and a half. Because Yang, 65, moving well. Uh, would actually have possibility oh, of doing done. something in between 55 and 57 and a half. This is Yang. Six. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll just ask Dan why didn't Chip Smith and he just gave me the looks. Uh, and said, screw you. No. <laughs> Let's see. Rashida, 67 and a half. And. Uh, Judging by the first lift, I think this will be pretty heavy. Yeah. Let's see. She's not in the game of doing easy openers. Let's see. Give her all the best. Yeah. Ah, that was solid. Okay. It looked literally the same as the first one. There is a lot of Strasolene experience that kind of goes into yeah. selecting your weights, yeah. especially your opener. Yeah. And I mean, as we said, the, the, the thing the you run into here with girls is that you have to take into account those two and a half, so... Oh, that was so... Beck's going the same, 67 and a half. And if she want to have a shot at that 70 on competition, which I know she wants, this she has to move. move pretty well. So she's a very solid and technical bencher. Get the press signal. That move yeah, really that well. well. And that sets her up uh, really well for a uh, 70 attempt then, which I uh, know, as I said, is uh, one of her goals. And it's one of those uh, kind of like numbers you, as a girl, want to hit. 70 is uh, yeah. a really nice number. And going into last. Yeah, let's see the last round now. And let's see if we get any of those... Uh, just complete dead stop benches since the <laughs> girls are kind of forced to a two and a half increasement. Would you say that bench has the widest range of different techniques out of the three lists? Because mm. it doesn't matter if someone is tall or short. Yeah. You see all types of different hand placement, yeah. chest it's placement. It's a lot of uh, variability, uh, as you say, Rami, in about uh, especially the hand width and the foot position. And people often ask about the arch, and so I think that's also very personal. We'll see if Angelica makes this now. Come on, come on. Oh, this that's stop. One, so 42 and a half. Yeah, so uh, people sometimes troll about the uh, the arch online and yeah. so forth, but it's all a matter of so tightening yourself up. So if you have a lot of mobility in the lower back, thoracic spine, and hip flexors, no. in come order on. for you to be stabilized, come you on. have to be fully arched. And if you can't do that, you can't do it. You, exactly. can't, you can't force yourself into an arch. I mean, so yeah. All right. Dan schooled me here. I just forgot to mention that uh, the lifter from uh, Rivera actually uh, broke the record previously in the 52 anyway uh, with the 60 kilos. Now we have Shada going for her 50. So I think she got it. I believe she got it. If she just can stay tight on the chest, because she got the press capacity for it, 100%. Let's go. Yeah, it's there going. it is. Let's just hope that she kept her little butt on the bench. Pow! Yeah, she did. And uh, she's happier than ever. <laughs> she should be. Uh, she should be. Very good. Let's go. Yeah, there it is. Finally, 50 kgs on the competition podium for Shada. But no, you're right. You do. There is a lot of um, comments online about arching, and, but I mean there are there are rules yes. for to powerlifting, and people just have better leverages. Yeah. Uh, how you can use your own leverages to your advantage. Back. 
No, I think it's pretty obvious. So just, uh, you uh, adhere to the rules and you uh, do within that. And also the people that have a lot of mobility, if they don't arch, they can't really be in a stabilized position. So then they're all of a sudden at a disadvantage, mm -hmm. which is not fair also, of course. Let's see if Des keeps her. Yes. So the bar went up. It's all a matter of she kept her butt down, did she? Yes. Good. Three white lights. She's also very happy with that. It's good to have a win. Fair also, of course. Let's see if that's so she moves fair. away with a, a clean sleep yes. uh, here with 50, 52 so and a half, 55. <laughs> Nahid. She's gone five for five. 57 so far. and a half. Yeah, she is uh, doing well. Didn't seem Good to list. offer yeah. too much resistance for oh. a third touch. I think she has uh, more in the tank for sure, and that was the same in the in the squat. So she is uh, still have untouched territory to move up forward. Smith are then 57 and a half. And uh, yeah, as uh, Coach Dan rightfully pointed out to me, she couldn't chip this because we have a girl coming after her that done 60 already. We're talking now about the records in the, the power meets. I think this will be really heavy. Yeah. Let's see. But she has to. She can't do anything in between. She can so. fight. Let's go. Ooh, no. Well, that was, couldn't do anything no. else. So 50, no. perfect, 55, perfect, 57, she had to swing to, for it. Yeah. So uh, there's nothing else to do than just train super hard and be able to do 57 next time. And then Ooh. obviously going uh, well, to aim for a 60 at some point. Which uh, Tash is doing here now then. 60. Jeez. I think she have a very decent chance of uh, managing this weight. Let's stay tight. There it is. Yep. That oh, was very good. 60 kgs. Oh, now we have 61.5. And uh, since you see now, this is the first time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you see those odd numbers on the board. So 61.5 is an a weight you usually can do. Uh, but since uh, the the record in this uh, weight category has just been broken, uh, and she she broke it herself, by the way, to 60. Her coach uh, Stanislav uh, decides that uh, 61.5 is. Uh, what she's capable of for the day. So that's why we can take those small incremental plates out. It's also a smart lift. Yeah, it's also a smart lift for the total, for sure. Let's see. So 61 and a half for them beating her own power meet record that you just did in the second round. Oh, yeah, that was fine. Yeah, and she got more in the tank. Much more. Yeah, much more. She looks like a 65er to me. That was, uh, but she walks away happy, of yep. course. Mm -hmm. uh, it's her first competition. So she uh, want to be a little bit uh, casual with the weight selection. That was good. Yang then on 67 and a half. And then we're going to finish off with two uh, lifts on 70 kilo. The bar is loaded.
And that Mariam did 61 and a half, puts the forecast uh, against Shada, separating them with only one kilo. Oh, fight. Yes, I think she got it. Great fight. Man. I think Hopefully that will be... Uh, Position? Yeah. Yes. Three white lights. Very good. And she's happy with that. No, some people, you, you can see some lifters yeah. really, Great it's about point. staying in position yeah. and not starting flaring your elbows or shoulders. Not to start panicking yeah. either. While some some lift. lifters just have it uh, naturally, and I think Yang is one of those, both in, uh, in all lifts, uh, squat, bench and deadlift, since we've seen her lift quite a lot. Right. Uh, she will never give in and she will never leak energy left, right and center, so she will uh, put as much pressure on the bar as she can. Rashida, 70. So let's see. I thought the second one will be a hard one, uh, but uh, also a uh, positive surprise there. So 70. Let's see how this goes then. Ah, that must be good, yeah. All right. So 67 and a half in the books for her, not 70. Um, then we have Bex, same weight, 70. Oh, that's, that must be cool, yeah. Well, the previous bench for Bex moved well. Yeah, she has uh, good chances of doing this. Carrying that confidence through now. If she makes this, she will be happy. I will probably show. Come on. No, it's just a little bit too heavy. Getting past uh, that sticking yeah, point it's, it's just that above little, the chest. Bar. She is very solid in the bottom, just getting the bar up four or five centimeters from the chest. And then it just r runs out of steam right there. Oh, you can see her shoulders move slightly oh, towards us. Just uh, meaning that the shoulder position wasn't 100% set uh, when she started her press. But uh, it, was, it was a close call. Mm -hmm. It's probably closer than it looked on, uh, on your screens. Because if you just could maintain that tension in the shoulders, that would probably be... Definitely. Probably carried her through that sticking point. So we advance into the second group. Uh, are we starting with 35 for Victoria, our, uh, our new lifter, beginner lifter, training here at the club for only a few weeks, 35. Oh, and remembering the commands. Really well done. That's good. In this group we have uh, some really good benches coming at the training end. Here at the club so Marit will start at 82 and a half, Morgan will start 35. at 90. I know that Marit at least have the uh, oh, her aim set on 90, which is uh, pretty good for a minus 69 girl. And uh, yeah, Morgan's starting on 90, so she's uh, um, she, her confidence is very high. So yeah. let's see. I think Morgan is aiming to beat or break her own record today. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, uh, speaking of that, the, the category that she's in now is the 76, which is a new category, uh, landing in uh, just uh, below the 84 category, so that will be good. And last time was the first time we had that category, and we don't have the records online here. Below the 84 category, so... So I, I believe it was the same as what she pressed before. Yeah. And last. So, at least on our second attempt, we may see that weird number again. Yeah. All right. Alia, after Yaman, who made uh, 37 and a half look good. Alia has 45 seconds to go. She's come, uh, she's taken a jog. 
She was at the other side of the club. Yep. Getting her wraps on now. Yep. Well, she has 30 seconds to start her lift. Yes. Yeah, so the rules is that uh, after the referee called uh, the bar is loaded, you have one minute to start the lift. So she will be right down on time. Here is uh, 19 seconds to go. There's 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. And she, I know she has a little bit of a long setup. So this will be just, yeah, she will make it. In the nick of time. Yeah. There you go. Uh, you guys in front of your screen didn't see the timer, but it was down on three seconds. Which is, uh, to be fair, cutting it a little bit short. So you want to be a little, little bit uh, ahead of that. But the timer is not for you to complete the lift. It's for you to start, start the lift. lift. Yeah. yeah, but she's in it now. And now we have Tracy on 52 and a half. Come on, Tracy. Fifty-two point five. Good. Uh, three white lights. Yeah. Uh, so Tracer will move on to fifty-five. Uh, have Tash Manning. 55. We have uh, two girls, three girls on 55 now. Before we move on to 60. So the bar is loaded. Or Natasha Manning, 55. And strong. Good first lift. That looks very solid. Those three white lights. Mm. We have uh, Natalie oh, Moore. Yeah. Stick and Nicky call her Natalia. <laughs> well, that's not actually correct. This is uh, yeah. Natalie. He's foreign in any case. Yeah, so. he's foreign. He called uh, Laura Nalti a Laura. <laughs> Laura. Claiming she was from Spain, <laughs> but uh, that wasn't really correct either. Mm. Natalie Moore. Nat no, she's... Uh, Rocking her new hairdo. Yep. Strong. Uh, good. Yeah. I think being able to come into the club in the week before the meet, getting used to the comp bench, especially that one, yeah. it's quite a lot stiffer than normal, you would say, public gyms or yeah, yeah. private gyms. No, for sure. And we've had uh, last week, we've had a few lifters coming in that don't normally train at the club. But uh, as Rami said, if you're interested in lifting, you should for sure come by at least and do a few drop-in sessions to get uh, acquainted with the uh, equipment that's being used. Because when you are, uh, it will always be the same, literally on every meet you will do all around the world. Yeah. Yelena makes her 55, so she is in the... In the green books. I mean, not only is it the bench, but also, I mean, the bar itself is yeah. quite a lot stiffer. Because the knurling can be quite aggressive on it as well. So yeah. it will take... Yeah. And also just lifting with uh, all metal plates. Yeah. Whereas you're in a, plates. You're in a, if you're in a CrossFit uh, environment, and you have a little bit bendier, more flexible bar, and, and the bumpers will feel yeah. completely different. Yeah. Especially, well, of course, uh, the more different, the more the weight increases. So Tell you what, these metal plates feel heavier. Yeah, it actually do. Laura. <laughs> Laura Nalti then. No, Laura Nalti. 60 kilos. Good, so she's coming from a 122, uh, 122 squat. Mm -hmm. Laura. Coming into a Laura 60 Nalti kg bench. Laura Nalti. 60 kilos. 
CQ. The bar is loaded then for Olga, 60. Technically a very nice bench. <coughs> Olga being one of those that have a really nice, she tights up everything that she has. She takes her time as well. Yeah. Thing is evident during the squat as yeah. well, she takes her time too yeah. and during the very, descent. Very tight. All right, we have Yolanda then, 65. So we practiced this, uh, the first time she was at the club was on Sunday. So, uh, just practicing the commands. Yeah. Uh, you spotted her squat, so 150. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, let's see. If she just adhered to the commands. Start, yes. Yes. Ah, she's in there. Good. There you go. Perfect. Very nice little start. So, we do uh, yeah. pretty let's conservative see. here. So, we'll go uh, 67 and a half in the second lift for Yolanda. 70 for the third. Yes, I yeah. mean she did 70 when we checked on uh, on Sunday, but uh, her being a complete beginner, uh, yeah, I think we'll uh, do right in doing. It's nice to have those place markers in. 67 and a half, yeah. All right, Astrid then. Which uh, she looks a little bit pissed on the platform for the sports. She was. I, I talked to her. <laughs> she was, and I just said to her, "That's the way we want you." Yeah. Because then, when she lifts uh, best. Yeah. All right. Let's see her smack up seventy then. Nice. No Good. resistance there. All right. So we yeah. want a pissed Astrid on the yeah. platform. I'm excited to watch her deadlift. Yeah, yeah. We all are. So that will be some serious yeah. pulling. Yeah. Actually, I was spotting her yeah. third yeah. squat, yeah. and after yeah. her second, yeah. I didn't yeah. think. Yeah. It would have actually no, moved no at all, but yeah. she can fight. Yeah, she just paused it in the bottom just to make it a point. It was just <laughs> incredible, I know. Yeah. All right, so now we have Marit then. Despite being a weightlifter, uh, she has yeah. a very good bench. So 82 and a half will move uh, very well. I spotted her myself on 87 at the beginning of the week. Uh, that also looked pretty solid, so I can uh, pretty much guarantee that 82 and a half will move well. Wow, good. Let's see. That was a good lift. I would for sure. I mean, she is a weightlifter, of course. That's her primary thing. But I think ever since the first time I met her. I uh, said that it will be interesting to see if she actually made a run for powerlifting because I think that she has a, actually has a 100 kg bench yeah. in there if she'd uh, train for Definitely. it. Definitely. Because she's, tr she's training a uh, bench very, yeah. very little compared to uh, most other lifters here. 90 kg is for Morgan. This will be exciting to see how fast she can move 90 because that literally sets the tone for what she can do uh, after this, also very narrow grip, but that's where she finds Looking her strength. Really good today. Let's see what uh, Chris does now for the uh, weight selection. I think yeah. they're maybe going for 93. After this, also very narrow. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they will go for 93, oh, which will be a new record in the 76 category. So, uh, Morgan. Uh, very graphical and happy <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> so uh, that's also going to be exciting to see, of course, in the next round now. So we have a new round starting with Victoria on 40 kgs. And it will go up all the way to then 93 kilos for Morgan and everything there in between. I see Marit put in 87 and a half, which was literally what I spotted her doing here a few days ago. So I think that would also go. And then we'll see where she go from there. Victoria, 40. Well, 
that didn't look like any resistance whatsoever. She's still so, warming up. Yeah. But I think that also goes with uh, having no idea your exactly. strength capacity. Yeah. And she just recently joined in to start training here at the club. And I think it's better this way than yeah, the other. Yeah, though. yeah, of course. No, uh, it's for sure better than being Get your overrun up. by the weights. But I think that's a female trait, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> we, we very seldom see... By the way, this is Yaman doing a short work of 40. Yeah. Literally the same kind of scenario there. She has way more in the tank. Yeah, yeah we very seldom see girls with like yeah. an yeah. over high yeah. coming yeah. in yeah. and slamming weights. They have no but reason to do it. I think that's a female trait. But girls literally never does that. By the way, this is Yaman yeah. doing... All right, Alia, 52 and a half. She's ready to lift this time around. Yeah, uh, she'll have a little bit more time to her disposal now. She's in the right end of the club. 52 and a half. This should go fine. There it is. Yeah, and that kind of sets her up for a... Uh, 55, I guess. Yeah. Since it was a good lift. Tracy now, 55. And uh, Tracy is also a fairly narrow grip, but she has a lot of force output there and I hope this will uh, fly as well as 52 and a half so we can go a two and a half higher on the last lift good brace oh, let's see she braced almost too much yeah let's see how the referees uh, judge this yeah. now because all kinds of yeah. so two one the, uh, the bar bounced a little yeah. bit on her so chest she, she, it came down. you see on the rerun here she tends so much so, so it bounced up, oh, so it was almost like spot up. Yeah. Almost too much. So I would agree yeah. with the refereeing. It's just uh, I wouldn't really. Know. It would be probably double bounce, yeah. or even the bar go up and down. Fifty-seven and a half for Manning then. Nicely done. Good, yeah. yeah, that uh, bouncing, uh, double bounce on the chest uh, call that the referees can do. Because the bar needs to be uh, steady on the chest yeah. before they get the press command and then you press it up. If you're very, very strict on that, you can make an argument yeah. for quite a few benches not to go through. But the rule is it has to be solid on the chest, which Traces wasn't. She bounced up a little bit. And then it kind of like hovered there, and then okay. she got the press command, and then yeah. she completed the press in an actually hard, harder yeah, I was way. Than say, it's a it's more a difficult bench. So. Yeah, <laughs> she did a variation that is actually harder than the competition one. So I'll, I'll give her very high chances of making that uh, retake of 55, 57 and a half. Nicely done. That looked very nice. <laughs> 60 looks like it's there. Too. Yeah, it must be. Must be 60. Or yeah. I mean, especially with the bench, you so want to bring the bar to your uh, chest, but bar. and you want to be able to have the bar steady as fast as yeah, possible, yeah. but at the same time not to uh, bring the bar down exactly. super fast. So, yeah. it does so you want to be as practice. fast as possible, but still control yeah. the uh, the, uh, the pause. We'll see, uh, by the way, we can make some advertisement for uh, both this afternoon, but also tomorrow. We have some fantastic benchers on the male side. Um, some really good benchers. Yeah. We're going to go up in the high 100s, 180, 90, and hopefully also surpass 200. And uh, some really technical lifting going on. Let's see Elena now. 
Good, and as you talked about different styles, Yelena has a very wide stance mm -hmm. on her feet, mm -hmm. which it will be interesting to see um, how she pulls deadlift. Yeah. Because if I were to coach her, I would probably choose a sumo stance because yeah. she looks like she has she has that range. A lot of um, external rotation in her hips. She also fairly tall and she has long arms. She yeah. will look like a sumo puller. I've never met her before, so I don't know. She's also just started, so she might be able to just uh, train the conventional exactly. and then yeah. transition to sumo. But she looked uh, body-wise like a sumo puller. Laura, then. She always looks happy. <laughs> uh, that's, that's nice to see. 65. Let's hope some of her students sit and watch. Yes, there it is. Very good. Their teacher making them proud. Super good. And I think the school kids uh, won't mess with Laura because then she will just <laughs> squeeze them together and put them in the corner. Some of her students sit and watch. Yes, there it is. Very good. Olga 65, and this is uh, literally. Uh, the same as some of the other technical benches we've seen. I will uh, give her very high chances of making this. It's a good little study in how to be very tight. You see when uh, Marco is lifting the weight out to Olga, she will be very, very tight, almost vibrating in her, in her elbows a little bit. And then Great just pushing legs. everything on the yes. bar, yeah. So that moved well, 65. Uh, but having a solid technique like this also, it's she kind of, there's no disguise that that yeah. might be the, the be last very, lift she makes. Tight, Let's see if she can do 67, which I assume will be the next limit. weight they try. Yeah. She cannot leave any energy, because if she's, she slides off that technique, she's, uh, she won't make it. Exactly. I know you for the longest time she's wanted 70. Yeah, yeah. Account, Let, let's let's you see. you got to be patient. Yeah. Yolanda, as a beginner, has a completely different setup. Narrow grip, flat on the bench. And this is just brute strength yeah. lifting. But I mean, once you polish up that yeah. technique. Good. 2 1. I think two one. one. I don't know yeah, what the. Uh, could be for setup. some of the no. referees might Rip. think that she moved something on the, on the when she paused. She started moving um, her feet. Yeah. Oh yeah. It might be that they caught on that. Strength. But I mean, are you allowed to move, shuffle your feet? You are, while now, it's you still move to, now you move to slide it. Now it's it. All right. We have Astrid then now, 75. And she still looks a little bit pissed. <laughs> so I give it a uh, good uh, chance here. I hope she here. carries that forward yeah, into yeah. the duds. Let's see. Come on. There it is. Yeah, a little good. bit of a stick. All right. Just powers through. Let's see what uh, Coach Dan will do here. I think the call will be 77. Yeah. Uh, I might think that Astrid want to have 80, but I'm thinking 77 and a half must be the call. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Next. that's exactly what just I, happened. <laughs> I, this uh, this uh, that played out in front of us was exactly Ooh. what I said. So Dan 177, which I think is the right call, yeah. and Astrid 180, which I think would have been not the right call. Yeah, got to trust your coaches. Yeah, yeah. In the, that particular, because the bar moved well, but I think that a little bit more will make it not move well. Yeah. So we have then Modit on 87 and a half, which I think will go. I think this will be a done deal. Let's see. Oh, yes. Great press. And uh, she has a little bit similar vibe here as she done uh, does in the squat. She will accelerate from the chest very, very fast. Be, uh, and uh, she has a fairly high sticking point. That's also due to the fact that she's a fairly narrow grip. Oh, a narrow grip yeah. will get up to a little bit more than halfway before they start struggle. Yeah. Whereas if you have quite a wide grip, for example, Astrid has yeah. quite a wide grip. Just the, 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 uh, getting it off your chest. Yeah, the sticking pole will be a little bit lower. Yeah. 
but as soon I think as you can get uh, your elbows. I, I hope. Uh, yeah, Mara will go for 90. That's good. Now so we have the record match. attempt then. Uh, and by the way, obviously, uh, Mara be in the 69 category. All of her benches was power meet records, obviously. So 82, 87, 90, and uh, she is now in the. Yeah. on the boards for the record. So we have Yolanda, squat record, Marit, uh, bench record, and then we'll see for the total. Here comes 93 for Morgan then. Yeah, really well done. Yes, good. I'm yeah, assuming go. we'll see 94 or 95? 95, I think. 95. So Good, on our way to triple yeah. digits, which uh, really I hope we get a triple digit venture girl at the club at some point now. And I think, I think of course, uh, close. the um, Marit and uh, Morgan will be the closest. We've had uh, a few uh, 100 kilo benchers girls been training at the facility since mm -hmm. we've opened some international lifters, but no one that we actually train here. They I think uh, Morgan or Molly will be the first. Uh, Victoria was just a little Didn't bit seem heavy. Like she was but uh, this was a clear. so 35 was a flyer, 40 was a flyer. Yeah. 45 would have been a flyer if she didn't slide with the shoulders. So the yeah. slow the shoulders will go our way right there. Uh, so she get a little bit of rotation in her shoulders yeah. and lose the grip a little bit. Well, that's just a um, technical training thing to I see yeah, man, dial the same weight. I think this will move. Uh, just due to the fact that I think she's more stabilized in her shoulders. Quite flat on the bench. Yeah, but you ain't moving those shoulders too much. Well, I was wrong. She <laughs> lifted <laughs> her shoulders. Yeah, yeah, it was exactly the, the same thing. I mean, it is a sense that you want to give it, you want to yeah, push yeah. with all your might, yeah. so it's, you kind of start well, rounding. So you guys see in the right there, she should stay with the shoulders oh, and the right shoulder kind of lifts up, she meaning that she's by no means keeping the stability. So the shoulders needs to be in contact with the bench. You do not have to wildly retract them or anything, just have a little bit of tension mm -hmm. and just don't let them go away from the bench. Yeah. Uh, Alia is uh, doing 55, and I think she has very reasonable chances of getting this. Yeah, she's got it. Good, and a little bit of a scream there. Probably two and a half kilos left in the tank, yeah. but that's a good call. Well, that was good. That was good, very good. Yep, she's got it. Good. Tracy then, she uh, has to redo this 55. And now she's pissed, yep. I know. <laughs> so, <Yep. laughs> uh, I will, uh, I won't guarantee anything, but I think she'll uh, make a point out of uh, pushing this weight fast. Now, I just told her to be a little bit more accurate on the chest. Yes. That was go. much better. Yes. There you go. Good. Really good. I uh, was uh, the right call redoing it, and she made a point yep. out of uh, pushing it fast. A little bit more accurate on the chest. It was a great uh, yes. that way of redoing the weight. Yes. Should be happy with that going yeah. into the deadlifts as well. Yeah. 97 squats and a 55 deadlift, uh, 55 bench. Cash Manning then. Very fast down. Yep. She controlled. Uh, she tight. controlled that speed. Yeah. I will always be in favor of, of having as fast as possible descent, but that meaning as fast as you can tolerate. Yes. Without being literally yes. slammed out of position. I think, however, that is one of the more common mistakes that people go too slow down. Yes. 
because you always have a limited amount of uh, energy and power in the muscles and uh, unnecessary slow descent will uh, take that out of you. But it's all matter if you can keep control. All right, Natalie at the same weight. She was a little bit fast on the commands. Hope the head referee doesn't strike on that. Yes, she's Ooh. got it. Two one. She's got it. I uh, wonder. I wonder. Well, we can't see that I here. I wonder what the is. side referee took that for. No, I, 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 uh, I have to almost see a rerun with sound because I think she might have been a little bit fast on the press command. But whatever. She made it through 2-1. You win some, you lose some. The good thing is the head judge sided with her, so. Yep. And let's see. Yelena then. 62 and a half. Did she get us? So we have a similar situation. Yeah, did now. she get a start command? I believe she did, but did she? Ooh. Yeah, I don't uh, yeah. I think that was the main thing. She started before. There was, and she also hover. Uh, yeah, was a number of things you you could uh, so we have make an argument to situation. complain. There. So two one no lift. And you might see also, of course, you have two one one two all over. The head referee has one view, and the side referees have another view. So, for instance, the head referee can never ever see or if it's not a wild lift of the hip. Can't see that from the position. Because yep. he's, he's sitting uh, right at the uh, head side of the lifter. So that's why the side referees can see that. Come on. <laughs> and it's also very hard for a side referee to see if, it's, uh, if the bar goes down or not. The head referee will have the perfect well, view for that. The side referees can see that. But Laura Come makes on. a good effort. 67 and, and a half. A very hard Olga now 67 and a half. So this will be this will be a 50-50, I think. So 65 she made. But she made it due to her being so technical. So if she now isn't as tight as she's uh, she did on the second lift, yeah. she will not make it. But if she gets uh, Takes her time. It takes to set everything up. Uh, and do everything by the book. She has a possibility. Six to seven and a half. Come on. Let's go. Push up now. Come on. Come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. No. Oof. Just. Just missed it. And that might look like she didn't was even close, but she was very very close to just getting that through a few extra yeah. centimeters and then. Yeah. All right. So we have Yolanda then on 70, and this uh, is the lift that we decided to push a little bit, since this is uh, very easy recovered from if she would to miss it. But I uh, give her very high chances to make it. Let's see. Just stay with the feet firmly on the ground now. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. 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 There's one thing, let's see if the head referee She buried that. the weight a little bit she into her chest. She bounced it a little bit, yeah. but they didn't see it, so it's there all you fine. So if you see on the rerun down. here, Come on. goes down and a little bit of double bounce-ish yeah. kind of thing going on right there. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But she didn't do it, <laughs> or they didn't uh, no. beat down on that. So that's Some uh, lifters as well like to really bury the bar yeah, into yeah. their body. And some just yeah, fat hover. lifters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use that bounce to their yeah. advantage. <laughs> like down through, down through the fat, down to the thorax. All right, we have uh, Astrid now on 77 and a half. This will be comp this will be borderline. I hope that she makes it. And just make an epic fight because it will be a fight now. 60, uh, 77 and a half. Hope she makes it because then she'll have a humongous total going on. Come on, come, come on, on, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Yes. Good. But I'm hoping now she'll she'll learn that yeah. 80 wouldn't have gone. No. 
exactly. <laughs> so always coach uh, D. I mean, always trust D. Good. I mean, the DD coaches have uh, how many years of experience yeah. as well. 200 years of experience. No. Uh, very good. Now, that was a very good, uh, good call. A 90 here for Marit. And I give, her, uh, I give her pretty good chances to get this. The way 87.5 moved and the way she looked in the last week or last weeks on the benching. So this is a pretty high possibility of uh, success here. Come on. She's and push it up. Push Come it up, on. Push it up, push it up, push it up, push it up. Yep, yep. Now I'm hoping I she kept. Sure, I think she make it. I'm hoping she kept. Come on. Yes, they gave it to her. Yes. Hey, Anoria. Come on. Uh, vet att det var viktigt för Marit. That was important for Marit. Push it up. 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 Maybe she lifted no. a little bit, but it was a very good lift. Yeah, 90 is a very good bench. <laughs> Last bench. 95. Wow. Heaviest bench female of the day. Let's see, 95. By the way, Moritz lift there was uh, pretty important also for the total because now she's leading with 15 kgs before uh, Yolanda. Let's see how the deadlift's gonna go. I spotted Morgan this way last week. Yeah. No success, no? Yeah. With success. Let's see. Let's go, Morgan. Come on, 95. And pow. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's yes, it's good. good. Very good. Really good today. There. White lights. Very happy to see now that we have a few benches starting really to take shape. Being a Come on, bench nerd myself, I think it's very uh, nice to see some of the girls really advance because we have a few good guys yes. strapping up to just below 200 and up around there. Yeah. But uh, really, um, only a few girls. So that's really, really good to see. What's amazing to see is a. Uh, huh? Yeah, so we are uh, just gonna take uh, a little bit of a little bit of a break before we uh, come back. I think it's a five-minute break before we go into deadlifts, and I uh, hope that you always stay tuned. So, five-minute break. Be back, and there's gonna be some serious pulling. And I think we both agree on that. We're looking forward to. Astrid's Astrid. mega pull, and Morgan I'm looking forward also to well. the battle in the 69 between Marit and Yolanda because yes. I know that Yolanda's favorite lift is deadlift, oh. and uh, she has uh, very high capacity there. It's just a matter of how much we're gonna push it today. But uh, let's see, she because she's never pulled anything in front which of people, is, which so. is incredible because all the new lifters can be dark horses. Yeah, you yeah. just don't know yeah, what they're capable yeah. of. I don't think a lot of them know what they are no, capable no, of they, either. They don't know. So, all right. See you in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, will you stay on for that? <laughs> I will. Okay. Good. Good. Don't have to change again. <laughs> all right. See you. You're stuck with me.
my name is Angelica and I am a powerlifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive powerlifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive powerlifter and I've been coaching full-time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger and I also coach people as old as 55, 60 who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us.
All right, so welcome back. Now we're gonna finish this uh, first group. Uh, and I must say, it's been fantastically good uh, technical lifting. There's been very few wild attempts. Uh, well, there hasn't been any wild attempts, to be honest. Uh, everyone seems to be staying in the pocket uh, for their, their campaign here. But now we're moving on to perhaps the most primal yeah, yeah. of all the lifts. You so. know, even, uh, in, even if I'm not uh, personally a super great deadlift or anything, this is always when it's uh, most interesting. Because this is when it's all gonna add up to the total. The first deadlifter is literally just like uh, getting yourself a good start. I, the usually warm up. I usually recommend, exactly, last warm up as you would do on a heavy session. Because you won't have the energy and the uh, kind of like the power to do three heavy deadlifts. So one, <coughs> sorry, one like literally last warm up, second one a little bit heavy, and the third one, depending on where you are in the pack, you either go for it like an absolute nut uh, or you just play it conservative and pull yourself into a PB. And the thing is, we have a lot of beginners here and they have no idea the capacity. So I, uh, I, th I think we will see a few lifts that looks almost unnecessary easy. Yeah. Starting, with the, starting with a sumo lifter with Angelica. Angelica, yeah. And really I would easy. say that that was um, not even a last not four. Even. Four. <laughs> so, uh, but it's, it's important to get something easy. on the board. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's so, really uh, good. Starting it is with a sumo uh, lifter what it is. I just hope that she makes a little bit of a Angelica, yeah. a little bit of an increase there and. Uh, yeah. She went up five. Yeah. <laughs> I think that will be... I think someone needs to talk yeah, to her yeah. about her last deadlift because at least yeah, with the deadlifts, you one, can one change. 125. Yeah. Last. At least, I think, I believe, am I correct with the deadlifts is that you can change your... Yes, the third lift. attempt can be changed. Yeah. You don't have to lock so it So the in. rule... Yeah, we'll take that when we get there. So you have Nahid then, uh, 110. Yeah. Nice. Very good. And uh, for your, if you're new to this, there's only one signal in the deadlift, and that's down after you stand in a fully stand up position. The referees um, will look at shoulders, lock position. Yes, so and knees needs to be fully locked, uh, hip needs to be fully locked, and shoulders not retracted, but they can't be in front of you, kind of. Yeah. So let's see if we get any of these calls. Uh, and also the bar has to move up yeah. all the time. So uh, on the last deadlift, we will we'll guarantee you see some really struggling lift. And that will be a matter if they all move the bar up really nice. all the time. Mariam uh, with a 110. That also looks uh, very comfortable. You see some lifters really try and exaggerate the shoulder position. Some yeah. really struggling yeah. lifts. So that but that's just going to damage you. If they <laughs> Yeah, especially the, the shoulders up. wide back because all the time. what can Maybe happen I'm is that that gives you a signal to the knees to bend a little bit and all of a sudden you have another problem. Smith then with 110. Grab a hold of the bar. And do not let go. Yep. Good. Everyone is moving really, really well so far. All right, what do we got oh, in this group ball. then? Do not let go. At the end there we have Good. Bex and Rashida coming up on 130, 152. And I think Rashida is continuing her uh, heavy, high, he op heavy high openers, opener. Yeah. Uh, so I think out of these first lifts, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Rashida's lift isn't only the heaviest bar load, it was also look the heaviest. 110 for Des. And down. Yeah. Controlled Des, up and Des down. Will, let's see if we can go seven and a half higher than that. 110 for 112 Des. for Shada. And down. And uh, Dropping the bar is one of the things, I think. Yeah, ex uh, exactly, yeah. 
They need to uh, hold on to the bar all the way until it's placed on the floor. You don't have to do a slow, slow descent or anything. Just hold on and control the bar. That was a textbook example of that. Nice mix of Good sumo lift. and conventional lifters so far. Yep. And that all depends on uh, leverages, your uh, like length of your legs, length of your arms, and also literally the one that feels best for you. It can actually be so that some people pull a certain style which isn't maybe the most favorable for you, but you. Uh, um, just feels better. For, so let's uh, say, for instance, if you have a lot of back problem with the sumo stance, you are able to have a little bit more vertical yeah. spine position, and that might deload the the pain if you have any aggravation in your back. All right. So, touch pushing nicely. I mean, with sumo, it's. It does feel like it's harder off the ground. Oh, Whereas so conventional, it seems like it's harder at the lockout. But then again, it depends lifter to lifter. Yeah. Sorry, I just got a protein pancake <laughs> in my throat. <laughs> it or painful. in my in my lungs. <laughs> I was uh, sh smoking a pancake. I was gonna say new s new signs yeah. for games that we don't know yeah. about. Alright. Yang, one twenty-five. She hasn't missed the lift yet. I don't think she will either. Very strong. Very calm, collected and compact. Kind of like what I'm looking for. I don't think she will either. And she's also fairly predictable Various. since she has a solid technique on all her lifts. Beck's now on uh, 130. And this won't present too much uh, problems, I believe. Didn't. Very good. 130. Let's see then now Rashida. 152.5. Uh, and I'm uh, expecting Didn't. slash fearing is going to be a little bit heavy. Well, let's see. I mean, there is the. I mean, I guess the thought process is if she gets this lift, she's on the board with a good lift. Yeah, yeah. But she it is, is a uh, risk. She will. Uh, yeah, let's see. One fifty two and a half. Just as we thought. <laughs> Yeah, let's see a how much she goes lift, in her but second it is what a heavy opener. Yeah, let's see where she goes from there. We're gonna start uh, all over again then. Pretty fast group, even though it's a lot of lifters. So uh, credit to the uh, credit to the spotters and, and loaders. loaders. Rocking their uh, DB shirts with uh, sponsor <laughs> logos from Matrix and Base. Very nice. Very nice. Now you can see on the backdrop there we uh, have uh, some sponsors: Matrix Base, My Physio, Matter, Motion RX, Qualia Audio, and of course the competition is in collaboration with the uh, EBBF and uh, UE Powerlifting Committee. If you want to be part of the Power Meet as a sponsor or contributor of anything. Please don't uh, shy away from contacting us and we'll sort something out to give you a suggestion.
there are what two or three meets a year. Yes, well, two power meets and one power meet classic. Angelica, 110. She's still warming up. Yeah, she's still warming up. So I'm I would assume uh, the warm up yes. will continue. <laughs> oh, Maybe, let's see what she does in her. Classic. Angelica. Next lift then. Um, she probably go 15, but well, she I changed see her second bench yeah, from 105 before to 110. The time, the, before the time ran out, yeah. she actually put it up higher. That was good. So, so you okay. have one minute to decide uh, your weights, and I'm seeing that Victoria's being cheered on by uh, Mishka uh, to uh, put the weight higher. And when we come now to the third deadlift. Uh, just to know that that uh, weight can actually be changed yeah. two times. So she go 120, which is uh, the We're right call, I think. Mariam, 17 and a half. I look good. Very good. Mariam, 17 and a half. Smitha, 120. I'm uh, sorry, that's on 17. And I know that this, uh, it will go fast if she's in the right position, but it will be a little bit of struggle uh, up by the knees for Des. She's a very long leg lifter. Come on. Yes. Come yep, on. Yep, yep. Yes, there it is. And this is how it usually looks for Des. Yeah. Seems happy with that. Yeah. When you have very, very long legs, yeah. You can't really hide them away anywhere. Yeah. She's got yes. a, I mean, yep, yep, yep. a wide yes. conventional yeah. stance as well. I think uh, I think we'll actually we'll try uh, moving ahead forward with Desiree. Is uh, try if we can put in some uh, sumo practice and see how that looks. But you will see some uh, heavy strenuous lifts here in the next round for sure. 100%. Smitha 120. Yes. Very controlled. Looking very, very good. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first meet that, uh, that Smitha is uh, completely uh, controlled by uh, our coach Dan here so it looks like they're collecting a good mm -hmm. total Shada for 120 and uh, I think this will move just fine this is also by the way this is a new power meet record like that solid like a small boss, tiny boss, tiny but still boss. boss. So, uh, this is uh, 25, 27, I think we did. Yeah. Like that. So. Jasmine in the in the secretary is a very good deadlifter, so I hope she doesn't push Shada too high. So 125 should be the call. Uh, Naid yeah. uh, doing just that 125. Good. Good lift. Now we have Natasha Moore. <coughs> Natasha taking a 10 kilo jump. Let's see. Mm. Let's pull 25 for the total. Oh, it looked pretty good. You want to do 25? 
130. Now we come to a point there with uh, Tash because I know that we've done 140 before on uh, training and the uh, power meet record is 140. 130. Uh, so we could potentially do 140.5. Right. After a, br after a brief uh, face conversation and sign language, uh, yeah. we decide to go for a 35 for a trash so she get a good, nice little total. 140 for Bex. And I know that 140 is a weight that she want to be able to do pretty comfortable. So let's hope that she makes that. Uh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Yes, it's there. Nice. A very leg strong lifter here, so she is a fairly narrow stance. Pretty long torso, so she has to pull really much with her legs. I think the call might. She get one red light actually. I think that might be the knee extension. But uh, never mind, it was uh, two white lights, one red. So. Uh, what I can see from the pictures would be uh, possibly knee extension, but that doesn't matter since she had two referees on her side. Chang. Chun Mei Chang, 142. Yes. That was very good. Really and as good I said, she's uh, fairly predictable in the way that she doesn't fall out of uh, yes. her style at any of the lifts. Let's see what she puts in for her uh, third. And I think that's a uh, right call. Five. Yeah, it'll be 57, yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. I think this can. Let's see this what uh, Rashida, Rashida does. Pull here. The first opener was. It was a little bit of a struggle. It was a little bit of a struggle, yes. So we're just looking at the total numbers. So if you guys uh, tune in to liftingcast.com, you can follow this along. And if you scroll down to the. You see the top of the list, you see Parameet 10. Click on that, and you get the live score sheet that we see here at the club also. Because what Rashida did now, um, if she gets it, might possibly have secured yeah. the win for her in the weight category. But not, not only that, she is a very strong contender for the overall uh, point standing also, I know. Because now she is ending up on what kind of points? Uh, 79 points because we also have a uh, have a overall uh, standing should have a paper somewhere we have something to write on so we know thank you we jump for Angelica yeah, just I we should just remember that I don't think that this is gonna offer let's see I don't think so either this will be fine. I think yeah. uh, this girl has uh, a okay. 135, 140 deadlift in her. Yeah. She doesn't know it, but everyone else knows it. So let's just hope that she figures that out. Yeah, so she's either. happy with it. This yeah, as yes, she should We're be. We're happy with her. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah. uh, uh, this girl has a lot more potential than she, uh, than she showed. No, she has uh, way more in her than that. Uh, this will be a... This will be a struggle for sure. This is 122 and a half for Des. And this will require every single <coughs> muscle fiber of her working. If she gets it up past the knees, she will uh, make it. But you see long legs. Shuffling her feet. Let's go. Get tight. Needs Come to on. be stabilized in the bottom. Yeah, Come she on. has a chance. Yes, yes, she's got yes, it. yes, yes. You know what? I think that looked better than her second. Oh, well, let's see if Ooh. she she had it. Uh, but it's yeah. uh, if you see the rerun, the comes up yeah, at the top. She if she just would have yeah, stayed yeah, there, yeah. 
you know what? what? I think that looked better I than I think her. it was just a down command. Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. So, unfortunately, this, this is uh, powerlifting. In her books and in my book, I mean, she made the lift. So that was, and it wasn't like she was fibbling around on the floor or something. Um, it was, she was literally standing there, get caught off balance. And then it was a complete red yeah. light. That was a uh, correct call. Yeah. So there was nothing to say about that. So this girl is going to uh, Yes, I don't know if you overheard that, but uh, we have uh, Mariam going for a new record in the uh, 52 category. Uh, wait a bit. Good pull. Good pull, and that is a new record for the time being, at least. All right, so I just had to do some Good pull. adjustments there. So that was a new uh, power meet record, 125 and a half. Now we have Smitha on 125. Uh, sorry, 127 and a half. Um, this would basically take the record this from Miriam. This will. Uh, Take the record from uh, Mariam. Bar is loaded. Let's see if Smitha makes this. I think she will. Yes. 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 Excellent. Yes. Then we'll have. Yes, we're gonna have 0 0.5. Yes. yes. Up, so yeah, it'll it be is. 128 kilos for Shada. Well, Miriam enjoyed her record fall of 30 seconds. 128. And as we said, you can't ship the record and. Uh, the fortunate thing for Shada now was that she are coming after after Smitha, and let's give her some uh, some support here now. Now, come on, Shada. One twenty-eight. I give her pretty high possibility to make in this. Actually, come on. 128, new power meet record. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Lock it out. There it is. That looks good. Yes. 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 128. There it is. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a happy camper. <laughs> the best thing was is that her face when they changed it yeah. to 128, she had no idea yeah, what was going good. on. They shouldn't know everything. <laughs> 135 for Nahid. 135. Yeah. Well, that looked solid. Nine for nine for several of the girls here, Naid and Shada. Yeah. So uh, Natasha no, has a good chance of doing that as well. Yeah. It's, uh, very good lifting straight across the board here now. Tash going 135. She also get a. She makes this is nine for nine, which was the aim for this competition. Just to grow some confidence. Let's go, 135. Wiggle, wiggle, and here we go. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes. There it is. Very good. 135. And she's also a happy camper. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, and here we go. Come on. Yes, come on. Yes. yes. 
Very, Very good. good to see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Good. Nine for nine. That's fantastic. Very good. All right, Bex, 145. And I know that she wants this weight. Yeah. This is a big one. 145. All the guys back in Ireland watching, sitting in the sofas now. I believe there are some nephews and her mom and family sitting and watching. So hi to you all. And don't mess, don't mess with the Irish. Come on, 145. She will give it everything she got. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ooh. just for the day, not, not there. I know she was struggling with a little bit of back pain in the beginning of the week, so it might be like a, just a safety switch yeah. going yeah. off right no, there. Just for like the it's not worth it for the day no, because it wasn't this day. But I mean, worth it. She she's an experienced lifter, yeah, yeah. so she knows. She will. Uh, all right, one we one have one uh, Yang then on 155, and I uh, I will bet quite a lot that she will, I will bet 100% she will give it all. She will absolutely fight everything she has. Yeah. Come on, you got this. this will give her 345. She will fight yes. everything, yeah. Good. And we have another uh, solid lifter born, because this is her first power meet. She fight yeah. And she yeah. is doing uh, 9 for 9, 135 squats, yeah. 67 bench and a 155 deadlift, which is a uh, fantastic good result for a uh, beginner. Nine Puts herself nine. on 78.9 points also, being uh, second after Rashida. In quite a, in quite a full weight class. Yep, yeah, that was good. Really good. Let's see now Rashida uh, if she can uh, pull 162 and a half out of the out of there. I uh, if she pulls this, I'll be very very impressed because the first and the second lift was heavy. Let's go! Come on. She has a strong mindset. Let's go! Do not let go of the Let's bar. Go. Well, nice. there's powerlifting for you. She has an uh, incredibly strong mindset. And now she's up to, you need to remember this, 80 points. Yeah, 80 points uh, for the point standing. Can we write it down somewhere? <laughs> 80, 80 point something, yeah. Yeah, just write that. All right, we're going to go directly to the second group. Quite a few lifters went nine for nine in that last yes. flight, which is good. That's a job well done. It's very good. Very, very good. All right, now we start the second group. And uh, do not leave your seats, chairs, sofas, or whatever you are. Uh, because here's going to be some serious pulling. We have weights ranging all the way up to the high hundreds and uh, perhaps even over 100. We start with Tracy pulling 90. Here we go. First attempt. And we are in the yep. books with that. That was, uh, I'm assuming, a good lift. Yeah. She got one red light for, I Good didn't count. see, what was that? Uh, yeah, maybe the top position that she wiggled a little bit. Um, she'll go according to plan, 95. Got Tash Manning coming on 17.5. Uh, we have two girls on that. And then we advance uh, pretty fast up. 110, 115, 120. But first, uh, Manning, 17 and a half. Uh, looks good. Let's see. 
what that the referee says. It was very easy, though. Definitely. I think that she, I, I wouldn't say, the one thing, she must extend one her shoulders a just a little bit. She was very, very forward. Upright, uh, yes. So this is a good example of not really retracting. You need to retract a tiny bit more than that. But the weight wasn't heavy by any means. No. So uh, let's see if she retakes that or go to her planned second attempt. I wouldn't really uh, they hold anything against her if she went up a little well, because it was easy enough. It was. Did they count it two reds or two whites? Two reds. Oh, I see. Two reds with two one uh, decision. Here, Victoria, one seven. Oh, that's also borderline on the shoulders. Let's see what they say. Um, There's some discussion going on with the judges. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, one seven and a half. So Tash is going up to one ten. I see on the scoreboard. You might do two if you're in the lifting costs program. Um, let's see what happens with uh, Victoria. There's some uh, discussions going around here with the referees. Yeah, by the way, uh, make sure to tune in to uh, liftingcars.com. It's a program where we uh, host uh, competitions uh, online, all results uh, live as they're being written into the scoring board will appear on your screen. On the top of the list there, if you go into liftingpass, liftingcars.com, you will find Pyramid 10. Click on that and you'll be thrown directly into the action. So you can have that uh, on your laptop uh, side by side with the uh, mm -hmm. web stream. Or you can have it on your phone or whatever kind of device you like. There's some discussion going on with the yeah, judges. I don't, I don't really know the what about. They may ask Victoria to repeat. I don't think we've had that before. Uh, no, if so, they need to redo her at the end of the group. Let's see, there's some, some talk going on. All right, we are see what they're loading on the bar. It will be what? The weight that goes on the bar is at least 110 for whom? Because we don't have anyone on 110. Yes, sorry, we have Olga on 110. So we're Olga now. All right, 110. So I believe that's exactly what's going to happen with Victoria. She's going to repeat her first deadlift ah, at, at the, the end. end. Yeah, yeah. That, that is uh, how it should be. I don't know what the reason was. I think, I believe the judges were still discussing the previous lift. Yeah, and okay. she, yeah, yeah, she, uh, she okay. didn't wait for the car is ready command yeah. or something along those lines. All right, uh, she, anyway, she's going to uh, do her lift at the end of this. So now we have Alia on 115. Let's go. Bar's loaded, 115. Lucky for Victoria then when she pulls her lift, she actually have uh, two lifters mm -hmm. in between her before she does her uh, second attempt. Then. I should only have, yeah, depending on the weight she chooses. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a good lift. So Victoria will have both uh, Tracy and uh, Tash Manning in between her, yeah. After her first lift. Natalie Moore, 120. So we have two girls coming out on 20. It's uh, Yelena and Natalie. And let's see if uh, the predictions was right about Yelena that she might pull uh, also sumo. Mm -hmm. 
Assim. Yelena, 120. Let's see. What was it? Pulling conventional. Very controlled on the way down. Very controlled. That was a good lift. Laura. Oh, that looked good. 130. Very controlled. One thirty. Then we'll go. So 30, 35, 45, 60, and then we're up to the highest 100s for uh, both Morgan and Astrid. But first, Laura, 130. 130. And you see uh, Marco with a brush. It's not his first time. <laughs> He's done this many times. All right, Laura. Nice and easy. That was very nice and easy. That was uh, probably a little bit less than uh, an actual okay. final warm up. She's strong, Laura. Let's see what you're gonna put on the bar now then. Nice and easy. That was very nice and easy. 135 for Yaman also. Let's see how this yeah, bar is loaded. 135. I think this will go pretty easy also. She has a lot of power. Yeah. Very good. Three white lights. All right. The first deadlift for Yolanda is uh, 145. And the other lifters doesn't, maybe doesn't know it, but uh, she's a very good deadlifter. You mentioned before you said it was her favorite lift. Yeah, it's, this is her uh, favorite, even though uh, I must say that uh, a 150 squat <laughs> isn't too bad either. <laughs> Let's see how she moves this one now. Focus in. Let's get it ready to rumble. And here we go. Yep. Very natural deadlifter with pretty long arms and good levers. Uh, reminds quite a lot of uh, Astrid actually with long arms and yep. a little good. Uh, very good. You Very can see where a good deadlifter deadlift. finishes with the bars, quite low below the hip. Mm -hmm. Whereas other unfortunate bastards has the bar <laughs> very high up. Near the crotch. <laughs> yeah, the crotch, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can see, uh, Marit, by the way, she's not an unfortunate bastard. No. But you can see how much higher up she has the bar, because she yeah. has shorter arms. And you'll see that she will finish off a lot higher. Yeah. There. Oh, a lot of power, though. Yeah. She starts. So it's a quite very a lot different uh, deadlift um, technique yeah. than Yolanda, there. but strong, obviously. Yeah. So 145. So it's a quite very uh, let's see where we end up then. That depends on. Uh, 
on what does what did Marit put in 157 and a half for her second yeah we'll put her uh, if she makes it she will be uh, out of the reach from Yolanda for sure Morgan and we're gonna keep eye on the points and you might want to do that too if you log into the lift and cast so with that lift uh, 160 for Morgan she gets 83 points do that too um, log and was Rashida's points 80. Yeah. so uh, Morgan is now in the driving seat Yeah, so I think that uh, Morgan just put the nail in the coffin there for the overall title uh, among the females, pulling that 160, giving her a 420 total. Here comes Astrid. But here comes Astrid then on 175, and I think she'll make uh, easy work of this. Yeah. And she does. Let's see what the side referee says of the shoulders there. She didn't overdo it for sure. So two one, ones. one, two, one. Uh, yeah. I think she just yes. needs to over exaggerate the, the, uh, the shoulder just a little bit, mm. so she doesn't uh, fall into the trap of uh, wasting a lift in because it's unnecessary. You know, with the strength level that she's in is not going to make the lift any harder just to poke out the chest a little bit just to show that here I am um, but she made it through anyway so on her second uh, lift she'll go for 192 and a half Victoria then she'll do her retake of the 17 that uh, we assumed little that she probably pulled a little bit uh, mm -hmm. where the referees weren't watching there yeah they were having a conversation and Sneaky. she just went up speedy and pulled the bar and uh, the referees was looking the other way. 2-1 is fine. Um, well, the so referees she's through also. Watching that. I think yeah. that may they be the same. Yeah, I think it's the same. She just uh, went up speed. It's one of those rules that is uh, a little bit hard to, uh, to see, to be honest. And I, I would uh, rather say benefit of the lifter than, than not in this case. Oh, it doesn't definitely. make the lift any easier. If you have an extreme sumo puller literally dislocating the shoulders <laughs> forward, <laughs> that's a different thing. But uh, yeah, but she slipped through anyway. And here comes uh, Tracy then on 95. This will be right on Tracy's border. So let's hope that she gets it. I know that she can because we have done close to this just recently. Let's go grab a hold of the bar and just freaking pull it up yes yes look better than the opener it did we're going 100 today so uh, family buckle up at home well, freaking pull it up yeah no, that, that was a good yeah. lift look better than the still, opener yeah. good lift it did we're going 100 <laughs> <laughs> I think lifter oh, overruled. See, yeah. Yeah. Maybe conference. All right. 110. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that must have been. Uh, she made right. sure to really retract yeah. her shoulders on that one, so that should be no problem whatsoever yeah. I just I don't ever say that because last one I said exactly yeah. the same or retail <laughs> like 2-1 red I was like sure. well, well there you go <laughs> <laughs> just on that rule I would never take anything for granted you gotta make sure that yeah, the judges you, are having you a you good day you swung for the well. fences there and you backed it up with the white light <laughs> so I'm fine 115 uh, Victoria not a lot of rest between Not her no. first two attempts, but... Yeah, that was so easy, the first one, so it'll be fine. Yeah. That's... was solid really well also. Done. 
Looking at the overall here a little bit. What do we got? If Marit pulls her 57, she's out of the reach for Yolanda in the 69. Morgan is sailing away in the 76. And Astrid in the minus 84. We have Alia now pulling 125. It was a very nice lift. Alia also have pretty nice uh, deadlift angles. Levers, so okay. she uh, good position in the bottom. Finishes strong. Good. That was a very nice lift. All right, not Nat 127. Should also be a relatively uh, safe lift. Nice uh, technique. Gets out wide, and let's go. Yeah. Um, must have been a good one. Let's see. Yeah. Three white lights. I was speaking to her earlier. She said, depending on how that felt, yeah. she either do 132 or 135 for the last one. So let's see. Yeah. Let's see uh, what she puts in. We have Yelena coming out on, no sorry, we got Olga. Olga coming out on 30. And we just see Nat uh, will go 132 and a half. But uh, Olga first. 130. And uh, um, let's go, 30 is loaded. I see it's only. Uh, yep, now it's done, 130. For Olga. It's a 20 kg uh, increasement from the first. So, quite a lot. Why well, she got this, I know. If nothing weird happens, yes. yes. 130. Let's see. If she gets that lift, should do. Yep. Three white lights, and then we're expecting a 40, weird. maybe. Weird how that lift is yes. definitely the lift that you can t afford to take yeah. big jumps if you need to. Yelena coming out on the same uh, 130. Let's see how this moves. Yes. Oh, looked pretty all right. Good. She looked very tired when she was done. <laughs> 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 looked like she'd been running 10K oh. afterwards. I mean, it, um, doing yeah. it, it does take a lot yeah. out of you, mentally, physically. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, well, she sure. was sure looked most tired of all the lifters <laughs> so far, <laughs> but it was a good lift. So, uh, and obviously, as being her first meet, just sets her up for a nice little first total. Yaman taking a small jump to 140. I think she could have afforded a little bigger jump there, but let's see how it moves. Yes. Oh, good. I think there was actually a pretty that was a good, good, pull good, good, good uh, second pull. Yes. So maybe with a little bit of weight on the bar, would have struggled more from the bottom and not unnecessary. Tired her up before the last lift. Now we've got another 20 kg jump, Laura, but I think that's also a fair one since 130 as her opener was uh, moving very, very, very easy. So let's see what uh, Laura makes out of 150. I think uh, 
Well, she's done this in the gym. Yeah, I think she'll times. do very well. I want to see her go for like a 60 or 65. Well, because this is this is her that, lift, yeah. I mean, looking how that moved, I yeah. think 165 is a real possibility. Yeah, let's see what. Uh, I want to see her go Dan for like a to, uh, 60 or 65. Actually, maybe 62. Well, we got Yolanda coming up on uh, 157 and a half. One fifty-seven and a half. We'll uh, put her up to uh, three seventy-seven and a half. Let's see. She can hype up a little bit. I don't think she needs for this lift though. But let's see. Chug it in and pull. Uh, that's what we call that smooth easy. lifting. Very good lift. The plan was to go a uh, decent little 65 for uh, Yolanda. Let's see if she goes there. Good. Very good. Yeah, looks Marit, like uh, going. Yeah, 65 she put in. So Marit going 157 and a half. And this will. Uh, I expect this to be light. Yeah, uh, this will also close the door on uh, on the 69 category for sure. There it is. Yes. Uh, Super let's see what her total point is then when that oh goes yeah. through. Ooh. And it did, of course. 82.981. Sure. There it is. Yes. And uh, what? Let's see. Morgan has. Uh, wait, wait a bit. Wait a bit now. All right. Mart's going for it. Morgan it going 171. So let's put it this way. If uh, Morgan now pulls 171, I think the uh, then the points uh, should literally be... Points war between Morgan and Marit should be over. Because then it pushes Marit to like a very, mm -hmm. very, very heavy deadlift. Which I don't think she... It will be out of her reach, put it this way. But Morgan uh, going for 171. 420 total as of now. This will be a 431 total. 431. Let's see. Yeah, yeah I think that's... That's it. I think that's a goner right there. Uh, because that puts her up to uh, yeah, 431 and a total of uh, 85 points. I expect yeah, her to go to I 175. Yeah, yeah, I think Morgan think will do uh, 175. Right oh, she puts in 180, which is the same thing to do. Because uh, remember now, the third deadlift can be changed, uh, can be lower or can yeah. be elevated, just as long as uh, the bar isn't already loaded and your name has been calling for that weight so you can't lower it below your previous weight obviously uh, and if you miss the lift you can't lower it to below what you just tried but i think there's a reasonable elevation it's actually reasonable i think to try on 180 to be honest 171 looked uh, pretty pretty comfy because that's good at 192.5 Uh, let's go. Yes. Just roll back with the shoulders. Let's see what the referee says about the shoulders. Uh, yep, yeah. one of the side referees uh, caught on that. Yes. Just roll back with the shoulders. Let's see what the referee says. Uh, she will go past 200 for sure in the last one. 202, I guess. 2.5. I think she pulled 200 in the last meet. Yeah, 200 she pulled in the last meet, yeah. All right. Now it's time to settle all the remaining chips here. 
Come on, Tracy. Tracy is out on 100 kgs. So family at home, uh, just cheer her on. Just give it everything and give a good yeah. chug on the bar. Yeah. And do just not keep pulling. Because the 95 looked like you had this in you. Come on. Come on, Tracy. Come on. Pull. Yes, come yes, on. yes. Look at that. She had more in her. Yeah, she had more. <laughs> Look at the happy face right here. Come on. Ah, she wore that picture. <laughs> Speaking of graphic Look lifters. <laughs> she had more in her. Yeah, she had more. She's the master of <laughs> graphics in her expressions. High or low? Today is high. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, good lift from Tracy, 100. And finally reaching triple digits in the deadlift. Very good. All right, Victoria going 122.5. And yeah, I think this will move pretty all right. Honestly. I think this will be fine. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Uh, she has more, more room for there. Nice and done. she's also happy. Very good. <laughs> She's about to run out the gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She ran, ran past me and out on the street. Uh, Hurry up. All right, we got uh, Manning. 125. 125. She's got this for sure in terms of strength. There you go. I think that looked good. I think she uh, would benefit of actually having a little bit wider grip. Because she's almost so narrow so she has to angle out her shoulders to get it. So I think that will be a suggestion for... Uh, for looking into not a lot but just that maybe two centimeters on each side so she can get her shoulders back in a more natural position and here's uh, Alia then on her uh, final deadlift attempt uh, 130 small I think, jump for I think she had, but I think but she has a pretty good chance of doing this at 30 yeah. and she's uh, come a long way then since she started nice squat 102 nice bench 55 and a 130 deadlift Let's see it. Let's go. Here yes. we go. Yes. Yep. That should be it. And a little bit of scream of relief there in the top. Come on. Give her it. No. No. For what? Here Let's we see go. the refund. Let's see. Uh, maybe that small dip in the bar. Yeah. No, the top I, uh, I think that's a bit. Would actually be. Uh, I think that was be the first lift I'll go to the go to the jury and just ask if they have any comments on. Because we actually have a jury this time. Nonetheless, we have uh, Natalie Moore. One thirty-two and a half. Yes. Come on. A little bit of a struggle, <laughs> but it's uh, allowed. Let's see if she got her uh, hoping they gave full her uh, extension done. Yes. yes. Three white lights. One thirty-two. Yelena, 135. <laughs> Let's see. The 130 for Yelena was uh, uh, really a fighting lift. So let's see if she uh, she managed here now.
135. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't let go. Now she must look tired. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. No, that was. Well, uh, she's done now, at least. That was a nice, uh, very nice debut. 135. Uh, that's, uh, that's a very respectable deadlift for a first timer. Olga going 140. And I think we're in the same position out here in the squat that finally she'll have to push everything she has. Let's uh, give her all the best now. Come on. Just stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. Oh. Yeah. That looks really good. Let's see. 2 1 is good. Deadlift and smile. Oh, stick with it, stick with it. That's the new thing, right? Yeah. There. Good. Deadlift and smile, Olga. She was happy. All right. 145 for Yaman. 145. One four five. Yep. Look pretty good. Yep. Nice little start for her also on her powerlifting uh, journey. Yep. I mean, it's been uh, phenomenal lifting. Very good. Very, very good. So we'll see Laura then at 160, and I don't, I don't think she'll fight too much with this. I don't think so either. I think she'll pick it up, pull, uh, pull it up like one of those kids at school, <laughs> chuck them on their shoulder, and just walk away. And just walk out. It, I, I would actually say that this is quite a conservative third deadlift. Let's from see. Laura, let's see. Let's see. I don't want to speak too soon. No, no, no. We're gonna look uh, silly. Silly then. Let's go. But I'm ready to wear the silly hat. Let's go. Come on. Yes, come on. Oh. Well, well, silly we are. <laughs> a little bit of, uh, think of out of position. Yeah, more out of position. Else. And just hope that, so just starting walking around with 160 isn't super great for the knees. And so I should just hope she doesn't uh, well, well. injure herself good. She sure had the capa have the capacity for those kind of uh, numbers. Let's see Yolanda then in her first uh, competition, going 165. Uh, just hope she can mentally amp up for this now. Here we go, 165. This is a personal record for her. I know. This is also a. Uh, come on. This is a power yes. meet record in the 69. No issues whatsoever. No, no drama. No issues whatsoever. 165, and that's the new record this in the. This is a power yes. meet record in the, in the 69 class. So she will have the squat record no and the deadlift record. All right, Mollet will try to. Uh, Trump uh, Yolanda then and get a uh, deadlift record. Come on, hey Anoria nu för helvete dra. Let's see if she makes it. Let's see. 167. Yeah. Come on. Yes. I just uh, just want to have this girl doing a little bit more of powerlifting, but uh, who am I to wish? As soon as she gets it yes. past her knees, it's, yes. it's up. 180, 180. The thing is, 
shouldn't they have done 170? I mean... Because then she would have been in the lead. Or she could have actually chipped she it. She could have. 68. I wonder if they were actually even looking at the point total uh, overall or not. I don't know where they are. I think it was just something that they just didn't even think about. Yeah, than I, I think we can... Uh, I will, I'll, I'll have a check later. Let's go. If Morgan gets this, it doesn't matter. No. If you get 180, it's... Uh, and I think she will do 180, by the way. Come on. Let's go. Nail in coffin. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yeah. come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. And there it uh, is. Is that it? Is, come on, come on. Yes, yes. there it is. And she uh, advanced to 87 points, and that's uh, and that undisputed. I mean it's, a, uh, it's a moot point now, but it, it will still be the queen of the lifts uh, for sure today. Good comeback come for Morgan. Yeah, yeah. And she struggled a little bit last time, but now she's back on track. Back on track, they're very impressive. And she goes, I don't know if Morgan usually goes nine for nine. No, but yeah. this is going to be a really interesting deadlift now. After yeah, that, so, uh, 206. Astrid going for finally a heavy deadlift. This is I 206 kilos. Last deadlift of the day for the women. Come on, Astrid! 206. Waiting. Yes. yes. 206. And she comes second then. Yes. Holy shit. Amazing. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Good. All right. What a wow. what a amazing way to end the the deadlift. Oh my. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was freaking intense. 206. And uh, to be fair now, as you guys see here on the web stream, we have a few girls closing up on the 100 kg bench. Yeah. We have a girl pulling a 200 uh, deadlift. We have uh, several girls over 150 squats. We have uh, people advancing up to 60, 70 squats. So the uh, the level of lifting starting to be uh, it's getting a lot uh, get, getting up there getting up there. So I think that you'll see the top three in this competition now should have been. Uh, we're gonna take the numbers of course, but it will be uh, Morgan, Astrid, and Marit. Yes. I think, and all of them on the uh, IPF points will be uh, above uh, 85. And there isn't really. Uh, a lot of points that actually separates them. No, either. no, no. It's that that was a uh, close freaking call. If Morgan wouldn't have pulled that uh, 71, she uh, would have been in trouble. Yeah. Uh, except the 180, she would have been in trouble. Because uh, Astrid also have a little bit in the tank. Mm -hmm. She pulled now 206. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I have to look that up. I think, to be honest, that it's... Uh, up there in uh, at least in the UK up in the, so. the class for uh, for records for we'll have to, ch have to check to check that definitely and I know that uh, as everyone else uh, she's approaching uh, the master's age which is the year you turn 40 she's not there yet but soon and I know that the European record is uh, 205 so that was actually exceeding the European record which is uh, pretty darn amazing. It's so, incredible um, to see. In terms of the single lifts, uh, she will be the one that has the most internationally uh, yeah. kind of like competitive lift for sure. Because it's not often. I've seen competitions for more than 20 years, and it's not often at all I see uh, pulls over 200 done no. uh, in a classic uh, lifting competition. It's super impressive to see. It's super impressive for the club as well yeah, yeah, to have this type of caliber of lifters coming yeah. out of it as well. All right. We have a lot of new lifters coming through as well. Yeah, so yeah. So this, uh, this promise really, really well. So all you guys, if you want to come in, hang with these people <laughs> right here. <laughs> Which hopefully put on their masks. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, come to uh, oh there's a barbell and uh, we'll uh, teach you how to lift and uh, just try out the, the gym. We'll take a little bit of break, then we're going to do a prize ceremony. Thank you. My name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free.
Chris, one of the coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive powerlifter and I've been coaching full time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger. And I also coach people as old as 55, 60, who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us. And we have, we're going to take them uh, weight category by weight category first. And who can help me deliver the medals? Marco, maybe? Yeah, I just want you to turn the computer. Let's see. All right, but Marco can hold out the medals. All right. All right. 52 category, on third place with 278 kilos and a brand new power meet deadlift record, Shady Shada. And uh, very good. And take note of the color coordination on both the competition gear and the relax gear. Fantastic. Number two with 282 and a half, Smitha. Very good. 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 Winner, Winner in this, in this category, category with 287, 287 and, and a new power meet bench, bench record, record 61 and a half kilos. kilos. Mariam, Mariam from Fujera, uh, where is she? Where is she?
very, very good debut in the power meet, and we hope to see you soon again. All right, 57 category, coming in at 255 kilo in second place, Angelica. Also have a bright future ahead of her. Most of her lifts look pretty easy, to be honest. So very good. Thank you for participating. Uh, winner on 290 kgs. Tashmo. And she seems to have dressed up for this occasion. That was the winner in the 57 category. Uh, Tash. Was a wrong medal. <laughs> Ain't no silver for you. It's gold. All right, we move on to the 63 category, which was a really big category. So I will read the first, uh, the number five and four first. Uh, do we have No So with, uh, outside the podium was uh, Desiree and Nai. Desiree had 262 and Nai had uh, 292. You can come up if you want to have applause. Very good. Very good. Where is this? This. Uh, she just ran. Ah, there she is. Just come up and enjoy. She she really likes when she's in the center of things. <laughs> or not. A uh, good. A little bit of applause for her. Number three on 337 and a half kgs. Bex. 337. All right. All right. Number, number two. two. We have. Yes, yes. Yang, Yang is, is number, number two. two. Yeah. yeah. Very, Very good. good. Nine, nine for nine. nine. 357 and a half. 135 squat, 67, 67 and a half bench, and 155 deadlift. deadlift. And winner then on 365, 365 was Rashida. Rashida. Very impressive. Very impressive. Literally, Literally all the last lifts was exactly what she got in her for the day. Really good. Really good. Uh, all right, all right. Moving, moving on to the 69. 69. Uh, on uh, the fourth place, uh, just outside the podium was uh, Nat. Or is Nat? Nat number four, come up, have some. You haven't dyed your hair magenta for just standing in the crowd. There she is. Number three, 325 kg is Olga. 325. Number two, 385 and a rocking first competition, Yolanda. Where is she? There she is, don't hide in the corner. Very good. Very good. 385. Winner with 402 and a half and nine lifts. Moritz. I just mentioned also that Moritz did a power meet record 90 kilo bench. Uh, she did a 167 and a half deadlift. And Yolanda also did the record for the power meet 150 squat. So just a bunch of records being broken there. I think, I think uh, uh, was there any records, records in the, the, the 63? 63. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't in the 63. 76 then, on fifth place we have Tracy, Tracy. finally pulling a 100 kg deadlift. Good. 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 She didn't she believe didn't she would do it, do it, but I did, I so did. we put it on the bar. We have... Uh, Number, Number four, four Victoria. Victoria. Where is she? I'll say very, very fine start, start on her lifting career, career. 252, 252 and a half. half. Same, Same total, total as Tracy. Tracy. 
Uh, number three, Alia on three, 282 and a half. 282 and a half. Very solid lifting, eight for, eight for nine lifts, and I believe several PBs for her. Uh, number two on 295 was Yelena. Very good. Also a new lifter for us. We're very happy for that. And then we have on first place, of course, Morgan, 440 kgs. And she did uh, records in literally everything that people broke in. Squats, bench, deadlift, total, and uh, everything like that. All right, All right, so we, so move, we move on to the 84, 84 category. category. And on second, second place, we have Tash, Tash Manning. Manning. Or, is, or she? is she? There she is. There she is. And just, and a, just, a, just a reminder now, now before, before we go on, on. All the winners, all the winners, all the winners in all categories, all categories please, stay please stay on, on and go into the, to the uh, conference, conference room, room because there are there additional, additional prizes, prizes there for you. So all winners of categories. Please don't go anywhere. And on number one with 443 and a half, Pulling, pulling one of the, the juiciest, juiciest deadlifts, deadlifts I've, I've ever seen, seen I, think. I think. 206, 206 kilos, kilos, Astrid. 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 Let's, Let's hear it for Astrid, Astrid yeah? yeah? 206. 206. That's a really, 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 really good, 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 good lift. lift. Yes, now she can say no. All right, so, so first, first prize to Astrid. 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 Uh, uh, well, well, the, the plus, plus category, category we're 84, 84 plus. plus. We have a second place, place Yaman, Yaman, 295. She's still here, still I hope. hope. Yaman. 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 Ah, there, ah, she, there is. she is. Come, come, come. come, come, come. Also a new also lifter. lifter. Just, started Just started training, training this, this last week, week at DB, I think. <laughs> second, yeah. So a very a good very start to her career. And she can now put power lifter on her CV, right? She'll be, She'll be back. And the winner, Laura Nolte, 340. My sidekick on the, on the web stream uh, called her Laura. I said she was from Spain, but that wasn't right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we just, uh, everyone just hold on. We're going to present the winners for the overall category also. So just uh, hold on for a bit. Since we have, we have so many, so many sponsors, sponsors, we have a lot of, a lot of giveaways, giveaways for, these for these people. people. And if, if any, any of you, by the way, way know anyone, anyone who want to take part in the power meet next, next time, time, don't be, don't afraid, be afraid to shoot, shoot me or uh, mark, mark an email. email. So you also, you also can, can be on this on backdrop, backdrop and, and uh, uh, be part, part of the experience. Where did he go? Let's see. Here it comes with uh, additional prices. All right. So obviously this being the 10th power meet, we worked very hard to get some really, really nice uh, prices for you, uh, which we really managed to do. Yeah, we also can have uh, my physio team can come up with uh, their representation. I think they're here somewhere. So you can uh, stand here. They also have a special prize for uh, the winner. And uh, let's see, do we have that list clear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so a, a quite, quite astonishing, astonishing amount of prices that we're going to give out here. here, here, here.
both from the sponsors and uh, from ourselves. Just, Just one more one minute, more minute. <laughs> and we'll see. Just to Just sort, to sort things, things out, now we have uh, one, two, three for the overall, and uh, we have headphones from Qualia, we have protein from Base, we have a goodie bag from from Motion RX, we have a special prize for the grand winner for my physio, and we have medals, and we also have for the first time, uh, we put in a little bit of money in there, and the third place. Third place. Third place. Third place. 500 dirhams from the club. Pair of headphones. Pillow from Matrix. We have goodie bag from Ocean RX. We have protein can from Base. Goes to Modi. Uh, 85.095 points, if anyone wonders. 85.095. So, uh, so uh, yeah, stand, yeah, stand there. there. Uh, have, have headphones. headphones. Have everything. Have, everything. have a pair of headphones. Have, headphones. have a goodie have bag. A goodie have a have puffy, puffy, fluffy, fluffy pillow. pillow. All, kinds All kinds of stuff. Of stuff. Number, Number three. three. All, right. All right. So, so if, you look, you, look, if at, you look at the, look at the points displayed here on 85.129 points, points, which is which almost is nothing. nothing. With an, With an insanely impressive pull to pass, pass uh, Mori, 206 kg was Astrid, Astrid second place. place. And, and she gets, gets 1,000 1, dirhams, dirhams to split, to split, to split, to split with, her with her coach. coach. <laughs> and it's a 60-40 split. 60-40 split right there, right it's there. amazing. amazing. So, so much, much stuff, stuff. Look, look at this, at this. Yeah. 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 yeah all right, all right. and of and course, course another medal. Medal. medal look at that, look at bling. that bling. bling all right all right, all right. All right. All right. And, first and first prize, prize. 1500 1, dirhams, dirhams coming out of my own marco salary, salary. <laughs> We have uh, headphones, we have goodie bags, we have fluffy, puffy pillow, we have base protein, we have medals. The undisputed at this point, uh, queen of lifting, Murga. 
She managed to get 87.9 points from her 165 kg squat, 95 bench, and a 180 deadlift. And also the special prize from my physio to the grand winner. She get also complimentary treatment at my physio for the grand prize there. All right. So, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> another <laughs> hand. Oh yeah, up, yeah, up, up with all sponsors. sponsors. Sir, sir, sir. Anything, Anything else? else. Uh, Ali. 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 We need to have, have uh, uh, Ali, up, Ali there. up there. Do we have, Do we have anyone, anyone from, from Matrix, Matrix still, still here? 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 I need the name in the hardest, hardest working, working man in the business, business. from Matrix. Matrix. Look at all that bling. Very, Very good. good. Photo, Photo op. op. Photo, Photo op. op. All right. All right. Amazing, Amazing, all you ladies. ladies. And all sponsors and all also, sponsors also very grateful for, for the support. We just, just keep this, keep this uh, rocking, uh, rocking now forward. 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 All right, All right, that, that uh, concludes the uh, female, uh, the, uh, the girls, girls categories. categories. Oh, no worries, now, now you just run, run home, home and sit in front of your TV, TV and watch, watch the, guys the guys in the afternoon. afternoon. All right. All right. So we need, so we to, need clear, to clear. We need, we need to, to clear, clear this, this area, area now as uh, uh, soon, soon as possible. So just take a few more photos. A few more photos, and then we need to clean out because we need to disinfect, clean, put everything back into place, and then we have the guys coming in, weighing in in 40 minutes. So thank you and goodbye, and we'll see you next time or online or whatever you choose. Thank you.
my name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm one of the coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free.
Hi, my name is... Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. I am Dan, I'm one of the coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate, or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free. Hi, I'm Chris, one of the coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive power lifter, and I've been coaching full time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger. And I also coach people as old as 55, 60, who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us. Now then, ah, now we're here. Oh. 
All right. Right, now we're back for the uh, second uh, flight of the day. Uh, and the first flight was uh, fantastic. Uh, now I have my uh, old sidekick from the last Paramit, Mustafa, with me. Did you see any of the mornings lifting? Yes, yes uh, Astrid's record-breaking uh, deadlift. Uh, right, the girls were incredible, a lot of solid lifts in there. Yeah. Really excited about the second flight this yeah. afternoon. Now we have some uh, really, really, really nice lifting to look forward to. Uh, I think especially in the 74 category we have uh, a few interesting names, uh, but I'm thinking uh, especially uh, our own Mayed and uh, from Rising Gym in Fujera, Mikita, unpronounceable second name, <laughs> uh, Nikki, I think Nikita on, on Instagram, uh, Mikita Sutrishenko or something like that. I hope I didn't butcher his name too much. And in 83, of course, we have uh, Mr. Fine Tune himself, uh, Stanislav. Serbilko that also comes from uh, from Fijera. Uh, of course, a whole lot of other lifters in here also, but those will be, I think, the three names that will stand out a little bit when it comes to the uh, lifted weights. We got a lot of debut today yes, in the uh, we have a 74s lot of new lifters, and yeah. 83 new names. Yes, and we actually really pleasantly enough also got a 59 kg lifter in Marwan uh, Mansour. Uh, so it will be always interesting to see those uh, smaller guys. And uh, yeah, that will going to be a, a joy to see. I think the referees are uh, in their positions now. So let's see. We'll take you through it. And of course, as usual, uh, the squad is of course fantastic. The bench is also pretty great, but not as visual as the other ones. But then when the deadlift comes, uh, comes around, it's going to be some... Uh, some severe pulling. As mentioned before, this is the 10th power meet. Uh, this is the fifth one, sorry, the fourth one that we host here at the club, at Desert Barbell. Everyone watching, if you're interested in powerlifting uh, or even more interested after this, uh, throw us a, a direct message on Instagram. Take a uh, look at the website and throw a contact there. Or just come by the club and do a daily drop-in uh, so you can see what it's all about. But uh, now we prepare for the squats and uh, let's see what happens. All right, all of the lifters make your way behind the stage now. We, we have the spotters and loaders minute. team uh, minute, ready to rock and roll. We have uh, spotters, King, Marco is uh, directing his troops. And we seem to have Rashid and Mo on the sides for uh, these opening squats. We'll go through the lifters as they come. And let's see what we'll have here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, already here in the squats. Marwan. Yeah, we have uh, one guy opening up at uh, close to 220. So he's opening up at uh, 217 and a half. One of the rising gym guys. Bar is anyway loaded for my one, so let's see. Marwan, I think. I have 40 so, seconds some left. Some have been slightly disorganized in the warm up for some of the guys since this is. Uh, people that are completely new. Trying to help them as much as possible, but it's only so much you can do. Marwan is coming here now. Let's see the first. 20 seconds to get his first yep. command. 
And as we said in the morning flight here, uh, you have one minute to start your lift. So as long as you get the starting signal there, as it did, it was 11 seconds before the timer ran out. And there was no problem with the depth, that's for sure. Uh, two signals in spot, it's spot and rack before and after you completed your lift. Most common problem uh, would be that the lifter doesn't uh, go deep enough in the squat. Uh, then we have a variety of other problems uh, or mistakes that can be done, but we'll take them as, uh, as they show up, if they show up. Let's see, hopefully uh, there will be a few lifts uh, denied here. The bar is loaded. Zachary, dry 130. And both the first guys have really started uh, deep, deep lifts. And you see both of them uh, have lifted without knee sleeves. And uh, knee sleeves are allowed. There's no demand you have knee sleeves, but it's just uh, you can have them if you, uh, if you so desire. Knee sleeves are also uh, regulated in uh, the rule book for uh, the International Powerlifting Federation in terms of the length and the thickness they can be. Everything, pretty much everything on the competition podium is regulated uh, in terms of uh, thickness and uh, width and so forth. Here we have uh, Yai 145. Good, a little bit more economic squat in terms of depth. So, uh, still within the rules and regulations. By the way, new for this, uh, this uh, tournament here is that we're using a uh, system where the, the referees push their decision on a uh, electronic device and then the results, when all the three referees have, have the pressed, the results comes up, which is a fantastic improvement. Uh, more transparent yeah, yeah, uh, judgment the for each yeah, referee. Absolutely. That's good. Actually elevated a lot. That was a very Ali good opener. Ali Ibrahim, yeah. 145. So far, so good. Good warm-ups. Or good first attempts. And so he actually wore one of his sleeves uh, backwards. <laughs> I don't know if that's a special trade for him or gains more effect. I would assume that he didn't really see it, to be honest. Yeah, you run out of time, you do weird yeah. stuff. <laughs> Otherwise the leg will bend the wrong way. <laughs> I'll go backwards. <laughs> Jesus, 155. I haven't seen this guy either. Jesus uh, Tolentino, Jr. Oh. Do you know this lift or no? No. A new acquaintance for us, which is super great to see new lifters coming. Solid opener. Yeah, it was very nice lifting. Let's see what the... I don't think the referees have too much to complain about. Alhamdulillah. Hamad... Uh, now in 152, uh, sorry, 157 and a half. And as we said numerous times uh, during the morning session, uh, the last, sorry, the smallest increment that can be done is two and a half kgs. So everything is set on those parameters. Let's see. Fifty-seven. Yeah, from we when we were sitting, where we were sitting, that looks uh, like a decent spot. One of the referees had it uh, as a faulty lift.
Yeah, I just said the last lift uh, had uh, one red light. And I think that was for uh, depth. So the rule is that the hip crest needs to be below the highest point of the knee. Which you will see is uh, pretty hard to uh, interpret in if you're really borderline and close. Here comes uh, Mayed. Mayed, 160. We should be a relatively comfortable opener for him. Saw him did this weight uh, just a few days ago, I think. So him bench this weight just a few days ago as well. Uh, yes. That looked uh, pretty good from here. Three white lights. I spoke to Mayad here last week regarding his um, plan for this tournament and it was li literally to gain momentum and uh, try to go nine for nine and just build, uh, build a solid total. Here's Roy, one of our members at uh, 160 for his opener. That was a very economical squat, just borderline. To see what the referee so says. 50-50. Oh. So all of them agreed. So uh, it looked like it was just on the brim, but just as long as all the referees think it's okay, it's a split decision decision for them. And if you have all three of them on your side, it's fantastic. Now we'll have uh, Mikita, 217. And if you look this guy up, you'll see that this is not uh, your average beginner. He's done multiple uh, international competitions. Third at the uh, European Powerlifting Championships back in uh, 2018 as a junior. Also held the Ukrainian junior deadlift uh, squat, sorry, the junior squat record with 230 kilos. This is a 74 lifter. And he come here to mean business, that's for sure. That's also a fantastic bench. It's a beautiful squat. Very nice squat. He, um, if you look at the replay here, um, which I guess we'll get, it's uh, a very nice looking squat. Almost, uh, depending on uh, how the lifter is, almost, almost too deep. <laughs> yeah. If there is such a thing, but you, the lifter will go <laughs> to uh, his kind of like natural bottom position. I don't know if your rerun actually is running or if it's just a still picture. That yeah, was a good squat anyway. It's a really good squat. See where it goes. Uh, for the next one, we'll go 225. We'll start all over again then with Marwan uh, on uh, 105. Uh, bar is loaded for Marwan. It's not late this time. No. Uh, 105, yeah. That's just a five kilo jump. What do you think about that? Yeah, it, let's see. Uh, I'm guessing uh, he is somewhat of a beginner, I guess. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, actually know his potential because it looks severely higher than 105 at least. Yeah. So I'm, ex I'm expecting if he follows the same trend that he'll do like a 110 uh, third attempt. That will, that will literally look the same. I guess, which is fair, he go up to 112, so fair play, I think that is uh, going to look well. Zakaria is to follow, and 135.
135. And as I said, the uh, last round, both these two first lifters is uh, lifting uh, sleeveless. I think that was better than his open. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think for both these two lifters, I think it's good that the head referee gives the rack signal pretty fast. Yeah. Because it looks almost like they're on the way in without him saying it. Which is one of those annoying, mis annoying mistakes that a beginner can do. If you made a lift, you have to wait for the head referee to say uh, rack. And it looks like he is on his way to do it, but... Uh, the head referee is pretty fast in the signal. Right, we have Ali, uh, 155. Let's see. Yeah, that looked also pretty good. And three white knights. Yai coming up next. The bar is loaded, 157 and a half, and his first attempt was uh, 145. He's been preparing and training here at the club for the last couple of weeks, so he's well familiarized with the equipment. Three white lights. And that's a nice lift for Yai. Moving on, uh, 160 for Hamad Ahmed Mohammed Janai. Long, long name. So he did a 157 and a half opener, and he is only going up uh, two and a half kgs to. Uh, 160. The bar is loaded. 160. Let's see how this moves then. Not too often that you see a uh, two and a half increase in the squat in the first to second lift. It's usually there's a little bit bigger jump. So let's see what the referee says. It looked like an economical squat. And it was 2-1. So the head referee at this uh, incident uh, thought it was uh, high. And, uh, but the side two side referees uh, had it as a white light. Jesus Tolentino Jr. It's probably my favorite name of the whole tournament so far. It rolls off the tongue very nicely. Minus 66. 165. Here we go. Yes. Very nice, solid technique on this guy. Very good. 165. Be interesting to follow that guy in, uh, in the total. Looks very good. Roy on uh, 167.5. Roy competing in the minus 74 category. Let's go, Roy. See how that looks. Roy is often on just on board line in depth. Let's see how it is. 2-1. It's all good. 2-1 is fine. So you need to, out of the three referees, you need to have at least two on your side, which Roy had there. Good, uh, 167. Let's see what uh, they're planning to do. I would guess 
Yeah, 172 and a half to go for the last lift. And by the way, folks, if you want to follow along all the lifting here, um, you can go into liftingcast.com, liftingcast.com, and the first uh, tournament you'll get there on the top of the list will be the Parmit 10, day one. If you click on that, you can follow all the score sheets completely live as they're updated here. Uh, On-site here. So if you go there, you'll see uh, Mayed Alreda on 170 kilo. That lift will be marked. And let's see how it goes. Look very good from this angle, at least. Very controlled. Three white lights. So I'm uh, thinking and hoping that he'll just do another 10 uh, increasement up to 180, I guess after his 170. Mikita again then. 225. And as I said, as late as uh, 2018, uh, back in the late of that year, he claimed a bronze medal at uh, Europeans in the 74 category. So this is not a this is not by any means a beginner, as you notice on the numbers, which is severely higher than uh, any of the other guys in this group. 225. 225. And he handles that well. So let's see what kind of increasement we're looking at here. Maybe 32. 232 maybe, or 230. Uh, the lifters has uh, one minute to decide their next lift after completing their present one. So now we'll roll on to Marwan again. And I see on the scoreboard, and I hope you do too, that uh, Nikita going 230. Which is just a sensible number, I think. Uh, I don't think that will cause him too much trouble. I think his uh, official... Uh, Records in the databases that I found is 232 and a half, and also the 230 is uh, trying on in the next round. It was at uh, that point when he did it uh, the first time a Ukrainian record for the juniors. Marwan did uh, 112 and a half. I think that was a pretty good selection as well. Yeah, yeah, I think there was. So it did a. Uh, did that uh, little unusual five kilo jump from first to second and a uh, bigger jump, a seven and a half to the third. But it landed him on 112, which I think uh, was a correct decision. So he just took a little bit of odd way there, but he ended up at 112, which was good. Sakaria uh, on 145. for at least but there was uh, you'll see on the rerun here that uh, he did a crucial mistake which you shouldn't do as a lifter is that you uh, have to stick with the bar you can't just leave the bar uh, to the spotters you need to uh, be there to help them up. Even if you fail the lift or feel that you don't have the power for it, you need to help them up as much as you can and they will help you up. And 
Next one is uh, Ali on 160. 160. Like a good lift. Yeah. Hamad on the next one. I'm just looking at the forecast here. I think the 66 category is uh, very, very interested, mm -hmm. uh, interesting lift. Because then we have uh, Jesus and Jai going head to head. The predictions are very, very close moving forward in the tournament. 4.65 and 4.57 and a half between the two. Everything can change, of course, especially when it comes to deadlift. They're very similar in the deadlift, very similar in the bench. Jesus seems to have a slight advantage of the squats, and he needs to uh, use that to his advantage, otherwise Yai will catch him. That was a well-selected third weight if he gets it. Which it does. That was very, very correct. We have Yai then on uh, 167 and a half. Um, this is for the lead on yeah. squats, 2.5 I see, man. Do you, do you know Yai? Yes. Yeah. How old is he? 17 or something. 17 I or think so, yeah. He's yeah. very young. Very, very young lifter, up and coming. Competed in the last power yes. meet and got 9 for 9. Exactly. I see him uh, almost, I see him every session he does, but I can't remember. I think he's 17. I don't think I'm lying too much if I say I'm, uh, I think he's 17. 2-1. Good. So he put Good some lift. pressure on Jesus. So Jai with uh, 167 puts pressure on Jesus then, but in between them we have also Roy coming out on 172 and a half. Uh, Roy of course in a uh, higher weight category, 172, this will be a fight for Roy and I hope he's prepared to really do that. This will take all his power. Let's go now, come on. Roy. Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Let's see what the refs say. It can be a one, two, two, one. Let's see. Two, one, yes. So one of the refs had him a little bit high, but the other two didn't, so he is fine. And a new PB. For Roy, and he's super happy, and he should be. Well done. Now we have uh, Jesus uh, Tolentino, which is the guy in charge in the 66 category. If he uh, do does this weight, if he doesn't, he uh, literally goes toe to toe with Jai. So let's, for his sake, hopes he gets this. 175, a very important lift for Jesus. The two uh, first lifts have been looking really promising, so let's hope he gets it. Come on. Uh, help, 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 help. They need to help out more. Some of the lifters needs a little bit of education in uh, how to fail a lift. Yeah. It's actually, yeah. that is uh, an art in itself. Yes, 100%. Because you can't just uh, leave the bar to the guys on the sides and hope for the best. Just leave them in, uh, in that situation. I think squat's done for this category. Yep. And I no, think sorry, we have uh, Mimikita. Mm -hmm. Still left. Oh. 
and uh, this will uh, be uh, obviously the the biggest spot. Ah, sorry, we have Mayed first. Sorry, Mayed uh, on 175, and I think that uh, Mayed will uh, just uh, do this quite breezily. Is my prediction. He didn't look pressed at all on the previous uh, weights and this is only five kilos higher so i'm expecting him to uh, make this lift yes one uh, seven five let's go through uh, the motions yeah three white lights yeah nice to see he's not known for going nine for nine if i put it that way <laughs> our last so meet he went three yeah. for nine yes yeah, so i think that uh it's a little bit of a revenge time and just uh, building confidence and uh, momentum. He's, a he's obviously uh, coming up uh, against Mikita. He can't really uh, catch him, can he? So uh, just trying to do his own comp and aim for a uh, aim for a big, big, big bench. So we got the Mikita on uh, 2.30 and this uh, equals the Ukrainian squat record that he set a couple of years ago for the juniors. I believe it's higher now but uh, it was at the time the junior record. Definitely a power uh, meet record. Yes, it's a power meet record. Uh, we've had higher weights done on the classic but uh, not on the power meet. Here we go. This will be a good standard for the rest to follow in other tournaments here. 2.30. I give him pretty good chances to just nail this yeah, one out. Same. And a pretty solid and uh, half conservative uh, lift there on 2.30, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool when it's the 74 guy we're talking about. Good man. And that concludes the, the first group of uh, lifting then. So now we move on to the 83s. So the 83s. We'll start with uh, Steven. 80 kilos. Steven. Vinberg. And uh, by the way, we don't uh, do any specific uh, age categories here. We do weight, weight categories only. But I know that uh, Steven is uh, actually older than myself. So he is actually a Masters 2 lifter. So Masters... Uh, Masters 1 is uh, 40 to 50, Masters 2 is 50 to 60, Masters 3 is 60 to 70, and uh, it goes on like that. So Steven is actually a uh, Masters 2 lifter then. Flying in from Bahrain. Let's see, he was a little bit fast on some of the commands there, yeah. So he got a 2-1 red. I think he jumped the start commands. He was very fast down. But ironically, the head referee didn't catch that, so maybe it was the depth. Yeah, it was the depth from the side referees. Also. We just can have uh, Mr. Weinberg uh, stepping away from the from the projector also, so we can see the screen. The bar is loaded for Ahmad, it's uh, 105. Ahmad, 105. That looked like an absolute blasting first squat. 
as it should be. 105. So the first lift should be a secure lift, and then you do a small increasement. I uh, also want to point out that uh, the guys have one minute to uh, notify the secretary their uh, next attempt. If a minute pass, you'll have uh, two and a half uh, kilos added automatically to your squat. If you miss the squat and you don't say anything, it will be an automatic repeat. And here we have uh, Abdul Wadud. One hundred and forty. Very high bar placement. Let's see, I would say uh, from my angle that looked pretty uh, high, and the referees agree. That was uh, was not really. Uh, I would say uh, close. From my angle that looked. He needs to go a little bit deeper than that. So the hip press needs to be lower than the top part of the knee in order to convince the referees that it's your lift. Ambro, Amro, Abdin, 150. The bar is loaded. And this group will have uh, the highest starting weight, will be all the way up to uh, 255 for uh, Stanislav. So you really have uh, the 74 and the 83 category being dominated by the lifters from uh, Rising Gym in Fujera. Amru then on his uh, 150 attempt. Well, that was way high, so I'm assuming the referees will red red read that. So, the example of uh, if you look at this rerun, I wouldn't say he's at least uh, 10 centimeters from reaching the required depth. So if he doesn't do radical changes uh, to his uh, Tekken attempt, uh, I think he's in a little bit of a trouble there. It could also be, if you turn a little bit too high, you end, your, end up in a little bit weird uh, position uh, for uh, creating groove and power on the bar. So you can uh, ironically become a little bit easier if you sink down. But he really needs to find another 10 centimeters there. All right, we have Hadi coming up on uh, 155. And hoping that Hadi will have a nice meet here. Here we go. It was fast and very accurate squat. If you blink, you'd miss it. And he got three white lights, and that's nice to see. I think last time he competed, he had uh, some Hadi issues with squat nice depth, just cutting here. them a little bit high. But this time here he was go. dialed in perfectly, it's just dipping just below uh, parallel with his uh, hip. But uh, yeah, you have to really be fast to even see it, even on the rerun, to be honest. Mohammed on uh, 160. We're advancing. We have a lot of lifters around this 150, 150 160, 170 mark. And then it uh, shoots away up all the way to 255. The big group. That was a good lift by uh, Muhammad. Next will be our own uh, Aboud. And with our own, I mean uh, from Desert Barbell. Both uh, working and training here. Aboud made a a lot of progress the last couple of months. So we'll hope to uh, 
see him do really well here. Let's go. Pretty uh, great first squad for Abud. 165. And we're moving up to Abdallah. Abdallah Badawi. Abdallah Dawai on uh, 170. And you can uh, squat in headband, which uh, Abdallah does here. That looks like a very economical and well performed squat, and he gets uh, three lights for that. Can in uh, squat in headband, which uh, Abdallah does here. All right, we got Ala Dalrey to uh, try for 180. Haven't seen Ala in a while, so I don't know how his training's been going. But judging by the openers, it uh, must have gone pretty well. He has uh, his first, uh, first squat at 180. See what he can do. Sitting that looked uh, really good. And three white lights from the refs. Amin. Wise. I haven't seen him lift for quite a long time. I've seen his brother lift, Karim, pretty recently. But not uh, Amin. Let's see if we can follow in his uh, big brother's footsteps here. He's starting with uh, 185. A pretty good deadlifter, I mean. So we can expect some uh, nice weights from him there. Here we go, 185. That looked pretty good. And three white lights. Here we go, 185. Next up is uh, David Vlosovsky, which is, uh, I think, one of my favorite lifters from the last power meet that we had. Very much uh, a guy that uh, lives with a lot of heart and uh, amps up. Here we go. David Losovsky. Nicknamed Mr. Ski for a reason I can't even remember from last time. 
last time. I will call him Mr. Ski. Here we go. And rack the bar there. Look fine. And uh, that looked pretty heavy for an opener, but I don't think you should be too worried. But it looks like most of his heavy lifting looks like this. I saw him do his uh, opener and uh, second attempt here a few days ago at the club, and uh, literally from the last uh, last warm up and up till the first and second attempt, it looked literally like that. So there's more in there. Two lifters left in the first group. We have Yusef and then we have Stanislav. That was uh, pretty heavy, but a good lift, so three white lights. <coughs> All right, uh, now we come to the most decorated of our lifters in the heavy openers. The first day of lifting, this is the Stanislav Sobilko from Ukraine. And you're looking at a guy who won the European, uh, sorry, came third at the European Championships back in 2018. He also won the Europeans uh, for juniors back in 2017 in Denmark. His uh, current squat PB is uh, 265 kilos. 265. So we'll see uh, where Stas is going today. This is actually a uh, record in this uh, weight category for uh, power meet. 255. So he'll actually start five kilos over his own record. And I expecting it to look like this. Which was uh, it's fantastically impressive for an 83 guy. Very efficient lift. I would uh, expect slash suspect that we'll have uh, Stas over 270 today. Uh, probably closer to 80 than 70, which is a great result for an 83 guy. And he also have a, a really, really impressive uh, bench, which we'll come to, of course, later. But he's starting at uh, 185, which is... Uh, also above the record in our meets here. So we have the power meet records, which is the records that are being set in our competitions that we hosted here in the club, which is essentially the last four power meets. We also have the power meet classic, which is our Grand Prix event. And uh, those records are separate. Uh, they're not in the actual power meet records since we can have wild card invited lifters there. No, it needs to be a color on that side. Then it's loaded. So 90 kgs for uh, Mr. Steven Vinberg, Masters 2 lifter. So let's hope that one, he listens to the commands, two, he get appropriate depth. He's looking ready to go. And comes up with the bar. Yeah, he will come up, <laughs> but let's see if he goes low enough and he waits for the commands. So he missed on both commands. Here we go. Yep, looks good. Wait, wait now. Yeah. I think he got it there. Yes. yes. Yeah, good. Goes low enough. He and looks he waits for the command. So he happy. On both commands. Here we go. Yep, looks good. Wait, wait now. Yeah. And Steven actually, he flown into Dubai. He's working in uh, Bahrain. Came in for a technical session with one of our coaches. Just flying in from Bahrain and did a little bit of work in Dubai, came through, did a session and flew back. And now he's back again. 120. 
for Ahmad. Wahid Jalabi. Well, they're playing Eye of the Tiger on the stereo, so I'm assuming this will be no problem. Yeah, I hope so. Because of the song. Because of the song, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Eye of the Tiger, I hear it in the it background. It adds about 15 kilos to your squats. Yeah. I usually say it adds about 7.5 per leg. So that's 15 total. Very good. I don't know, the, have you seen this guy lift before? Yes, Where I is know. He, where's the training? Uh, I don't know where exactly, but he's messaged me a few days ago complaining about his hip. So okay. I hope he is getting past that today yeah. with his weights. Looks very uh, technically clean when he lifts. So uh, I'm guessing he uh, be lifting for a bit of time. Also seems quite young, I guess. Yeah, he's very young. So I uh, hope he continues lifting then. Abdul Wadud. I hope I didn't butcher his, butcher, butcher his name. Abdul Wadud Ali Muhammad Al Mari. One hundred and forty he's starting on. He really gave the referees a chance to measure in <laughs> his depth at least. He squats a little bit like I do. Meaning parallel or just above and very slow. Unfortunately two one red. So he needs to go just a tiny bit deeper. I would suggest him to do just a tiny bit faster also, but Yeah. You kind of have your individual speed. Um, but he was very slow all the way down, so it's easy to say but uh, harder to manage. Now let's see Amru. Uh, you didn't see this squats by the way, but uh, if he didn't, if it doesn't change uh, radically here, he will be in a little bit of trouble because he was very high on his first squat. Let's see how this work works. Just sink it deep now, at least 10 centimeters more. Yeah, still no, high. I think he's. Uh, and Mr. Recommend. I think he is pretty. Pretty. It, it will be uh, very hard for him to get the third squat if, if you guys look at the replay. That is what we in my region call a hockey squat. So no, I think it's uh, for the reason that young hockey players only want to only want to impress girls with big weights on the bar. <laughs> just got half the weight, or half the half the way, but twice the weight. So Amro is in a bit of a trouble. 150. Uh, he needs to really, really uh, tune up his game. Other than if not, he will uh, not get a result in the squat. Mohammed Ramal, Ramal. The bar is loaded. So another young lifter. Yeah, it's the wrong weight on the bar. If it's not, it's Hadi. It should be Hadi. Yeah, now it's right. It's Hadi on 165. And Hadi, I don't think you saw this squat either. It was a fantastic, nice looking first squat. Yes. He just dived, bomb it down, and just changed direction on the bar I just below. I remember this guy from Power Meet 9. Yes. He uh, had a little bit of trouble with, uh, with the depth then, but this time he seems tuned in. And that was another great looking squat. So I have uh, no problem believing that it's three white lights, and it is. The yeah, speed on the descent also with helps the, with, yeah, the yeah. with the depth. With the depth, but this time he seems tuned in. And that was another. Have you seen the series Mr. Robot? Yes. Doesn't he look like the main character a little bit? <laughs> That's a bit awkward. The main character is Egyptian. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. A little bit, yeah. Is he Egyptian? I didn't yes, know. Yes, he's uh, Egyptian-American. Okay. I know he's, he seems like uh, being somewhere from this region, but I didn't know it was Egypt. Ooh, it's very borderline. That was very borderline. Let's see, it can be a 1-2-2-1 one, two, two, one either direction. Yeah, 2-1 no, no, no. unfortunately uh, the wrong direction for him. No, no. 
So same the color of his singlet, red. And that was uh, it was a fair call. Very good. It's been a lot of fair calls uh, in this uh, today, actually. So uh, always a uh, always a discussion around refereeing. But I always say, and I will state this always: I will never be a referee myself because these decisions can go either way, and it's very hard to say either way. Abdallah Badawi then. 180. Uh, rackets. Do we know where Abdallah trains? Abdallah Badawi then. He also looked like he has a nice little style developed for himself, so I would uh, consider him. Uh, he doesn't look like a beginner, yeah. so he, I think he's been training for a bit of time. Bar is loaded than for Abud. Had a really good uh, first squat. He's actually uh, rocking uh, a custom uh, designed uh, SPD singlet with the DB logo and the Union Jack, as in the UK logo there, faded away a little bit on his right, on his right chest. I've seen him smoke this in training. Yeah. The singlet? Uh, no, the, the weights. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Very good. Now let's see, I think uh, we'll get yeah, three white lights. Yeah, the story around the singlet, uh, so we don't miss that. That was that okay. our coach Chris used it for uh, nationals in the UK a few years yeah, ago. Now it's uh, the legacy continues with uh, Abud. So the singlet had done 265 at least on competition. <laughs> so that's the PB for the singlet. And Abud is happy with that. Ala uh, Dalre on 192. One nine two. Here we go. Gets the call. It looked like a fine lift to me. 2-1, it was a little bit surprising. Let's see what the refs could have seen. And looking at the right hip that we see perfect angle from here. Looked just fine. We have uh, Amin then. Always. I mean on his uh, second squat. One ninety five, he is uh, going. Uh, which let's see in the total standings where we are. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, in the run for uh, top three placement in the 83 category behind the uh, outstanding Stanislav. So he will battle it out with uh, Yusef and uh, Abdullah mainly. Amin has the advantage of being by far the best deadlifter of them. So I think that can uh, potentially play to his advantage. That was a nice little lift. So three white lights. Play to his advantage. So uh, next up. 
Mr. Ski, David Lasovsky, 200. And his first lift, uh, if you remember, looked quite uh, heavy, but I think he still has this because he uh, seems to be a master of uh, hyping himself up. Had a little friendly slap on the back by Coach Chris. And he will also hype up just a little bit just before he lifts now. So here he comes. A little friendly slap on his own chest. And 200 is uh, ready to go. Here we go. 200. As I thought, he had that in the tank. And that's three white lights. 200. And he's happy as he'll ever be. Mr. C. 210 for Yusuf. And then we finish off with a uh, cracking 265 by Stanislav, and I will be uh, surprised if uh, we don't see a six, uh, sorry, a 75 after that. Bar is loaded, 210, 210. was Yusuf and the 74 last power meet? I can't remember. He was competing with Khalifa. Which Khalifa? Uh, the Omani Khalifa, the 74 Khalifa, it's 66. Well, he was 66. Oh. oh, there's no way he was in 66 and not 83. Because they took turns about uh, taking the record in the 66. Yes. Was, uh, that was another guy. Let's see how that was on depth. So, 2-1 red, unfortunately. And I th let's see the, the replay. But before we see the replay, I would probably agree. Maybe this makes me change. Yes. No, uh, yes, that uh, was a high squat, so guy. nothing to uh, complain about there. 2-65. And now we're coming up to some serious weights for even for him. I talked to him just before and uh, he is very happy with the training block or blocks that he've done now the last couple of uh, months because he's finally been able to train uh, without uh, any injuries or any pain of any greater proportion somewhere. So uh, I think we... Uh, I'm at least expecting this to go pretty well, 265. Here we go. And it did. Very technically skilled guy. Uh, pretty wide stance, but good mobility in hips and uh, good control. A very vertical squat. Yeah. Let's see, I, I would uh, predict that he'll do, I thought 75 before, I'd probably go 70 or something, because I, I don't think he'll be maximally, maximally pushing it. Yeah. So let's see uh, what he does. It's going to be updated in yeah, a second. 72, and I give him pretty good chances to get that. I don't think he'll put it on the bar if he didn't have a yeah. big belief in making it, so... It's a 600 pound milestone. Yeah. And here we have then Steven uh, Winberg. Let's hope that he grasps the signals again and get full depth. He's looking ready to go at least. It was only the first one he missed a little bit. Here we go down. Now oh, and take the bar, yeah. That was uh, as expected. Uh, he had a little bit of a. Was a little bit too much jump to do a 10 from 90. Here we go he down. Went down. 
up and then no, and it looked like he wasn't really prepared for the weight to be honest yeah i think uh, better bracing yeah would have helped uh, i think him. that he he has that weight for sure just has to uh, train a little bit more on those weights and get technically schooled in doing uh, higher percentages of his max all right the bar is loaded then for uh, ahmad the styly uh, technique looks very uh, clean when he lifts good and the benefit of having a technique that you can rely on is that when things get tough you stick to that technique and you don't leak energy left right and center yes. So literally all the three lifts looked the same. It was just that the last one was a tiny bit heavier, of course. But he didn't uh, compromise on his uh, technique by any means. We have uh, Abdul Wadud. Good. Oh, that's that's a borderline. That would be one, two, two, one, any direction, or even three reds, and it was three reds. Good. So unfortunately, not a good lift there. Oh, that's Amrodan for his. Uh, Final attempt on 150, and without uh, being nego in any way, I think that this will be a challenge uh, just too great because uh, the first two lifts has been uh, very, very, very high. So he really needs to brace in, rely on his legs to carry him up, and he needs to go at least 10 centimeters lower. Again, wider stance. Yeah, he, he's ah. not doing that. So I think that uh, in terms of uh, the actual lifting, in terms of the rules and regulations, I don't think he uh, read right up on the rules. So I think that, 150. Uh, so he is unfortunately without a result on the squats. So the hip crest needs to be below the top part of the knee. That's the uh, rules. And if so you don't do that, it's not going to pass. 175 for Hadi. It's a very stacked weight category. Yes, a lot of lifters here. So I'm really hoping Hadi will uh, smack this one and get three three uh, good squats. Out in a good stance, here we go. Boom. Yes. Ah, no. That will not go. Yes. Out in a good stance, here so we go. So unfortunately, let's see here, he dives down. Ah, so I don't think it should change no. anything else than being a little bit stronger. Yeah, you just don't want to lose tightness if yeah. you dive that, that fast. So he needs to really uh, make a uh, serious effort on uh, bracing. Let's see. 175 for Mohammed. 175, Mohammed Ramal. This. Missed his last on depth. Yes. Three reds for him. That yes. looks way better. Come on. Yes. yes. It's called powerlifting for a reason, so you can actually make a serious effort, which he did there. Yes. So Three that was reds. a really nice uh, yeah. third yes. attempt. Way better. Come on. Yes. yes. I was a little bit worried that he was going to bounce the bar off his back when he came up. Yeah, it's too fast on yeah. the last portion. But. Uh, yeah, other than that, good. Abdullah Badawi. 
Another of those clean looking lifters. Out into a great stance. Let's see. Ah, but I think this was an example of a great way to miss the squat. Yes, yes 100%. He braced by the looks of it, everything he had. And he stick to his guns. And just there, he just didn't have the power to get it up. And his hip what? ran away from him in like on the backside. And then it was just too heavy. But he stick with the bar. So no drama whatsoever. Abud. Abud 190. That's a PB for Abud. A 10 kilo PB. Come on, Abud. Yeah, I think... Uh, what did he squat last week? One e uh, I think it was a 180. 180, okay. So I... Uh, the tapering week and a couple of days extra rest here, I give him uh, quite good chances to get this. And he knows how to brace at least. It's Come really on. good. Uh, Use the power of the technician. Center. Come on. Here we go. Come on, Abud. Yes! Yes, good. Three white lights. He was a lot. He was stronger than the bar. Yeah, I think uh, his uh, form broke down a bit, but he still yeah. powered it up. He just needs to learn how to celebrate as, a, <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> no, very good lift. And we're happy for Abud. Closing in on that 200 mark, which I think should be an obvious goal for him. And good. So 190 for Abud. Now we have Ala. Ala doing a 10 kg jump from 92. Let's uh, hope that he can uh, get both down and up with no problems. I think this will be this will be a 50-50 for Ala. Let's see. It's a big jump for a third attempt. Let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, give him all the support. Here we go. Come on. That wasn't uh, super great. He fell forward quite a bit. You see in the replay there. And uh, let's see again. That's a pretty, not a super great way to miss a weight. Yeah. Because it's hard to, uh, you be caught off guard a little bit. There's nothing the spotters and, uh, can do when you let go of the bar. Yeah, I think that what the referee is saying here also is that uh, when we have the capacity of having two spotters per side, I think we should have that. Uh, even on what we call not super heavy weights, because it's been proven now a few times that uh, we... Uh, because if, the, if there were two spotters on the side and they see the lifter bending forward quite a lot... Yeah. Just lucky that the bar didn't bounce in a chin or something for someone. Sure. 205 then for David Losovsky. And uh, extra volunteers are being called in here. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's fair play. Have two, uh, two spotters per side uh, for the remaining spots. Some solid team talk here. Yeah. I think the main thing is also uh, in the team uh, of spotters and loaders, you need to have uh, an actual plan of what to do. Yes. So either you interfere or you don't. You just need to work all as one. Yeah. Here we come, David Losovsky, because I think we can need spotters on this one also. 
because the 200 he just did was pushing it to at least 99%, which I was fairly confident they will do. This 205 will be a 50-50. Let's see if he can amp himself up to uh, squeeze out those last percentage to get up to 205. It will not go easy if it goes, let's put it that way. He has to put everything right here now. He's not going to miss on the bracing, that's for sure. Come on. No, no, no. So that was... Uh, oh, that was... Uh, the 200 was pushing it. And he just couldn't He's create the force the to uh, sure. get up to another five. Well, that was a no. very slight miss. So that was he just lost his position a tiny bit on the way up. Amin now. Amin will be uh, two, seven and a half. Two, seven and a half. And then we're going to finish with uh, Youssef and Stanislav. This is a... Uh, Pretty important lift for the total standings in this class, the minus 83, because if Amin uh, do this and Youssef misses his 220, it's uh, very much in favor of Amin, because he has such a good uh, deadlift to finish with. Here we go. Let's hope he gets this. That was uh, very, very, very well chosen uh, last weight. He dives down and then he just keeps the pressure on the bar. Do not give up. So that was a uh, labor victory. So let's see if uh, that could be uh, very... I just said that that could be a very, very decisive lift when it comes to the total standings because if uh, Youssef now uh, misses his 220, he is uh, quite a lot behind. That was an excellent 30 times. Yeah, that was, uh, that was absolute spot on. So Youssef uh, literally now needs this 220, which to be fair, I... I am a little bit uh, hesitant if he'll get it because he missed his 210. Was on depth, but it was clear on depth. He missed it. So now we actually need to find another 10 and do it deeper than the previous lift. Back choked up, face choked up, hands choked up. Let's see. There's actually a rule against this. Yeah. And there's, there's a, a reason to it. Yeah, no? There's a reason to it also, and yes. I'll say why. Yeah. I, unf I, I, I think that he is celebrating a little bit too early. Let's see. Let's hope. Yeah. Now it's three red lights, so he didn't get it. Yeah, yeah so the same guy that has the, uh, the, the record on this bench, Blaine Sumner, used to chalk his face as a war painting. And uh, I think some of the the guys in the federation didn't like that, so they created a rule against it. It's a bad look for the yeah, IPF no. joining the Olympics. So, so if, uh, if anyone wonders about the PB for this particular bench setup, it's 425 and a half kilos, not pounds. Because we're adults, so we don't deal in pounds. So kilos, obviously. 600 pounds. Stanislav, 272, 272 and a half. I think uh, this will be pushing him, but I think that he have a high rate of uh, success possibility here. I think I saw him do it before. 272. Got this. Come on. Definitely. Yeah. Was it ever in doubt? Davai, davai. No, I think that he uh, he knows himself very well, so he'll uh, he'll do what he know he can do. I will. Uh, I would live to see the day that Stans do something unreasonable in this sport. I don't think it will come. 
that day. So three very good uh, squats from uh, Stas finishing the 83 category. Right, five minute break and then we're back with the uh, benches. My name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm one of the coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine 
and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive power lifters. If you are a beginner or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free. All right, we're back for the uh, bench for the 74 and 83 category, guys. And we're going to have some exciting lifting in uh, both these groups. I think uh, a lot of it will have to do with uh, Ukrainian lifters. First off, in this group, we have uh, Mikita. And then in the second group, we have Stanislav, uh, both obviously coming from Rising Gym in Fujera. This uh, first group, we also have uh, our own Mayed, Mayed Alreda, uh, which is also a fantastic bench presser. 
So let's see. I'm, I'm uh, suspecting that the power meets bench press record, which is uh, currently 152 and a half in this group, will get its uh, turn. So to uh, summarize, Mikita is in a massive lead uh, after squatting 230, which is uh, obviously a new power meet record. Uh, the bench press record is as it stands now, 152 and a half. And the, uh, the deadlift record is 220. Those will uh, all be severely uh, increased. In the 66 category, we have uh, Yai, Jesus, or Sakarai. They are all three starting roughly around 100, and Yai is starting 110. So they have a little way to go to the power meet record, which is uh, 122 and a half. All right. We are now uh, now gonna go and start this uh, group. We're gonna start first with uh, Roy. Roy is uh, gonna go 70 kilos. And I think that uh, yeah, this will uh, I think quite obviously fly pretty fast. Seventy kilos, very easy. And then we have. Uh, Marwan on uh, 82 and a half. Favorite lift of the day. Yeah. 17. It's a favorite lift, but as we uh, concluded on the morning session here, visually is not the best lift to yeah. watch. Yeah. Um, squats, you can see the whole, uh, whole squat pattern. You can feel the face of the lifter. You can get a really sense of them pushing everything. The deadlift is the, the primal one. You can follow the load up and everything. And as terms of uh, visual sports, I think that uh, bench will be the least favorable one in terms of visual effects. Uh, because uh, you, I think it's because you literally can't see the lifter in the face. That's yeah. Kind of it. So let's see if uh, I see now that the uh, the camera crew have rigged up a camera on top of the lifters, kind of like behind the backdrop. Yeah. There. Let's see if they're gonna put that uh, camera to work. We have some nice little angles here. Let's see. This angle right here is pretty good. Let's rock for Marwan. He is uh, competing in the 59 category. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately for him, the power meet records is uh, held by uh, Khalifa. The smaller of the Khalifas that we know here. Uh, really solid uh, lifter from Oman. So he's done 110 bench, which is uh, Really good result for a 59 kg lifter. So I won't, well, I won't assume Marwan to get up to those weights today, but it's off to a good start. Now we have 100 uh, kgs for Sakaria. Sakaria dry. We see later down the line here on this group that uh, Mikita is. Uh, Starting his campaign on a 162 and a half, which is a substantial weight for 74. Let's see uh, Sakaria here. I think he jumped uh, the command, and I think he jumped the command and lifted his hips. So I think that it was a little bit fast. 
and lift his butt a little bit. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Sakari. And also, I think that starting weight looked a little bit heavy. To be, if he now he needs to redo it and be 100 percent sure that he can. Yeah, he, I think so. he missed all the commands. Not yeah, he missed uh, a few commands. Uh, there are three of them to miss, and I think he missed them all. So that's 100% uh, for him. Uh, we have Ali Ibrahim. Ali Ibrahim Ali Al-Bedavi. He actually has as long name as I have. Do you know my full name? Nope. Nils Patrick Ingemar Hedqvist. <laughs> Sounds like a full rhyme. Your first name is Neil. According to my passport, yes. All right, 100 kgs. Mm. And that's uh, three white lights. You look more of a Patrick than a Neil. Yeah, yeah, so I'm uh, so Nils with an S. Oh, so Nils. always when right. they come someone from the uh, government or some entity to have my Emirates ID, they ask for Nils and no one knows who the hell they're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that's my first name, but my, like my speaking name is not Nils, it's Patrick. Yeah. All right, we have uh, Jesi, Jesus Tolentino Jr. with also 100. And this is uh, an important lift for him to put some pressure on uh, Jai. Because as it looks now, it will be uh, Jai and uh, Jesus battling out for this win. I'm hoping he's gonna keep his glutes in the bench here now. It was fast enough, but he is. Uh, yep, I think one of the referees caught that he no, didn't really have contact with the bench. Keep his glutes in the bench here now. With his bum. Whoop. But nevertheless, two one. So he is through to the second uh, second round. One oh seven point five for Hamad. Good work. Good. Uh, Hamad, and then we have Jai. Bar is loaded. 107.5. Someone is in trouble. But that didn't look like a technical miss. That looked yeah. like he literally overshot his uh, capacity. Ooh, Might Stop. be that uh, he's not uh, really in tune with uh, lifting on commands. So yeah. he just did uh, touch and go lifts uh, on his training. Mm -hmm. So uh, please take note at home to practice mm -hmm. with uh, actual comp commands or even better, longer commands than that, at least as an assistance exercise. We have Jai, sorry. Uh, we have Hamad. No, this is Jai, sorry. Jai, Jai on uh, 110. Young lifter then. I forgot to ask, but I, uh, again, but I, we, we, resume, we assume he's 17. Yeah. So until proven otherwise, he's 17. I Young believe maybe he was then. even 16 when the last power meet was. Maybe we'll catch him Haven't and ask. Missed, missed the lift yet. Uh, Jai. Oh, Jai. How old are you? 19. 19. Fuck, he's oh. 19. Oh, I saw 16 and we just reverse it. That's fine. <laughs> 19. Man, he's old. <laughs> Can have grandkids by now. <laughs> he hasn't missed the lift I thought he looked yet. like a little bit grey in the, in the hair. <laughs> no. Okay, now we have uh, an actual... Um, Record attempt uh, by Mayed, so it will be 153, which is uh, a half a kilo higher than the record that he has himself in this uh, weight category. So 152 and a half is the record he holds himself, and now he'll go for 153.
Maiz is a very technical lifter with a big arch. Yeah, let's see. So if he gets it right, it will fly. Um, Just need to get need everything right. I can keep the tightness when the bar is on the chest. But I think that regardless, uh, the way it's been looking on training the last couple of weeks, I think 153 will be fly regardless. Let's see if just extends the elbow. Good. Uh, I think that he... Uh, 153 oh, is uh, fine. He get a little bit of a twist there. And uh, I think that... Uh, let's see how it goes. He has some cramps somewhere. And I think that that is a very important thing to... Uh, to realize and remember is to is to actually uh, practice to bench after you've squatted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is some serious pain here. His back or his uh, yeah. It might be his lower back. Yeah. Yeah. So what you uh, <laughs> let's see if he, he gets up at least. And he uh, he uh, gets off the podium with a smile. What a warrior! His uh, <laughs> his nickname is Bench and Smile. Like that, the body goes right all this time. You're not supposed to arch. So. Uh, <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do next. What we do know is that uh, 162 and a half will get on the bar, and this is for uh, Mikita. Mikita, uh, 162.5. And as uh, Chris very uh, correct points out, that was not uh, 162 on both sides of the bar. So now it's uh, 162.5. One sixty-two, and just for reference, uh, we can know that uh, Mikita have done more in international competitions. He's done uh, one seventy as a junior back in two thousand and eighteen, and I don't think he's become any weaker than that. He hasn't been looking so on the Instagram at least. So I'm assuming we'll see a uh, nice and technical lift here. Yeah, so that's how it looks. 162 and a half, and that's him uh, putting oh, yeah. a uh, yeah. new record yeah. on the boards for the 74 category. Yeah. So that's our look. Gonna be interesting to see here now <laughs> what happens. Next round, I see uh, Maya to put uh, 157 and a half for the next round, and I think Mikita will do 170 or something in the rounds of that. Uh, let's see what he puts in. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, you go 168, because of course he has the, has the option to uh, chip it, as we say, so he doesn't have to go 167 and a half. When he breaks a record, he can go 168. Doesn't really have to because he's in the meal in the lead with uh, 1,200 meters, so he's not gonna need to chip for uh, for keeping anyone behind him. But yeah. doesn't really have uh, to because he's in the meal. nice to gather a total, and I think that he will push that record up to weights that will be pretty hard for the guys behind him in later competitions to follow. I'm a little bit interested to see then what Maya does with his second lift because. After squatting and uh, doing competition pause uh, benches when you actually have to hold the bar on the chest for a bit of time and with a cramp coming, uh, I think it can be a little bit hard, but let's see. Marwan here doing 90. Oh, let's see. 
Two one. I wouldn't add more than five kilos to this. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Ninety is not bad for a guy weighing like a medium-sized dumbbell. Yeah. It's uh, pretty good. So let's see what he does. He maybe do. Maybe do 92 and a half or something like that. <laughs> we have Sakaria coming in on uh, 105. We have two guys missing their uh, first attempts. It was Sakaria and uh, Hamad. Sakaria was, uh, I think he has good chances just to retake this. Or actually, he, he put up uh, another five, and I think that will most likely go. It's uh, a little bit worse feeling for Hamad, which actually missed on on strength and the bar being too heavy for him. Let's see. Well, there wasn't much left, but let's see what the referee says about the signals. I think he missed the rack command. He missed the rack command, and let's hope someone tells him not to elevate this weight now. Yeah, he is doing the oh, sign good. for the retaking of this attempt, which is uh, exactly the right thing to do. At this point, uh, you just leave your ego at the door and just trying to retake it, even if you had in your mind, maybe from gym lifts, that you'll pass 110, 115 or something. Just uh, get your, uh, get your uh, numbers on the boards. And here comes uh, Jesus then. To uh, put at least some pressure on Jai. Pretty fast press command there, but I wouldn't mind. 2 1. I think he lifted the bum again, but on the other yeah, side. Let's see. That was a fast <laughs> press anyway. And I mean, 2-2-1 two, two, is all right. And uh, after some conversation uh, with some of the coaches here, it goes for 1-12. All right, this one is a tough one. For Hamad. Let's see if we can make this happen now. Because this one on the first attempt was just, quite frankly, too heavy. So let's see if we can... Uh, redeem himself completely and uh, do this weight. Let's see. Needs to be absolute maximum tight now and be ready for the press signal. Let's go. No. He is in some severe trouble. Uh, problem and because you can't go down in yeah. you can only repeat. Yeah, he is stuck uh, between a rock and a hard place here now because he has no capa no um, rightful reason or right to go down in weight and he for sure can't go up in weight and it looks quite frankly like he doesn't have the strength for that kind of weight. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, going to be tough for him to get past the bench, but let's give him uh, all our support when he gets to that. Ali then uh, on uh, 110. He got uh, 100 in his first attempt. That looked pretty good. And three white lights. Oh, yeah. That looked pretty good. Three white lights. That's good. Jai. So here comes the fight between uh, Jai and Jesus. So remember from the squad, Jesus 165. 
Jai, 167 and a half. Jesus, bench 1-5, and now Jai is going 117 and a half. Um, in the deadlift wow. predictions, uh, however, Jai will, will start uh, lower than Jesus. So uh, it's going to be toit between these two guys. And as we just learned uh, about five minutes, five minutes ago, uh, Jai is 19 years old. Very mature for 19. Yep. Uh, I've been missed the lift in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Three white lines. He's a very controlled yeah. lifter. He doesn't seem to uh, take any unnecessary chances. He's not uh, an extreme uh, archer or any small uh, margins. He just uh, puts in the work. So he, that looks uh, promising for him. Can actually win this category. By I can't remember. Listening how his deadlift looked last time when he was here because it's gonna be really really head to head with uh, with Jesus and we also have see that Jai will try to uh, chip the uh, bench record also in the 66 the next uh, round now we have an interesting nice. lift here Mayad 157 and a half and remember now he cramped up a little bit on the first one very extreme setup. He will take it out himself. That looked a lot better than the first one. In terms of speed on the bar at least. So uh, three white lights. That looked a lot better than the first. So that was uh, very solid. What do we got here? Now we got Mikita coming out of 168. 168. Uh, I think uh, Mayad put in the sensible, uh, sensible weight, 160, just to uh, try to uh, harvest some good lift. Mikita on 168, and obviously a uh, power meet record. I say obviously because his last attempt uh, on 162 and a half was uh, also a record. So anything above that uh, will be a new record. 168. I think he'll smack this one uh, easy also, to be honest. I think the extra kilos uh, slowed him down just a little bit. But I also think that he has uh, at least uh, two kilos more in him. So I'm assuming we'll see a 170 or something, or 171 maybe. Just to fool a little bit with the numbers. Uh, we have Roy now uh, starting up on uh, 90 for the last round, and I see uh, Mikita put in uh, 173 to push the record even further. And it will be, I think, reasonable for him to uh, get that five kilos extra. Roy is uh, coming on here, 90 kgs. fast maybe on the racking I see that also yeah I know that uh, Roy had some uh, lower back issues after the uh, he was lifting his bum also so he was uh, have some back issues after the squat 
he was very hesitant in what to do and he started very very light in the bench with 70 kilos so uh, nothing much to say there so 70 80 missed 90 yeah so uh, yeah let's see what's happening up front here now we have uh, Marwan coming in on 92 <laughs> and he's coming in this with uh, five lifts already made so he's on a streak and then we have two guys after that which are not on a streak which will be very uh, exciting to see how they manage that but first Marwan then our 59 kg lifter 92 and a half Pretty good. Let's see. What do we get? Three white lights. Uh, yeah. Ninety-two and a half. So he continues his streak of uh, good lifts. He's now have six lifts done. Now we have uh, Sakaria Dry, 105. So he missed 100 because of technicalities. He missed 105 if, if, uh, because of the same. And now we have 105 again retake. He has the power for it. He just have to stay consistent now and uh, keep his chest high, shoulders tight. And brace with his uh, whole lower body. Yeah. Let's see. And he slips through. Thankfully, good 105. So he had pretty good chances of doing that. Now we come. Uh, to Hamad, 107 and a half. And uh, unfortunately, I have a little bit of uh, bad vibes here. 107.5, because he missed this twice. And it was not because uh, any technicalities. He just missed it because he didn't look like he had the power in him. 107 and a half. So it will take somewhat of a miracle, but we're all for that. For him to bounce back from this. He stays in the meat or he learns yeah. better. He had a very decent team. squat, 165. And uh, should know his limits here, but let's see how they how this plays out. Let's go. Yes. No. Uh, his uh, bench career needs a little bit of polishing. That's cool. If anything One. should be added to the rule book yes. is open light on bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. or open light on everything. But, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> but he, uh, he uh, didn't read the manual. So, yeah, 107.5 was his maker. Uh, but uh, he will learn for... Uh, the next uh, competition he will do, of course. And that's why you're here, to uh, lift and learn. Now we have them, Kazus uh, 112. And this is in an effort to uh, kind of like narrow the gap between him and Jai, because Jai uh, seems to have a very good bench day and he will go for a new power meet record on the next lift. So uh, Kazus needs to grasp hold of everything he can here now. which I think he might have done there. Yes, three white lights, so 112 and a half. Grasp, hold up everything he can here now. This uh, kind of toughens up the 66 even more. He's only 2.5 kilos behind. Yep, 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 yep. And that's on four casts. Once again, guys, if you go into liftingcast.com, you'll see on the top of that list, uh, Power Meet 10, day one. 
press on that and you'll get directly into the live updated score sheet. Um, so as it is now, uh, you see on the 66 category that uh, Jesus is actually in the lead, but that is before uh, Jai does his lift. Let's see. That uh, was a fight from Ali on 120. Let's see. Mm, referees. Yes, good lift, 2 1. I think it might have been for. I didn't one side might, have, might uh, have lifted the leather. One side might have said he lifted the hip from the bench. This was a side referee, yeah? This is now an important lift for Jai. Coming in uh, on 123. And this is for uh, breaking a uh, power meet record. The previous one, 122 and a half, is uh, <coughs> held by the little giant Khalifa from Oman. Khalifa actually before this had five power meet records. Now he has one less, I think. Because I think Jai nailed that. He did. 2-1. That puts him in the driving seat for the now remaining of the up. tournament. Because what I can remember, at least, was that uh, Jai is a very controlled deadlifter. He won't go uh, berserk in any way on his opener. And if uh, that is correct, uh, he has an opening of 180, Jesus has 190. But with those openers, uh, Jai will still be ahead. And let's see what can happen. But I think that these two guys will push, it, push each other on the last deads for sure. Never nice. seen uh, Jesus uh, pushing himself, so let's see. Mai is going 160, and I think that's a sensible choice. Um, if he can remain tension as well as on the second lift, 157, I think that this is uh, going to go uh, very easy. He also decorated the singlet with uh, the nickname I just gave him after tension smile. is very visible here. Let's hope that he continues to do that. Let's go. Yes, and that I was like uh, an opener. Yeah, 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 so it's uh, was very well executed. But no. what did he do? Lift his hip, maybe? Yeah. Did he? Let's see. It was both of the side referees. So I'm guessing the they mm -hmm. saw the his shoulder was in the way for us to see in the bottom of the bench. So just keep smiling, yeah. So the one uh, fifty-seven and a half. For Mayed. Uh, I'm guessing he will break a massive a total record anyway for him. Because yeah. last time he did three, four, nine. And before that he yeah, was. He's already got more successful yeah. attempts now. Yeah, yeah, of course. In attempts he already broke it. Uh, but I think that in uh, the total he'll. Uh All right, we have 173 then. So finally, Mikita is a little bit. Uh, Hyped up also, very uh, composed in his uh, manners, but now he's hyping up a little bit. 168. This is a very, very competitive bench for a 74 kg powerlifter. Let's see, down with the bum. Here we go. Uh, it will go up. Let's see what the ref says. 173. Yes, 173, and that was a fantastic bench to see. And I hope you all watch that and see the technique. Stay consistent and tight in the bottom. 
and literally stay in position and press everything you have. That was the last bench of that group, and now we're going to move on to the 83s, which is a big group with a bunch of uh, good lifters. Of course, on top will be uh, Stanislav. And if you think 173 was a good bench, you haven't seen anything yet. Stanislav is opening up at 185. 185, and that will be 10 kilos over his own uh, power meet record. 10 kgs. On international competitions, Stanislav uh, done uh, 185. If we look at uh, world championships and global championships, he's done more on uh, small, uh, smaller competitions, but uh, international competitions, uh, he's done 185. First one here is Steven Winberg. Let's see, hope he gets the commands, which he didn't do. Uh, help him up. He needs to remember, and he knows uh, himself that he missed it. He needs to remember Winberg, start, let's see, hope press, he gets the commands, rack. Which he didn't do. Start, press, uh, help rack. Him up. And that's the key. The key is also to be strong, of course, but uh, a lot is also to just adhere to uh, to those uh, signals. We have uh, Amro coming in here then. Let's see if he can be more successful in uh, bench press than in uh, the squats. Because on the squats uh, he uh, wasn't too successful with uh, three misses and 150. I hope that he uh, read up on the uh, commands, which is start, press, rack. Start, press, rack. Please remember this now, Amro, when you come in uh, for doing your first bench press on 100 kgs. The time is ticking. There we go. Let's see. Needs to place his hip down on the bench. And that will be a fault to lift all over the place. Because he didn't have his hip down. He shouldn't actually get a starting signal before that, to be honest. Uh, the two side referees uh, uh, will wait until he has his hip down to uh, have his hip down. give the start commands to the head referee. So that was, I think he's in uh, a little bit of trouble here again. Let's see, Abud coming in on 105. Sabud uh, nurturing his uh, total after a uh, personal uh, best achievement on squat, 190, 105 here. He's also a very technical bencher, so I think he did 110 or something last week as his heaviest session. This should be fine, which it was. And let's hope that he get a good effect out of his uh, little bit of uh, tapering and uh, extra few days of rest. 
should be fine. Very explosive, uh, press that. Hadi is uh, going uh, to open up at 110. 110. Let's see where we have. Uh, it's also a very technical venture. Three white knights. Very fast lifting. It's yeah, also very uh, Mr. Robot is fast. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed, 110. Now, Hadi uh, has been doing uh, technical improvements and just looked more secure than last time. So yes. he is really uh, covering ground here. He increased to his second attempt to 117, which uh, seems to be completely fair, uh, judging by the 110. We have Mohammed waiting for him, 110. I don't see where he is, but he, he uh, has 30 seconds to go. He has uh, now 20 seconds to start the lift. Hope he doesn't have a peculiar setup because he has seven seconds to start here now. He'll get it. Three white lights. And he is uh, through to the second round. Just make sure that he has a little bit more time so he doesn't have to get stressed for the next time. Allah will do 110, Allah Dalrai. Came off from a 192 squat, missed 202. One hundred and ten. Let's see. I didn't did you speak to him after the squats, no? No, I think I think it wasn't all right. What? It's a bit dizzy. Okay, well, let's see. Looked uh, a little bit worrying when he uh, threw the bar over his head, and I think that was a failed lift also. He didn't uh, really listen to the signals. Okay, well, let's see. So, uh, Looked uh, a little bit worrying when he... He got uh, instant regret there after going too fast. So let's hope that he uh, just doesn't uh, get carried away with a second attempt here, that he uh, just secure uh, his lifts now. Do something similar so it's easy and nice. Ala increased to 117. I can't remember his uh, bench capacity, but hope it's, uh, it's not a heavy lift. The 110 looked certainly easy enough, so you can double pause it. So let's hope the 117 is within uh, reason to do easy. Uh, that was okay, but I wonder where he's going to go if he gets that through. 2 1. I wonder where he's going to go from that. A little bit heavier for an opener. Uh, there was a head lift there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you see on the rerun there, I think that maybe even the. Uh, let's see. That the jury caught wind of that. So that was uh, actually a faulty lift, 112. Which, uh, looking at the uh, rerun, was a completely uh, legit decision. 
So Ahmed uh, did not get that lift. We have Amin then on 115. 115. Can be Rosa Calbench. One fifteen. What did you say there? I uh, keep your head on the bench. Okay. I didn't think he noticed. That's why he wasn't counted. Okay. I must say, and this works in favor of the lifters, that the head referee gives the starting signal very fast. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I wouldn't mind lifting with a fast uh, head referee. I must say, and this works There's nothing in favor. worse than like cramping yourself into a good position and then waiting for the referee yeah, to say true. start. A boy gets heavier by yeah, the yeah. second. Like if you uh, extra few seconds, then you're screwed. So. Uh, uh, we just watched 115 from Amin. Amin yeah. is uh, Karim's yeah. brother. Yeah. Let's see now. Uh, David, Mr. Ski, Losovsky is coming in here. 115. So we have a whole cluster of guys here starting around 110, 115, and then it's shoots away and then it goes berserk at the end, 185. Once again a very fast signal. Well, that should be all right. Good left. Fast left. 125 for Abdullah. One two five. One two five. So what we got left is uh, uh, one two. F oh, let's see. We have a few attempts left, a uh, few of them more interesting than others. Let's see. Uh, I wonder if he had his, yeah, maybe, let's see. <coughs> uh, three white lights, uh, was good. Abdallah. Now we have uh, three lifts left. Is Yusef. And after Yusef, we have um, Abdul Wadud, and then we finish off with uh, Stas. Stas at the end. He needs to cover some ground here. Yusef, is see if you're gonna mix with uh, Amin. Ooh, let's see if the referee caught him for double bounce. It's not, uh, it's not clear, no. See on the referee on the replay, he <laughs> bounced it off let's the chest a little bit. Referee. That's one of those rules that uh, Sometimes they don't really acknowledge that, but it's in the rule book. You cannot bounce the bar on the chest, you don't double bounce it. All right, now we have a 160 lift here, and I'm a little bit interested to see how this looks, because uh, remember that uh, Abdul Wadud missed out on the, ba on the squat, uh, 140, bombed out, and now he has 20 kgs more for the bench. You think you got that? Uh, he looks like a bencher, so let's yeah, see. He looks like a bencher. Uh, he's clearly a better bencher than a squatter at least. 
Yes. Very good. So he has uh, his first lift of the day covered. 160. He's clearly a better bencher than a squat. So now we're uh, rocking up to uh, 185 for Stas then. And as I mentioned now previously, uh, 185 is the highest he's done on international uh, global championships. He's done actually 190 on smaller competitions. Um, can't remember what he did on the classic. Maybe that was 190 also. But 185 is uh, what he done on uh, big international meets. And this was, of course, to be a new power meet record. I uh, have to keep an eye on this. It will matter for me tomorrow. Yeah, he is uh, 10 kilos above his uh, own record. Very composed and uh, economic lifting without being uh, extreme in any way. It's just uh, you tighten up what you can tighten up. You hold as wide as you can to get Very maximum cool. power. And a straight line of possible both down and up. And uh, if you do that correct, and if you're strong as hell, you get 185. All right, we start in second round now, and this is Steven uh, Wienerberger, Wienerberg. 80. On the first lift, he didn't really uh, listen to the signals, so he did all kinds of mistakes. Uh, but he uh, shook his head and knew he did that, so now he's uh, made a trial run. I'm just surprised you don't do a trial run on the warm-up. <laughs> or maybe when you train. Let's see. Let's go. There we go. Uh, I think he maybe jumped the press command, but maybe they cut him some slack. They did. I think it was a bit yeah, fast on the press yeah. command, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. But he's through, composed. Oh, so that's, uh, he's on the board with that uh, 80 bench. Amro then, 100. <laughs> and he... Uh, must really collect himself now. He needs uh, he needs a little bit of a miracle here to uh, pull him through. That's a hundred after missing all three squats. Jump the commands as he did now also. And go halfway, won't get you anyway. So that will be a fade lift again. He's in a little bit of trouble. Halfway, won't get anywhere. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we are going through uh, to our boots. Aboot, one, seven and a half. So a nice little uh, two and a half increasement. I think Aboot is uh, very capable of doing this. I think uh, he will do uh, one, seven pretty fast. Man, it's a big group, this. Yeah. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of places to uh, battle there in the middle pack. I think Aboud can excel and uh, make some uh, severe damage around here. Back in the realms of six, seven, eight plates or something like that. Uh, 115 for Ahmad. Yeah, so Ahmad missed his first lift on 112. And then... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, that was the head lift, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he got the lift 2-1 uh, actually white, but the head referee saw a head lift and the jury saw the head lift, so there was nothing to complain about. Just to need to keep his uh, head down now in the bench. Ah. Well, he is in trouble now. That was a long grind as well. That. Uh, ah. Yeah, he. Uh, well, he is in trouble now. Needs a little bit of a mental that kick now. I think he also made the mistake this time on laying like quite a lot longer down on the bench. Yeah. So the. Uh, did you know this guy, no? Uh, yeah, from before. Yeah. But I don't understand why he only took... If you're going to increase on a failed lift, you might as well increase to a proper lift or repeat it. Yeah. And just increase the 2.5 yeah. kilos right in the middle, but still in trouble. Yeah, maybe he needs some pep talk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know another guy who had a similar situation. <laughs> but you, like, because there was, you, um, if you miss two lifts and you grind like an absolute crazy person, it sucks a lot out of you. But Hadi didn't grind at all on this one, by the way. He makes very <laughs> light work. 117 and a half. So now he's if faced you with a position. Lifts and you grind uh, like an absolute crazy person. To uh, really fight for his uh, existence in the comp on 115 again. So he really needs to, first of all, he, need, he can't be afraid of it either. Yeah. Because he's probably done it, I mean, assuming he's done it on training multiple times. I would assume nothing less. And then he just needs to get that done on the day now. Ala 117. So he also he missed uh, 110 because he jumped the start command. But it was easy enough for him to just take it down and redo it and look very easy. So his potential is uh, way higher. Just has to uh, get it done on the day. Yep. Yeah, uh, it didn't look like it uh, created uh, too much of an issue. Three white lights. So let's see where it goes from there. Maybe a yep. bit over yep. 20, maybe. Uh, 120 is uh, Mohammed. Mohammed Ramal. Seems a little bit stressed again, but there's no reason because he has lift, lift, uh, he had 50 seconds to go. See what the ref says about that. Three oh, white yeah. lights. It's a good lift. I mean, one twenty two and a half. One twenty two and a half. Bar the bar is loaded. Two lifters coming on 122, it's him and uh, David. Uh. 
see at uh, three white lights, but that seems to be uh, pretty near his uh, limits. So let's see where he goes for the third and final lift. We we'll have David coming up here now on uh, also 122 and a half. He is getting himself uh, psyched up. And his trademark slap on his chest for 122.5. Bar came up. Three white lights. Uh, let's see, we're advancing on. Abdallah, 132. Is that Mustafa? Yes. You can tell by his triceps. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest triceps in the last tournament. See if he puts them to use tomorrow then. He's lifting tomorrow, I think. Oh, uh, I it? don't think he is. No, 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 he just started uh, training with, with uh, Dan. Dan, yeah. yeah. Mm, true. He's a very promising lifter. He lifted really great. Yeah. 132 and a half. Abdallah. Coming from a 125 opener. Ah. That was a limit lift. I do, however, think that if he didn't blow too much steam there, he might be able to repeat it if he doesn't get the bar moving forward for him. If the bar just slips away a little bit for him there. That was a limit. So it's not an impossible uh, task for him to redo that. But he has to be uh, very tight to make that. We have uh, Yusuf left, we have Abdul Vadud left, and we have uh, Stanislav left. The bar is loaded now. Let's uh, get 140 now. And if he's going to have uh, anything to say about threatening Amin for the second place, he needs to get this. I even think that even if he gets it, he uh, won't be able to catch Amin because Amin will pull a lot more than his uh, opener 240. Yeah, that wasn't going anywhere. Uh, must have been a... Bounce on the chest also, if you see on the replay. Yeah. Going, yeah, we missed it right there. That's exactly why you need to open life like he did. Yeah. He's got something on the board now. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, he has uh, his first lift 130 on the boards. 170 then for uh, Abdul Wadud. And I mean, 160 moved well. I just don't know if it moved well enough to justify a 10 kg jump, but let's see. It's a lifter maybe, full maybe of surprises. Did. Maybe it did, let's see.
Yeah, I mean, 170 moved well. Uh, 160 moved well. So it's... Uh, let's see. Here we go. 170. No, it yeah. doesn't justify it. Didn't move that well on the previous one. He have a little Japanese touch on his bench, if you see. He lowers the bar halfway and then he no, even more accentuates the chest towards the bar. Yeah. But uh, I think he um, looks strong and on the 160 looks strong, but I just think he lowered the bar a little bit too slow. Yeah. So he wastes a lot of energy there. A little bit, uh, little bit uh, unnecessary, so... But strong, of course, and he will uh, try a retake of that in the last attempt. Um, but you're looking at now then uh, 190 for Stas, and I think he'll uh, think he'll solve this. I think darn, he, I think he did 190 on the classic, if I remember. Yes, because I think he uh, missed his second lift uh, for some technicality, 187, mm -hmm. then he elevated to 190. Mm -hmm. Yes, 70, and, uh, 80, 85, 90. It's okay. Last comp in February as well, he did 190. Yeah, yeah in Kuwait. Uh, there was one in the UAE here in February. Yeah, and the uh, nationals. nationals. Nationals, yeah, yeah, true. That's good. Uh, I think that will be a good lift. I do, however, th we won't see any massive increasements when it comes to stats. So That's let's good. see, uh, 92, maybe 95, or even not lift at all. So I think he's uh, conserving energy for his uh, for his deadlift. But I uh, maybe 90. Let's see what it puts. I've seen stats lift before. Sometimes uh, the lift gets heavier and it's like revving an engine. It yeah. gets easier with them. Let's see what it does. Good. I want one ninety two. Yeah, I think that's uh, very sensible for uh, today. That's the right call. And he will just uh, bounce his uh, total up. A little bit. So we have Steven uh, Vineberg now. Let's see if he can keep track of all the commands. Start, press, rack is what he needs to obey to. Come on. First start. Second one, press. No. Uh, no strength there. Uh, no strength left for that. Second one, press. So he stops at an 80 kg bench. No, no Our M2 no. friend flying in from Bahrain. All right, Amru. Uh, we'll have uh, Let's see now. 100 kgs. And he uh, he needs to do uh, a lot different than he did the previous attempts. So the the first one uh, he didn't hear the commands and stopped halfway. Uh, let's see now. 100 kgs. He needs to first of all uh, listen to the commands. He needs to reach his chest and have faith in his strength. Let's see. Oh, good. Well, he got it up. That was one thing, but he didn't he keep his butt in the bench and uh, missed the rack command. It's. Uh, but it was a workshop in how to uh, not do in terms of. Uh, 
not choosing your openers uh, light enough, and then also needing to know the commands. Technicalities commands. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, so I mean, uh, he'll be, uh, he'll hopefully be back, and then he has two homework so far, and that's depth in squats and uh, command training and doing full range of motion and bench, and then uh, we'll see. The only way is up. Yeah. For Amber. Yeah. Hundred percent. All right, Abu the one twelve. Very technical lifter as well. Yeah. So he did the one five, one seven, and now one twelve. So he uh, a little bit also unconventional uh, elevation scheme. First lifter in this group to go for six four six. Come I on. think he'll have a decent chance of doing it. Yeah. That was a rocket. Abud is a little bit of a hit and miss guy on the bench because on that one he looked like he had 120 in him. Yeah, I've, I saw him fail 120 in training yeah. and it wasn't yeah. anywhere was close to that speed. Yeah. So uh, very good from Abud, 6 for 6. And this group actually have quite a lot of red lifts, fade lifts. So he was. Uh, that was uh, very good from Abud. Ahmad. He just needs to get this freaking bar up now. I think it's uh, the bar is uh, crooked, by the way. It's not uh, the right height. Sorry, guys. Thought I'd warm up on the platform. <laughs> I don't know if you overheard uh, Abud, but he was mocking the bar. All right. He can do this. He did it. First one lifted his head. He got the second one, just ran out of steam. But if he fired up now and just go for it, he has a decent chance. Let's go. Place his hips down. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. Ah. This is the most annoying sticking point of them all. Well, you live and you learn. Oh. I swear to God, yeah. he will not do the same mistake again. Uh. This was a good learning for him. Yeah. And I mean, where else to uh, do your learning? You have to learn on the platform also. 100%. And it's not uh, the sub junior or junior worlds or whatever, it's uh, the power meet. So we're here to uh, enjoy the lifting and educate lifters advancing to a higher level after this. So that was uh, nothing to say about. Just did a technical mistake on the first one, which was annoying, of course. But uh, it is what it is. Hadi, 122 and a half. And Hadi comes from a nice little row of lifting here. Only missed his uh, last squat. But he kept form, just missed it, and was just a little bit too heavy for the day. Good 110 bench, good 117. 122. Well, let's see, he kept his position great. So as long as he had his hips in the bench, which I assume he didn't. No, he didn't so have two, yeah two red lights and we don't see the hip is covered by his arm there but I think there was the two referees on the side who caught his hip uh, coming up from the bench but he also has a pretty extreme uh, bench setup especially if you see it from the side so he just needs to uh, I think it was a step forward for him anyway so just keep uh, training and keep grinding on the bar is loaded now for Amin and this is also a uh, an important lift. If he makes this, uh, I think he's uh, pretty much in the clear for a silver uh, position in the men's 83. Yeah, with this opening deadlift. Yes, I believe so. Let's see. One twenty-five. Oh, 
let's see how this moves. A little bit too heavy today, but it was the right thing to go for. I mean, he did 22 and a half, so there's nowhere else to go. We have now Ala coming in on, he's also on 125. We'll see if he can uh, convince this weight to move uh, the desired direction, which is, of course, straight down and straight up. Allah, 25 and he makes it. Three white lights. Very good. So after missing his first lift on uh, commands, he uh, redeems himself 117 and 125. Let's see then, David. We will see now uh, a slap in the back from uh, Coach Chris. Then we'll see a slap on the chest from David himself. What do you think? Yeah, um, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, let's see. Master of hype. No slap. Ah, no slap. Well, here comes. A slap in the face, that's <laughs> a new one. <laughs> let's see if it's as successful as slap on his chest. Also exactly the same uh, same position to miss. Well, exactly. Oh. Hope that didn't went through the mic when uh, Mr. Ski went past here. Uh, <laughs> went through again, I think. <laughs> and we can't be fast enough to blip those things. But uh, hoping there's no, no miners looking at this powerlifting competition. My little brother is watching. How old is he then? Uh, 11. And you have to do some therapy with him when he gets <laughs> home. <laughs> He's watched the guy slap himself before okay. a lift. All right, we have Mohammed then. 130. Ten kilos increase on bench is always tricky. Yeah. If you do it on the first attempt no. successfully, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta look out for the second and third attempts. Let's see. We got 
Abdallah coming in on 132 and a half, which he missed on the, on the previous attempt. Let's hope he uh, gets this now. Did not work. Right, we're gonna close off uh, with uh, 170 for Abdul Wadud and uh, 192 for Stas. One seventy first. Or uh, am I? No, we're gonna do one forty first. Yeah. Youssef. One forty. Let's get this uh, moving now. One forty. Things are moving a little bit slow now. Where is he? He has uh, 35 seconds to go. I guess he's gonna time out. It's only 10 seconds to go, and there's no sign of um, Yusuf. So uh, there goes his time. If it's a small group, I think it's the right. You're not going to do anything. You just let the time run. If it's uh, 13 lifters in the group, maybe it's not exactly yeah. the thing you want to do. So if you intend not to do your last lift, you can notify the guys organizing the scoreboard and say I'm not going to take it. They just put a X in that score frame. So we don't have to sit and waste uh, time. Powerlifting is slow enough as it is between the lifts. The action on the platform when it happens is uh, Very quick. exciting. Come on, 170 then for uh, Abdul Vadud. And he missed uh, his first uh, chance on this weight. He did, however, get 160 in his first lift. So he has... Uh, he must amp up everything he got if you're gonna have the slightest chance to make this. Come on. No, that's not gonna go. So unfortunately... Uh, he misses that. All right, uh, last lift. No, that's not going to go. 192. Stas. 192 Stas. And this is uh, an exciting lift to see. And after this, a short uh, break. So we can uh, rig the platform for deadlifts and finish this uh, long day of lifting with the second group. I think we'll be finished around... Uh, 7.15 or something like that. We have a prize ceremony to do after, but I hope that will be uh, done pretty fast. We need to keep track of the uh, the IPF points. We will have it on the scoreboard next time when we get the totals. So we don't have to count. I think we have a pretty good idea who's going to be a top three anyway, so let's see. 192. I think this will be a grinder, but I think he'll make it. Just inch him, inching himself closer to that magical 200 barrier. Pow! Come on. Ah. 
even the master has flaws and 190 was what uh, he had in him for today and then we have a 10 minute break and we'll be back with uh, deadlift for you pow come on Hi, I'm Dan. I'm one of the coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free. I'm Chris, one of the coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive powerlifter and I've been coaching full time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger. And I also coach people as old as 55, 60 who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us.
All right, we are uh, back to the power meet 10, and we're going to decide the order now in the uh, 70, oh, sorry, 59, 66, 74, and uh, 83 category. We have some exciting lifting to look forward to now finishing this. First of all, the closest one. The closest one is the battle in the minus 66. It's uh, between Jai and uh, Jesus uh, Tolentino Jr. My new favorite name. They are separated with uh, less, they're separated with uh, four kilos on their forecasted total in the 66. The 74 category is a landslide to Mikita, so that uh, the interesting thing there is uh, the battle behind him when I think Mayed is in the clear for the silver and the interesting uh, battle will be uh, behind him, Ali and Roy about the uh, third place. For 83 we have uh, Stanislav blasting away um, massively before Amin and Youssef. The battle there will be on for second and third between uh, Amin and Youssef. I think that uh, if Amin just uh, puts his uh, first deadlift in in a good way, I think that will be uncatchable for Youssef. Uh, as it stands now on the forecast, we have Amin uh, leading by 30 kgs and I don't foresee Youssef uh, catching that. Uh, what else? Yeah, that. Do we have any high weights? I think that uh, one of the interesting pullers uh, will be Amin, um, young lifter in the 83. He's starting a little bit lower than uh, Stanislav. Stanislav starting 255. Amin starting 240. But don't let that fool you because I know Amin is a uh, great deadlifter, but that's in the second group. In this group we have uh, probably Mikita going for the highest lift. He has a starting lift of uh, 240. And uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of uh, pulling and a lot of uh, grinning faces decide this. First one out will be uh, Marwan Mansour, a uh, 59 kg lifter. It's gonna start 135. Yeah, and by the way, I think we'll have a uh, few uh, records being broken for sure. We will have uh, the uh, 74 uh, kilo, uh, both uh, deadlift and total will be absolutely slaughtered by Mikita in this group. So let's see how much she can push that record. Marwan is starting 135. And he has the down command and he's uh, looking uh, very solid in his run. Uh, he has now uh, seven for nine lifts. 135. Ali Ibrahim. Yeah, I just said that it will be interesting to see how far up um, Mikita can push the uh, total record and also the uh, deadlift record. Yeah. The parameter record for now is 220 deadlift and 550 total, which I think is uh, one of the uh, records that have been. Uh, standing for a little bit too long. I think we should have a 74 lifter oh, <coughs> crossing into uh, a high 70 at the uh, a high 600, which I think uh, Mikita will do. So, I think you'll be very close to 10 times body weight, these deadlifts. Let's see. 10 times body weight. Who? Mikita. He needs to do 740 then. Yes, 643 with the That's the forecast. The forecast is 643. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be very close to 700. 
Yeah, but in order to do 10 times body weight, you will have to deadlift uh, three, four, 337. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it needs to do uh, three, uh, 300. We well, only need to do 100 kilo more than that. If he needs to get 740. It's going to be a good result. He's going to push the 74 up uh, sky high. That's for sure. We had Ali making 160 and Sakaria doing 170. I just said also that the uh, most interesting fight will be the one in 66, as in Mano a Mano, that will be between Jay and Jesus. Here we have Sakaria. Oh, I think he uh, might have uh, strained the hamstring there. A little bit of awkward uh, semi sumo style kind of thing. Oh, I think he. Uh, yeah. Let's put some. Uh, yeah, the. Let's put some compression on that pretty fast. So it doesn't end up swelling up too much. Here comes uh, Roy then, who is in a. A little bit of a little bit of vacuum there in the 74. Because he has uh, his main uh, rival Hamad missed out on the benches with his 107 and a half. Let's see Roy now. A very good opener. That was very good. Did you know, Patrick, nearly 50% of all lifters miss their third deadlift? Uh, yeah, I can assume so. I didn't know the statistics, but it's even uh, worse if you look at how many miss their last deadlift that missed their last squat. Yeah. And that's uh, Missing your last squat is a very good indicator. I think those numbers are up to 90%, I think. If you miss your last squat due to uh, an actual fail in... Uh, in strength, you have a very high probability of missing your last deadlift just because you're uh, fatigued in the lower body and uh, the good old CNS central nervous system. We have uh, Jai here coming out then on uh, 180. So he will draw first blood in the in this so uh, his battle against Jesus. Very consistent ah, lifter. That looked uh, really good. I think he got that red light for not uh, extending enough shoulder. and uh, didn't really prove to the referees that his shoulders was retracted. Um, and then you can end up in trouble. I think this is the first red light I've seen uh, Jay get. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, hope it's not too uh, beaten down by that. He's 19 years old, so he should have learned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he was 16, it would be a different story. Exactly. <laughs> All right, here comes Maya then. Uh, with his newfound uh, catchphrase, bench and smile. Visible on his singlet. Here we go. Uh, 182. Gets uh, three white oh, lights yeah. for that. I can't, for the life of me, remember what Mayad have done deadlift before. But uh, it's probably just his opener. Yeah, oh, uh, he's never made any more lifts. That. Oh. One. Uh, he made sure that uh, 182 looked uh, really fast. Anyway, Hamad 185 then. So trying to uh, redeem himself a little bit after the missed benches. So he missed uh, 107 and a half three times. Here we go. <coughs> that looked uh, pretty good. 
Now we'll see, we'll get a little bit of indicator how the fight between Jesus and uh, Jai will uh, develop because we have 190 then for uh, Jesus. And he uh, made that to what? Two, two, one. I think it was also due to those darn shoulders. Uh, maybe it was lowering on the bar, but nonetheless, he made it through. All right. It's a fast group all of a sudden, Feels, uh, but just because the other one is so big. Uh, 240 then for Mikita, and this is uh, one a new record for the Parmit deadlift. Two uh, total record of uh, quite significant proportions, Give him a 643. Uh, 643. Gonna earn some dough today because it's 100 dirhams per uh, record that is broken. So maximum uh, amount is of course 400 dirhams then. Then that he got now. So that record in the 74 category is finally getting chipped up. Uh, almost a hundred kilos which I think is awesome get some quality lifting being done start again with uh, Marwan pulling his way into the deep 300s uh, in a total so he's going 145 Remember now that uh, Marwan is a 59 kg lifter. That is uh, strong for being such a small guy. So we're going to keep an eye on uh, the far right there on the IPF points. Uh, we have. Uh, Mikita on uh, 94.399 as of now. He will for sure be in the run for uh, the top three, top three, top four position, depending on how the guys perform tomorrow. Prediction from the start will be Mikita, Stanislav, and tomorrow's uh, Adam Fulat. Will be in. Uh, Run for that. Parlado. Let's see. Sakaria one seventy. Uh, and if he's not doing it, maybe we can have a... Maybe we can just have him forfeit the next two lifts. So we don't have to wait for him. Or the next lift. Um, we need to re-rig the bar then, 185. you calculate yourself there on IPF? What do you expect you can get? 90? Um, yeah, about 92. Yeah. My body holds up till tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> what can we see? Stas will do... Let's say he do another 10-15 on that. Maybe a 
nice little. You can just compare him to what uh, Mikita is doing. A okay, two point one. We have Ali here now on uh, 185. Now we're just calculating some points here, and uh, it's gonna require uh, require a little bit of uh, 100 uh, IPF points to uh, win this. I think that was the same for the classic. We had literally three lifters, just above 100. Yeah. Ali 185. 100 IPF points. Roy, 185. 185. Let's see what uh, Mikita didn't seem to have uh, super great confidence in his deadlift, only elevating uh, seven and a half. So he won't run away with a super deadlift. Roy, 185. This will be good for Roy. Come on. Yeah. Well, I'm really hoping he's going to put 200 on the bar. I don't know. Uh, yeah. on 200. Yeah, I think they he made sign language for 200, right? I saw that. <laughs> so uh, Roy, uh, sign language 200 to his coach and uh, a little bit nod of approval and we'll see uh, that lift going on the on that way going on the bar for the last attempt. Maya do uh, also a very conservative uh, elevation of weight here to 187 and a half. I think that would be due to his lower back ramp early on. Well, let's see. Three white lights. That's uh, puts Mayed up to uh, 520. And he's still playing the game with small uh, increments, so he'll go 190 for his last lift. Hamad, 190 kilos. Here we go. Oh. Ah, it's uh, a good lift. And he has a little bit of room for uh, increasement there. Not a lot, but a little. One ninety-five for Jay. Let's keep an eye on the uh, scoreboard, and I recommend you do the same if you're interested. Liftingcast.com. Push on uh, Parmi Ten Day One. Scroll yourself down to the sixty-six category. And you'll see uh, Jay and his uh, deadlift marked in uh, purple. One ninety-five. We'll make it eight for eight. Make it 8 for 8 and a forecast of total of 485.5 uh, due to the fact that he uh, did a record in the bench 123. Uh, good that he extended a little bit extra there in the back. I think it was after the down command though. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's see. But well, still he got the lift, so you can see on the replay there, and he just ah, extends a little bit extra. Yeah. He needs to get to that position immediately uh, without taking an extra uh, break there in the middle. Doesn't make uh, too much sense. Okay, we have Jesus coming in on 
which makes the uh, the competition toy <laughs> up uh, quite significantly. And also we have uh, do we have anyone helping Jesus in this battle? Because uh, he can dictate the terms, uh, being the better of the deadlifter, so he can put whatever number he needs and wait for uh, Jai to pull his uh, last lift so he will know what to, he has to pull. And judging from that, I think he has quite a lot more in him. Yes. Three white lights. So, so maybe uh, what he has to if pull. we can have uh, someone that. just to put a uh, placeholder in before he says it's to Jazz, put 220 or whatever. Yeah. He's a better deadlifter. Yeah, let's see. He's let's see what he puts yeah. in. Um, okay, that's good. That's smart. Like I haven't been following him, so I yeah. don't fucking know what he needs. Yeah. A lot of swearing going on here around. <laughs> when, we have, when we have English. Uh, <laughs> when we have roughnecks going around with tattoos and stuff, it's a lot of swearing. I'm unmarked, or are you unmarked? Um, we, we were just talking about uh, someone helping G Jesus yeah. because. Uh, He's a better puller. Yeah, yeah, he for sure has the uh, edge here. I was just thinking, do you have any tattoos? No? No. Okay, no. that's why your language is kind of like. Yeah, softer. And softer and tidier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rough next with tattoos, you're never walking safe. Nikita then, 247, with a little bit of a increasement. That's a great technical yeah, lift. It's, uh, so if you just uh, in these kind of instances, you kind of uh, just wonder um, how a flashing 230 uh, squatter should have a little bit of higher deadlift. But it's not to complain because the technique is awesome. It's, uh, if we had a cracking deadlift added to his incredible bench and very solid uh, squat, he'll be uh, crushing it. Uh, even higher but uh, 650 and a half is actually a power meet record then with uh, 100 kilos 100.5 kilos so uh, that's uh, a statement in itself so we have a 59 kg lifter then Marwan um, Hopefully finish his uh, streak of good lifts. I think he has a very decent chance of uh, doing this now. One fifty-five. Uh, sorry, yeah, one fifty-five. Here we go. That's a PB. Very good. I really hope that this guy will uh, come back and continue. But if we can build on that total, really to uh, threaten the, the total record in the future. He ends up at uh, 360 with no missed lifts, and the record is uh, 390. So yeah, I'm thinking he... Uh, did you know the guy since before? No. Uh, no. I just watched him train. Yeah, so uh, someone. Uh, that's my that's my bad arm, by the way. <laughs> A little bit of break here. Mayed coming in on a small increasement to. Uh, 190. Bar is loaded. Let's deadlift and smile now also.
By the way, that slogan is taken from today by Olga. She deadlifted and smiled. Oh, I thought it was squat and smile with Olga. Yeah, he was squat and smile, but then she missed his last uh, squat. But she made her last deadlift and smile. Oh, okay. So she has now a double tag team on. Hashtag. Oh, yeah. I thought it was squat and smile with smiles, Olga. That's, uh, bench and smile is my ads. So expect t-shirts coming out soon. Eight for nine, can you believe uh, Eight for nine, that's a PB <laughs> for my ad for sure. He's uh, revolutionized his approach to lifting. Yeah. Now making attempts. <laughs> All right, Hamad. <coughs> 192. The 190 was a little bit of a knee shaker, but I think he got 92 also. If it makes it has the stamina left, ah. he didn't. You kind of could see it when he got it from the from the floor. It just it has the there, he kind of like, ah, had a little bit of a his uh, power ran out. It's a matter of uh, staying in position and not leaking energy in the bottom of the deadlift. We have Ali coming in at 200. If you look further down the boards, what do we see? We see... Yeah, I think true. Roy is going for 200 yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. He, yeah, that will be 200 for Shao. And here we have the... Just looking at the... The uh, guys in the 66. Uh, it's a good opportunity to... Uh, if you look at lift and cost to see on the 66 category, we have uh, Jay coming in on two and 202 and a half, which will give him... a. Uh, Forecast a total of 495. And then we have, uh, sorry, Jay will have a forecast a total of 493, which uh, gives Jesus a chance to uh, adjust his deadlift accordingly. But let's take that when we get there. Ali first then, 200. <laughs> He's happy with that. Uh, Two one good lift. Now we have our man Roy going for 200. And I really hope that he will just give it everything he got now. I told Roy months ago that he, uh, he will do 200 very shortly. He didn't really believe me, but uh, I think this is uh, this could be the day. He will get a friendly little slap in the back here by Coach D. Come on, Roy. I think he got it. Just don't let go of the bar now. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Final extension. Let's give it to him. Come on. Yes. Three white lights. Two hundred. Roy. Two hundred. That's uh, an epic win for him. And it's uh, that's powerlifting for you. Those small uh, little wins that you can get uh, passing those uh, magic numbers so interesting lift now here Jay is coming out on 202 and a half that will give him a total of uh, 493 otherwise he'll stay on uh, 485 and a half so after this we have uh, Jesus let's see if he yeah let's so yeah good so good thing here now that Jay made that lift uh, Good. Made that, so that was 493 and a half. Yeah, so, yeah. 493, sorry. So that pushes uh, Jesus uh, to actually 
go for and have to make this uh, 217 and a half. Um, I just looked at Jesus uh, before this lift and I don't think he was aware that he could uh, lower the weight if uh, Jai didn't make it. Yeah. Because uh, he was literally in his own zone there. But uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't now. matter now. He has to pull this to uh, claim, uh, <laughs> walk out victorious on the 66. So this is uh, very simple mathematics and a simple scenario. If he makes this, he win the class. If he misses, he come uh, second. So after a long day, it comes down to this list for him. Let's go. Let's see what the referee says about the extension. Let's hope he gets it. Yes, he it gets does. it. He does. 2-1. Very good. It's a nice technical lifter, this guy. Really like him. He has also room to improve uh, on his strength, but the uh, the frame and the technique is very solid. So he just uh, managed to uh, slip just uh, past uh, Jesus. And. Uh, Also, of course, uh, made a record. Yeah, it's uh, 10 kilo yeah. plus the record. So what he could have done, since he didn't know, we could have uh, shipped the record and uh, ended up on the same weight as uh, oh. Jay because it was uh, lighter. That's uh, could have been a factor, but he made it now, so that's all good. And a new power meet record for uh, Jesus in the deadlift. Here comes uh, Mikita then on uh, 250. He will probably pull it slow but uh, consistent here now. That will be a fight. It will be a fight for sure. Let's go now. Yep, keep it, keep it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I really admire this. Oh, yes. You stay with the technique, he had, uh, no matter what happens. He had a lot of patience there, which I think is the most important thing in uh, the deadlift. Literally regarding of technique. If you have uh, patience, you uh, get a long way. So that put uh, the new power meet record in the 83 category, sorry, 74 category, up to uh, 653, which is... Uh, 113 kg uh, record. There's no stopping now. We move on with the uh, 83 category, and we have Mr. Vinneberg coming in on 100 kgs. Let's go. Let's see if we adhere to the commands, which is only one, which is down, which uh, referee Ibrahim gave him there. And I assume that was uh, Good lift, yeah. Yeah, good lift, yeah, three white lights. Let's see if we adhere to the command, which is only one. Which is... Uh, so... Just got a question here about the website again, to follow the lifting. It's liftingcast.com and you'll uh, see a power meet 10 day one on top of the list of uh, competitions to follow uh, you will be slingshot uh, straight into the live score sheet nothing uh, hidden just raw lifting one sixty deadlift we have uh, Abdul Wadud he only has one successful lift so far in the competition. And let's see, he's 
deadlift first one 160 is uh, successful I think just have to uh, get these buttons in order yes good we have then uh, Amro on uh, 180 180 for Amru and let's hope that Amru get a little bit smoother uh, journey here in the deadlift his uh, squat was uh, a rough journey missing 150 three times his uh, bench same missing three times on a hundred now we have 180 then uh, for his deadlift debut let's see I don't think uh, there will be too much wrong on that lift. 2-1. Uh, so Amru uh, going through with uh, finally a good lift, so 180. Good for him. And then we have uh, now Hadi coming at uh, 195. I had a good day today. Good. And I think he made that uh, very clear to the referees that he knows what to do. Had a good day today. Good. It was a good lift. Abud coming in on 205. The bar is loaded. Uh, very nice technical uh, lifter, Abud. And as we mentioned before in the squats, he has one of the strongest singlets on the platform. Being, being worn before on uh, UK nationals by uh, our coach Chris Patterson. 205 <laughs> 2-1 I think he is softened okay. a little bit let's see on the rerun here might have softened his knees a little bit in the top So we got uh, David uh, Wasowski now coming. Seven point five. Unfortunately, two reds. Uh, see what the referee says. It's for yeah. It will be the shoulder retraction or the shoulders being just in front of the vertical line. Ahmad, two ten. Ten. Let's get this uh, show rolling now. What do we have for uh, lifting coming up? There we have uh, Amin uh, 240 and Stanislav 255 will be the highest starting weights. I'm a little bit unlucky then in the bench uh, trying to come back strong in the deadlift 
Whoops, which I think he may not have done there. He was wobbling at the top a little bit, so I think he managed to lower the bar. So that's 2-1-0. Uh, oh. no. You see the rerun, he comes up, goes down, Whoops, comes up. Which I think he may I think the refereeing today has been uh, very good, very strict, but very good. And I think the new uh, scoring system that we use, or the new refereeing system, where uh, every referee have to put in his uh, judge call, and then when the last one have pushed in, the referee decision will be revealed. I think that's good for the referees, and I think it's good for the lifters also. So let's hope that uh, Ahmad can come back and do just a little bit uh, better second attempt than his first. first. Muhammad Ramadan 210. Same thing there. Yeah, I think he uh, was a tiny bit uh, wobbly there at the top. Need to have the bar moving in a straight and fine line without uh, hitching or jerking around the bar. Ala coming in on uh, 210. We have a few technical mistakes here in this group. And this is... Uh, by far the most uh, mistakes have been done in a uh, group. If I was silent, I was just counting the amount of missed lift in this group, and it's up to 37 lifts already. I don't think that was a missed lift, though. I think that was a solid first attempt by Ala. Very good lift. So, guys, uh, log in to theliftingcars.com. So you can follow along with the uh, with the uh, scoreboard. And see Yusef coming in on 210. One of these lifters also with a lot of missed lift, but he made his squat and he made a bench, so he's still in the tournament. 210. Uh, the referees are uh, quite strict on the uh, shoulders. That's why that lift was also a no lift. And I know that the rule is a little bit on the ballet side of things, but I think also that uh, lifters should know this. So they should just... Uh, you don't have to retract your shoulders uh, massively. You just have to uh, make sure to uh, show to the referees that you can... Uh, position your shoulders in a locked position just behind the vertical line from uh, foot, knee and uh, hip and shoulders. So that was a fair call, nothing wrong with that. Abdallah on 220. It's also coming from a little bit of a rough ride. Uh, he did a 180 squat that looked good and a 125 bench, but then he missed 32 and a half two times. And here we go. That will be uh, no complaints on that lift, I believe. So three white lights. Now we come down to the two best uh, deadlifters of this group. That will be, uh, First, uh, Amin. And then uh, Stanislav.
Yeah, let's see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, just having some fun with the uh, streaming crew here, mocking them a little bit. I mean, 240, and I know that this guy is a uh, good deadlifter, same as his brother Karim, that has been doing a few of our par meets. So I believe that this 240 will go fast. Uh, these two guys, both him and his brother, very technical lifters. So just make sure to don't get overrun by the speed because they will pull pretty fast. And when you're a technical sumo deadlifter like this, you just have to control the speed in the top and retract your shoulders. Here we go, 240. Pow. And that's how it looks when you really hit the spot in a sumo. And he will for sure go uh, quite a bit heavier than that. If you see the replay, excellent technique. Just extends his uh, knees just before his hip and then the hip automatically pushes forward towards the bar. So very nice technique. and. Uh, his brother is even more extreme with even longer arms, but other than that, uh, they're very similar. Stanislav uh, coming in for a 255. Here we go. Uh, yes. Uh, there was some technical thing here. It is uh, Stanislav uh, 255. And this will uh, push the total record up to 717 and a half. And that was done right there. Three white lights. He will, however, not uh, reach the deadlift record I'm pretty sure because that is 190 uh, kept by Hadi from Bahrain if uh, you hear someone singing in the background it's uh, Veggie Grant I think he lost his mind and singing but uh, let's hope it's okay. Uh, all right, we're starting second round with uh, Steven uh, Wienerberg, 110. now. Yeah, it looks like a double overhand. Uh, he get uh, red lighted I think for the mm -hmm. shoulders once again. Yeah, People just need to uh, learn uh, two things I think. Relax in the shoulders a little bit because it's not a, it's not a shrug movement and just uh, practice to lean back just uh, behind the center line of uh, the bar, the foot, the knee and the hip. Abdul Vadud 165 You can tell he's a bencher. Yeah, he, uh, deadlifted with wrist straps on. Have you tried that? Nope. A lot of uh, good deadlifters does that and 
some of the absolute best uh, lifters throughout time have done that. I never tried to be honest. Should give it a but, try. Uh, some people swear uh, about it. So a lot of uh, lifters that uh, lift 300 and above are uh, always using wrist wraps. The key is, I don't know if he knows the trick, but the key is to really flex your wrist when you're wrapping them so you get a automatic push on the tendons and muscles that uh, extend the, uh, the wrist. So they're kind of like getting stuck in a flexed position. I'm going 190. 190 for uh, Amru then, and uh, yeah, he certainly seemed to have a little bit smoother ride in the deadlifts than the other events up until now, at least. Yep, yeah, hope he extends. Um, let's see, uh, three white lights. Deadlift. I hope he's enjoying it more than it looks. <laughs> It's a very tough day to yeah. enjoy. Uh, okay. It's a very good hope, learning uh, experience. Yes, let's hope, uh, I think one of our coaches had a little chat with him uh, after the benches. Let's hope he uh, just uh, tighten his uh, fist in the pocket and get ready to uh, do some serious work here now to get back stronger and more uh, technically safe in the future here. Hadi 205. There it is. He has a very uh, nice little technique going. We has a little bit of a telescope arms. If you see the lift here, like it looks like the arm just getting longer and longer. And he, he really uh, got this uh, letting the shoulders loose and down to the T. So it doesn't shrug the bar in any way. Yeah, it's a, it's a, similar, t a similar technique to Angelica's, his coach. Uh, yes, look, uh, really dialed in the, the deadlift movement there. Because as soon as you start uh, elevating your arms or elevating your shoulders, Gonna make it unnecessarily hard for you, and also give the referees that chance of uh, of uh, complaining on the uh, extension. We have a lifter here now coming with the overlapping materials, which you can't do. He needs to just uh, put his. Ah, uh, oh, that's a mistake. He's that taking is them a off. a mistake. Uh, Should have just put the socks down yes, a little yes, bit. Yes. Yes. Uh, can someone maybe... Uh, it's too late. I don't know if the... Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, the uh, thing he should have done uh, was uh, just uh, pushing the socks down by five millimeters so it will be a little bit of uh, skin uh, visible between uh, the knee sleeves and the uh, socks and it will be fine ready to go and I think it's time it's time he it run out of time He uh, ran out of time. Uh, so it should be the next lifter. Yeah, can you go and uh, explain the rules to him? Yeah. Ali? Uh, so uh, just uh, in that conversation right there. It will be... Uh, He will have to uh, wait until the next round to get that lift.
Uh, we have uh, David uh, Losowski in 220. Uh, and coming from uh, Miss Lift on uh, 27. Twenty, and he missed uh, just a little bit of a shoulder retraction. Here it comes the slap on the chest, flick the belt, and let's rock and roll. Two hundred and twenty. Bold move to move up uh, twelve and a half. Let's see. Yep. Yes. And I think there will be no uh, complaining on that. Three white lights. And uh, that's a good lift. Yep. Yes. He's hyped up like never before. And he will go for another 10 kgs on his last lift. And now we have uh, Ahmad 225. 225. Two two five. So uh, coming off a miss on the first uh, lift, but it was just a little bit of balance uh, issue at the top there. So two twenty five. Let's get this done now, Ahmad. Just tightening his belt a little bit extra and rock and roll. Here we go. Come on. Ah, and he doesn't make it easy for himself. That's for sure. Bold move, 225, an elevation of uh, 15 after his missed first lift, even though the first lift was uh, missed on a technicality. But I do, however, uh, think that he uh, could have, uh, you could make the argument that he should have redone the 210 just to get a smooth ride uh, and start. Aboud uh, coming in on uh, 225. 225. Here we go. 225. Yep. Abu has a very stylish uh, sumo uh, style. Yep. I think there is a little bit more in him, and I'm hoping slash thinking he'll go for a 230 for his uh, last lift. Let's see what they put in. Uh, we have uh, Ala uh, Dalre coming in on the same way, 225. And I'm just uh, looking at the scoreboard order. Now Abud's uh, weight come in. And very good. It is 2.30 he will go. And I give him uh, great chances to uh, make that lift. Two twenty-five. Uh, let's see. I think the side referees can be a little bit gnarly on the on the shoulders, but not that time. It's great for Allah. Two twenty-five. Let's see where he goes from there. Two 
230. Two thirty for Yusef. Let's see if he can uh, clean his uh, score sheet up a little bit. He has uh, a lot of uh, missed lifts, but he needs to get this to collect himself a total. Let's go. Two thirty. see the whole guy is uh, fully white at least <laughs> Chalk, he has uh, baby powder he has uh, all kinds of stuff he is very white but he made the lift also so fantastic for him so now he has a total registered and uh, yeah true we need to uh, Check so the the total for Stanislav uh, will give him 99 points before the second attempt deadlift. If you guys follow on the uh, lifting cost, uh, gonna put uh, pressure on uh, Adam tomorrow to uh, get something on the boards uh, that will surpass the points that uh, Stanislav gets. Let's see. Abdallah, 240. Ah. Oh, he was fast down, wasn't he? Yeah. Did he let go of the bar? No. no. Nah, he, let's see the rerun if he actually did. Doesn't matter now. Abdallah, Boom. 240. Uh, <laughs> nah, that was a borderline. Yeah, it can go both ways. Yeah, yeah. So the rule is uh, if you guys at home wondering, uh, uh, you should control the bar down and uh, not uh, actively slam it down in the floor. And it was uh, really, really uh, close to him actually dropping the bar down there last five centimeters. Nonetheless, it was a successful lift for Abdallah, so uh, he got away with that, so that's just fine. Just hope that he doesn't do an epic fight on the last deadlift and do something similar and they catch him. Now we have Amin on 262 and a half, and remember that first lift looked uh, fantastically good. Uh, just getting that snap in the knees and the hip coming just after. So we'll see now, good sumo stance, long arms, collect himself. Getting that drive off the floor and then exploding uh, and letting the hip trail with patience and then snapping it towards the bar. Here we go, let's see, 262. Knees, hip. And down. So a uh, little bit of a uh, deadlifting clinic here by uh, Amin. So uh, sumo pullers take notice. It's also worth noticing that uh, most uh, really good sumo lifters, not all, but most of them use what we call a hook grip, which you uh, wrap the thumb around the bar and then you uh, hold on to that with your fingers in a neutral grip, which allows your uh, shoulder to be in a little bit uh, more uh, neutral position than if you will use the conventional uh, lock grip with one hand uh, supinated the one other one pronated so for the sumo lifters uh, a hook grip is really to prefer if you can take the pain of uh, holding on to your thumb so you see Stanislav is using another technique so his left arm will be all up, 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 up. Yeah, I didn't quite make that, so 255 is uh, what he gets. I will uh, be very uh, surprised if he actually go for anything more. Let's see, 255 is in the bag. 265 missed and on uh, grip. But to be honest, both grip and maybe uh, 
also a little bit uh, didn't extend his right knee at the top there. He was just waiting for uh, the grip kind of to feel solid, but there's nothing worse than uh, feeling the grip slip when you pull a deadlift. If that grip slips, uh, your whole mechanism kind of breaks down in, uh, in the chain. Right, we're starting the uh, last round here. We're spot on time for uh, the schedule that we put out uh, before. So we will finish uh, just ahead of schedule in about uh, 10 minutes. The bar is loaded. Wienerberg, three white lights. See, we got uh, Abdul Vadud now. Bar is loaded. Up he goes. And down he goes. Three white lights. Uh, let's see now we have uh, got coming up we got uh, Amru two hundred and let's uh, hope that uh, Amru can uh, redeem himself and put in a two hundred kg deadlift which I assume is somewhat of a uh, milestone for him since coming off that uh, rough uh, little 150 debacle in the squat and uh, 100 Dito in the bench One 200 kilos let's give it a shot now Two hundred, and it's a long way to travel, but gets there. Doesn't seem to have any problems with the grip, this guy. So uh, he can just stand there and wait. He got the uh, lift uh, two it's one. A long way to travel, but and it was a great finish. There. Good finish, two hundred. Uh, he walks away uh, happy with the deadlift anyway, two hundred. 210 Hadi Hadi coming in here now 210 and uh, I think the way 205 moved he has a very good chance in making this and look at uh, his technique now with uh, Really letting his shoulders go, and he, nah, he just can't make it this time. But it was uh, was a nice miss in the sense the that he wasn't a technical miss. The bar was just too heavy. Otherwise, it's just annoying if you uh, miss some some technicality or you lose the grip or something like that. Well, this was just the bar was just too heavy for Hadi this time. Two ten. And then you just have to face the fact, train even harder or even rest even more.
and you got it. I think that if he would have pulled it in the same lift as 205, he would have got it. But he'll be back. Ahmad coming in on 225 again. Oh, so let's see. Uh, he put himself in trouble there, actually. Yeah, yeah, he did. It's the last lift of the meet. You are risk of bombing out. Yep. Not too often you see people bomb out in deadlift, to be, to be fair. So let's see. Uh, so 210, he uh, slammed that up, but had a little bit of a technical uh, wobble at the top, which was uh, correctly uh, deemed to be a faulty lift. 225 just actually looked too heavy for him. So uh, now we do 225 again. And I think he has a decent chance because now he's uh, fired up and he has uh, life on the line here now. So I think he has a good chance of making it. Let's see if we can uh, make that true. Here we go. Come on, give it everything now. Stay consistent. Patience, patience, patience. Nope. When you start ramping it and uh, jerking the bar, it's all over. Give but uh, I think you'll take consistent. a valuable lesson uh, with patience, it in patience, terms patience, of uh, weight nope. selections and how to uh, design his his uh, lifts in terms of the elevations. You have a very I, similar situation here. Yeah. I think the uh, the main thing for uh, Ahmad, we would have just uh, sucked it up and did the 210 again just yeah. to slam it up so he was in the meet. But as, it's, as we say, the power meet is, uh, is not a top uh, European or Asian uh, championship. This is uh, as much an experience and an education for the lifters as it is for people around. So let's go here now, 225. Same situation, needs let's to get go. it. Needs to get this. Come on. He will go for it, he will fight for it, he will fight for it. Keep it going, keep it going. I think uh, that was a successful lift. And we're he very happy to see uh, that, that lift it. succeed. Fight for it. Keep it going, keep it going. I hope someone uh, took a picture of that uh, final scream. I think actually uh, our photographer did. Uh, so I think that was uh, that was a very uh, emotional thing for him also to get that. Abud is going 2:30. So uh, he pulled a uh, PB last week, 227, right? Yeah. So uh, 230 will be another PB. I give him uh, pretty high chances to uh, get this now. If uh, we can just uh, let him out on the podium. Abud Basel. He has a lot of support uh, around here. So uh, let's uh, have a crack at this now. Stay consistent, uh, trust uh, your grip, and trust your training leading up to this. Everything has been moving well. Let's go. Come on. 230. Pull the slack out of the bar, stay position. Yep. Let's see. It was not an easy ride, but it got up. 2.30. And funny enough, I see the, I see the lights before they come up on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so I was about to scream, but I uh, held my, myself a little bit. I think... Uh, Abud is uh, getting a little bit of uh, his uh, wind knocked out of him, or is he just happy? <laughs> 230 for a very well deserved PB for Abud. All right. Now we have uh, 
David Vlasovski. Uh, Let's see. All right. I think uh, we're up for a hype lifter now. It will be slapping all over the place now here. Stalking the bar, slapping himself, hype him up. 230. David uh, Losovsky. Let's get it. He won't give in easy. I can guarantee you. Come on. Yep. Let's see if it was worth the fight. It was. Three white knights. I think uh, David is one mentally fried, and I think I don't feel strain the muscle around his collarbone there. Uh, let's see. Let's just check on David a little bit. I think he. Uh, Pull the muscle in. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. I he's moving. All right, we have uh, Ala Didi Dire coming up uh, 235. Also stalking the bar. Uh, also give him uh, pretty good chances to get this the 225. Moved all right. He knows he can do it. Just get those uh, legs moving the bar from the start. And be patient with your hip and you uh, will have this. Come on, Ala. Here we go. Stay, 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 stay. Hip. Ah. Not hips, there. hips don't lie. He... Uh, he just can get the hips a little bit more forward. He had uh, very good speed from the floor. Just about timing that hip uh, extension. Very close. I foresee we'll see Dala putting those weights to shame uh, next time he steps on the platform. Yusef uh, is doing uh, an attempt on 240. Two forty and uh, the bar is loaded. Here we go. for a fight but uh, not fully in the position that he wants that's the worst position just standing there hovering by the knees and you feel the the lift slipping away from you there's nothing really you can do you just want to give it a little extra turbo effect on your uh, spinal erectors but there's nothing you can uh, do to prevent the bar from uh, defeating you we have three lifts left. It's Abdallah, Stas, and Amin. 245, 265, and 272. Uh, Abdallah first, 245. So he's done a really great uh, deadlift run here after uh, struggling a little bit in the bench. So let's see. Uh, joy to see Abdallah defeating 245. Yeah. 
stars 265. Let's see if his uh, grip will uh, hold. for this 265 Bar is loaded let's see if he uh, can hold on to this now I think it will come down to the grip because if the grip uh, lets uh, him down Everything else will break down. I have no uh, question he has the leg strength for uh, carrying this weight. Since he has squatted uh, even more. No. Nonetheless, uh, he has a uh, great total up. 7, 17 and a half. Uh, giving him 99.87 uh, uh, IPF points. Uh, 219. Uh, I just got a question about the record for the. Uh, it's 290 by Hadi. No. Oh. The 290 deadlift is the record, so I mean, is a great deadlifter going for 272, but still uh, quite a bit Arlen. away from the record. I think he has a very decent chance of making this. There are some key points for him. Stay uh, patient from the floor. So patience from the floor and patience in his hip. So he doesn't come with his hip too early towards the bar. So stay consistent. Lock his knees and then you lock your hip. Just a fraction of a second later. Knees, hip. Down. 272 and a half is down for Amin. And that's a very nice finish uh, to the uh, deadlifts. And now we're just gonna, in a sh very short while, conduct the uh, prize ceremony for uh, this group. Very nice. So I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna just calculate some things for the prize ceremony. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hi, my name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. All right, everyone, uh, gather around. All right, 
All right, all right, all right. I will need to stand here, so I will need to see the computer somewhere. All right. kinds of celebrities and uh, prominent people here up on the stage now and uh, it's not me it's the other guys Can we get uh, Mr. Shipolat up here? Or uh, this someone to help? Uh, yeah, there is Marco. Marco, can you be here? So uh, we'll conduct the prize ceremony. Let's start now this show. And the uh, 59 uh, category had uh, only one participant, so of course he will come out victorious. Marwan, is he somewhere around here? Make your way to the podium. Very nice lifting. See you uh, again. Medal. Uh, being presented from uh, Base Nutrition by Nayaf. All right, the uh, 66 category, three guys. Third place, uh, Sakari. Is he still around? Sakaria. Where is he? No, he's, he's left. No, no, he is what? He's in the. Sakaria. Let's go. He, uh, I think, he unfortunately injured himself in uh, his left leg uh, doing deadlifts. He also receives uh, a bronze medal here from Nayef. Bronze medal. And uh, this was the tightest class of them all. On uh, second place with uh, 493 kilo total, uh, Jai. And we discussed uh, vividly on the web stream his age. He is 19, and we was wondering if he was 16, 17, 18. He's 19 years old, yeah? Uh, in a phenomenal fight, uh, which was decided on the last deadlift, winner of this class is my favorite name of the day, Jesus Talentino Jr. Very good lifting, man. And that was a uh, very exciting uh, lifting to see. Uh, 
Uh, let the winner stay also, please. So we have uh, two more categories. Uh, will any one of the base team uh, help out for that also? We have two more uh, categories. Oh, is it Lotfi? Okay, sorry. Lotfi from uh, Matrix will take uh, the rest of the gold medals then. In the uh, 74 category, we have uh, on fifth place uh, Hamad. On fourth place, Roy. Are those guys still around? Just give them a round of applause. Roy pulling a 200 deadlift, that was epic to see. Uh, he's right there and he's happy. <laughs> uh, on third place, Ali with 480 kilos. He, had, uh, he went nine for nine, so all nine lifts. And he will get a fist bump and a medal from uh, one of our gold sponsors, Matrix. Here represented by Lotfi today. Second place, Mayed, 522.5. Fist bump and a medal. And now we have uh, Bench and Smile, t-shirts dropping soon. Uh, I think he's going to get a tattoo also, but well, we'll see. Uh, a crushing victory. He beat the power meet record with 103 kilos totally. We have from Fujairah and Rising Gym, uh, Mikita. Very, very, very good lifting. Mikita. And he has uh, the, fastest, the fastest shoes in the whole tournament. So that's a special award for that. He's uh, forever engraved in the Hall of Fame for fast shoes. All right, the 83 kilogram category was a huge one. Uh, we just, uh, I will uh, read the names and so just give applause up to number three. So we had Amro, applause. We had Ahmad Walid Jalabi. Abdul Wadud, we had uh, Steven Vinneberg, Masters 2 lifter by the way. We have Hadi, we had uh, Muhammad, we have our man Aboud, <laughs> most popular lifter of the day. We have Allah Dalrey, we had uh, Abdullah Badawi. And uh, on number four, we have uh, Mr. Ski, yeah. David Lasovsky. Yeah. He knows how to slap himself. We've seen that uh, many times. <laughs> All right, number three, Yusef, 560 kilos. Is he still around? Yeah. 560. Gets a bronze medal. Number two, Amin Oasis. Oasis. 602. He uh, put on a deadlift clinic that was really, really uh, impressive to see. Uh, speaking of impressive, in the top of the pack, squat record and a bench record and a total record of 1717.5 uh, kilos. Stanislav, where is he? Over there. And uh, I know that the guys from uh, Fujera will, uh, will uh, go home uh, tomorrow morning. And uh, so, uh, Mikita and uh, Stas is, of course, in the running for the top three placing in uh, the overall tournament. Uh, I think if memory serves me correctly, uh, Mikita got uh, 95 points and uh, Stas 99. So that will be what the guys have to beat tomorrow. 
Marco, was there any more uh, prizes to give to the winners? No? All right. We are uh, shutting down for today then, and I'll see you on the stream tomorrow to support the lifters in the uh, heavier categories. My name is Angelica and I am a power lifter and strength coach here at Desert Barbell. I have been coaching people for over eight years. I have been a competitive power lifter now for four years. What I enjoy most about coaching is sometimes it's not about getting a client from A to Z, but it's about helping them understand the right balance between training and their own lifestyles. I have coached people of all different levels, but I enjoy working with beginners the most. I love creating a solid foundation with my clients, and I believe that's where it all starts. The biggest misconception about women training is that they're going to get bulky and big, but that's not the case. Oftentimes we see that women are a lot more conservative in the gym, especially when it comes to strength sports. However, once they begin and they become more familiar with the form, technique of lifting, they build more confidence in and out of the gym. Feel free to visit the Desert Barbell website to book a consultation or a session with me or any of our other coaches. coaches at Desert Barbell. Uh, I'm a powerlifter and a strength sport enthusiast. I've got 10 years of coaching experience. I've worked with everyone from elite level rugby players to people in their 60s or 70s. I currently work with kids as young as nine and with people that are looking for general health and also competitive powerlifters. If you are a beginner, or an intermediate or advanced level lifter, I'd be really happy to work with you. If you're interested in working with me, please get in touch and book a consultation for free.
I'm Chris, one of the coaches at uh, Desert Barbell. I am a competitive powerlifter and I've been coaching full time for the last eight years. I coach people from young kids wanting to just move better and feel a little bit stronger. And I also coach people as old as 55, 60, who just want to be healthier, stronger, fitter uh, for life. I feel extremely lucky to work at a gym that's so well equipped for strength training. My main focus is coaching powerlifters, so having access to combo racks, calibrated plates, stiff bars makes a big difference. The thing I love most about my job is how empowering strength training can be for anyone. So whether that's a competitive powerlifter who wants to add kilos to their total, or whether that is just your everyday person who just wants to feel stronger and healthier as they age. Uh, if you want to learn more or book a free consultation, uh, please get in touch with us.